Emmanuel, Matthew 1, 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Right now, praise the Lord. Right now, turn to your neighbor and greet them, Emmanuel. Give your neighbor a handshake, say, Emmanuel. Give your other neighbor a handshake, say, Emmanuel. Give the neighbor behind you a handshake, say, Emmanuel. Give the neighbor in front of you a handshake, say, Emmanuel. And right now, greet viewers all over the world, Emmanuel. You're all welcome to today's Sunday's live service here at the Synagogue Church Hall Nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oui, Emmanuel, Emmanuel à vous tous. Emmanuel qui signifie Dieu est avec nous. Et maintenant, saluez votre voisin qui est à côté de vous, derrière vous, devant vous. Saluez-le, serrez-lui la main et dites-lui Emmanuel, Dieu est avec nous. Vous êtes tous les bienvenus, vous téléspectateurs qui venez de nous rejoindre. Bienvenue ici à la Synagogue Église de toutes les nations. Televidentes de todo el mundo, hoy les saludamos Emanuel. Sean bienvenidos a otro servicio del día domingo aquí en la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones. Yes, viewers all over the world, you are welcome to today's live service. And uh, irrespective of where you are watching us from right now and the people that have gathered here today from around the world, there is one thing that unites us. And that is the love of Christ. For as Prophet T.B. Joshua says, love has a language which transcends all languages, barriers, and distance. So we welcome you with the love of Christ in Jesus' name. Oui, nous savons que nous sommes tous rassemblés ici de différents pays du monde. Nous sommes tous un, nous sommes unifiés par l'amour de Christ, car la parole de Dieu déclare que l'amour de Christ transcende tout langage, toute couleur et toute race. Hoy les damos la bienvenida con el amor de Cristo. El profeta Tibi Joshua dice que el amor tiene un lenguaje que traspasa todo el lenguaje, toda barrera y toda distancia. Así que le damos la bienvenida en el amor de Cristo. Remember the Bible says that there are only three things in this world that will remain. That is faith, hope and love and the greatest of these is love in other words faith without love is faithless hope without love is hopeless so as we want to enter today's wonderful service here at the synagogue church of all nations let love be uppermost in your hearts la parole de Dieu déclare que les trois choses qui devront se taire c'est la foi L'amour et l'espoir, mais la plus grande de ces choses, parmi les trois, c'est l'amour. Et nous savons que la foi, justement, sans l'amour, est justement sans foi. La foi sans l'espoir, l'amour sans l'espoir, est justement sans espoir. Nous devons voir l'amour comme la chose primordiale afin que nous puissions l'appliquer dans notre vie chrétienne, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. La Biblia nous enseigne que en este mundo solo permanecerán tres cosas, la fe, el amor y la esperanza, pero entre ellas la más grande es el amor. Eso quiere decir que la fe sin amor está muerta, que la esperanza sin amor está muerta. Así que dejemos que en ese servicio el amor sea soberano sobre todas las cosas en el nombre de Jesús. Remember, if not for the love of Christ, none of us would be here today. If not for the love of Christ, viewers around the world, you would not be watching us today. Because if God consulted our past to determine our being here, none of us would be here today. So right now, this is an opportunity for us to give thanks to God for bringing us this morning into his holy presence. Right now, wherever you are watching, wherever you are in the auditorium, let us begin to give thanks to God Almighty. Begin to thank God for the salvation of your soul. Thank him for intervening in your affairs 
all the way long. Thank Him for lifting you up each time you fall. Thank Him for forgiving you each time you sin. Thank Him for not allowing your enemies to triumph over you. Let us begin to open our lips right now and give thanks to God Almighty. Oui, ce n'était pas pour l'amour de Dieu, nous ne serions pas ici présents aujourd'hui. Ce n'est pas pour l'amour de Dieu, téléspectateurs, vous ne serez pas là en train de nous regarder. Remerciant le Seigneur Jésus-Christ pour son amour, le fait qu'il nous donne la grâce d'être dans sa présence. C'est le moment pour vous de le remercier pour tout ce qu'il a fait, pour tout le chemin parcouru. Remerciez-le parce qu'il est intervenu dans toutes vos affaires. Remerciez-le parce qu'il vous a pardonné lorsque vous avez péché. Remerciez-le encore pour sa grâce et sa miséricorde dans votre vie. Querido televidente, si no fuera por el amor de Dios, hoy no estaríamos aquí. Usted no podría ver el servicio. Si no fuera por el amor de Dios, no gozaríamos de sus bendiciones. Así que es tiempo de que le demos gracias a Dios por ese amor, por la salvación de nuestras almas, por el perdón de nuestros pecados y porque Él nos levanta cada vez que tropezamos. Dele gracias a Dios en el nombre de Jesús. You unravel me with your melody. You surround me with songs of deliverance from my enemies. Till all my fears are gone. I'm gonna sing with me. I'm no longer. I am a child. Come on, let me hear your declaration. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Yes, because of Christ's love, we are no longer slaves to fear. We are no longer slaves to sin. We are children of God. But it's important for us this morning to acknowledge our position before God as sinners in need of salvation. Oui, nous savons que le Seigneur Jésus-Christ a vraiment intervenu dans toutes nos affaires, dans tout ce qui nous concerne. Mais c'est le temps aussi pour nous de reconnaître que nous sommes tous pécheurs dans le besoin justement de son pardon ce matin. Así es, si no fuera por el amor de Cristo, hoy no seríamos más esclavos del miedo y del pecado. Pero es importante que hoy nos presentemos delante de su presencia, reconociendo nuestra posición como pecadores y pidamos perdón por todos los errores que hemos cometido. So right now, in humility and in sincerity of hearts, let us ask God Almighty for forgiveness. Repeat this prayer after me right now. Most merciful God, I come before you, the hosts of heaven and one another, to confess that I have sinned in word in thoughts and in deeds. En parole, en pensée et en action. En palabra, en hecho y en pensamiento. In what I have done and what I have failed to do. Dans ce que j'ai fait et ce que j'ai échoué de faire. Por lo que he hecho y he dejado de hacer. Forgive me of my sin. Pardonne-moi mes péchés. Perdona mis pecados. Heal me by your spirit. Guéris-moi par ton esprit. Sáname por tu espíritu. And raise me to a new life in Christ. Elevo-me a una nueva vida en Cristo. Y elevo-me a una nueva vida con Cristo. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Hazte-tú de me socorrer, Señor. Que tu paz llene mi corazón. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. En el puro nombre de Jesús Cristo. En el nombre de Jesús. Right now, begin to confess your sins to the Lord and ask Him. 
for mercy, favor, and forgiveness. Wherever you are right now, begin to open your lips with faith in your hearts and begin to confess your sins. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for his favor right now in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Maintenant, vous vous lèvez, commencez à demander au Seigneur Jésus-Christ de vous pardonner vos péchés, demander la miséricorde, demander sa faveur, demander sa grâce dans votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Ainsi que ahora abra sus labios, confiese sus pecados, pida perdón y que sea el favor, la miséricordia de Dios llegando a su vida. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow because he lives, because he lives. Oh, my fear is God. Fear is God. Oh, because I know he holds my future. My life is well. Christ we pray in the powerful name of Jesus Christ we pray remember if not for the love of Christ we would not be here today right now let us begin to ask God to give us love love enough that it will overflow from our hearts to others begin to ask God right now to give you love love enough that it will overflow from your heart to others because that is what we need to receive the blessings and mercy and favor of God that we are going to be given in today's wonderful service we need to act love to do love and to let love lead so right now begin to ask God to give you love love enough that it will overflow from your heart to others let us pray right now Maintenant, c'est le temps pour vous de demander au Seigneur de vous donner de l'amour, assez d'amour, suffisamment d'amour qui déborde de votre cœur, déborde de votre sein pour rencontrer les besoins des autres. Prions cette prière, demandons au Seigneur Jésus-Christ de donner suffisamment d'amour qui déborde pour les autres. Recuerde que si no fuera por el amor de Dios, no estaríamos hoy aquí. Así que empiece a pedirle a Dios que le dé más de su amor, amor suficiente para que sobreabunde en su alma y pueda dárselo a otros en el nombre de Jesús. Ask the Holy Spirit right now to pour into your hearts his most excellent gift of love. Because all of our doings in today's service without love are nothing. Let us continue to offer that prayer right now. Ask the Holy Spirit to pour into your heart his most excellent gift of love. And ask him right now to give you enough love that it overflows from your heart to others. Let us continue to pray. We continue to pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will continue to give us sufficient love that will overflow for the others. Enough love to be able to respond to the needs of the others. Continue to pray because without love we are nothing. It's the most excellent gift of our Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to ask this excellent gift that is love. 
Empiece a pedirle al Espíritu Santo que derrame su regalo excelente de amor en su corazón Pues nada de lo que hagamos en este servicio hoy sin amor tiene valor Así que pídale al Espíritu Santo que lo llene de su excelente regalo de amor Lord, I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed Give me vision To see things like you do Lord, I look to you You're where my help comes from Give me wisdom You know just what to do Yeah, yeah Come on, let me see your hands wave Come on, wave your hands, wave your hands to him Hallelujah Jesus Christ we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray turn to your neighbor and tell them congratulations give your neighbor a handshake say congratulations for the fact that you are here today you are watching us today live on Emmanuel TV no one thing your case will not escape the anointing of God que vous soyez là aujourd'hui, que nous regardions ici, les téléspectateurs, rappelez-vous que votre cas n'échappera pas à l'onction de Dieu. Diga félicitations, pues hoy su caso no se escapará de la unción poderosa de Dios. So you should get ready to share your testimony, because your coming here today is going to change the course of your life. Vous allez faire partager votre témoignage, parce que votre venue ici va changer le cours de votre vie. Así que prepare su testimonio porque hoy el curso de su vida no será igual. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. If you believe that, come on, lift your hands and wave it in the air and say thank you, Jesus. You know what God has done for you this morning. Lift your hands and give him all the worship. With your own words, come on, lift your voice and say thank you, Jesus. Give him all the praise for his love and kindness on your life. Spirit, we wait on you. 
Say all glory. See you lift your hands and say, Oh.
need the Lord more and more in your life. Let me see your hands. More love.
stand together and give God all the worship. Give him all the praise. He's worthy of our worship this morning.
question is very close to you right now. Worship him, worship him. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus.
Worship him, worship him. Give him all the worship. Thank you, Lord, for having your way in this place. Come on, put your hands together and continue to give him all the worship. Give him all the worship. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you, yeah. Come on, give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. He's worthy.
from your hearts. Give him all the praise. Give him all the worship from your heart. He's worthy of your praise. He's Yahweh in this place. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He's our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Oh, come and lift your hands and worship. We worship you, yes. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, because you are Yahweh. time.
made all my solo. That's why I say, I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I give you. You join me, say, I, I give.
let you rain fall. Father in the Lord and the Synagogue Church of All Nations family. We welcome everyone here present and viewers all over the world to today's service in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated in His presence. People of God, I want you to know that for you to be here today is not an accident but it is the will of God for you to be here today and to our viewers all over the world it is not an accident that you have tuned in today but it is the will of God for you to tune in once again you are welcome to the arena of liberty where the great God of the universe is in control remember in the arena of liberty the key is not to suppress the flesh or to walk in the spirit. So I pray with you that as you listen to today's message, your case will not escape the anointing of God in Jesus' name. My name is Morenike, and by the special grace of God, I'm an evangelist in training under my father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua. I'm here to share a message with you, and I believe that as you listen, your faith will be shifted to another level in Jesus' name. People of God, my father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, made me to understand that when God is involved in a matter, it does not matter who else is involved. And when he is involved, we are not alone. All of heaven is backing us up. Tell your neighbor, all of heaven is backing me up. Yes, everybody desires comfort. Whereas pain sometimes preserves us for a new level in life. Everybody desires good health. Whereas sickness sometimes preserves us for a new level in life. And everybody desires breakthrough. Whereas setback sometimes preserves us for a new level in life. And everybody desires freedom. Whereas captivity sometimes preserves us for a new level in life. Those who are capable of seeing beyond their immediate situation know what God says about the situation. They know that a believer's trouble is not like others. Behind their trouble lies God's promise for their life. Tell your neighbor, behind my trouble, behind my trouble 
lies God's promise for my life. People of God, do you know that you are the greatest product of the Holy Spirit? Do you know that you are created for a purpose? For the Bible says in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, that before God formed you in the womb, he knew you. Before you were born, he has set you apart. He has appointed you as a prophet to the nations. You see, this statement shows that you are not an accident, but you are the greatest product of the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, I am the greatest product of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, he knows your name. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. You see the shit that falls. in his presence. Thank you very much, choir. You see, many today want to know what will happen in the future. They want to know what will become of them. They listen to wrong advice and follow the footsteps of their friends, only to realize that they've made a mistake with the choices they made. Do you feel as if life has cheated you? Look to the cross where the price was paid for the blessing you seek. For a good future has been made available to you. All you have to do is look in faith to Jesus by looking at his word. Tell your neighbor, look in faith to Jesus by looking at his word. This will lead me to the title of my message, Your True Picture. Tell someone beside you, my true picture. So let us look at the case of Joseph in the book of Genesis 37, verses 5 to 8. Genesis 37, verse 5 to 8. And we know Genesis is the first book in the Old Testament. People of God, are you there? Yes, the book of Genesis 37. Verse 5 to 8. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. So he said to them, Please hear this dream which I have dreamed. There we were binding sheep in the field. Then behold, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheep stood all around 
and bow down to my chief. And his brothers said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dream and for his words. Hmm. You see, very early in life, Joseph was shown the photograph of his future. The Bible says he had a dream in which his parents and siblings bowed down to him. You see, by divine design, I mean by divine providence, he was to become a leader, a ruler, and a king. This promise of God, however, hand in serious hatred and persecution from his brothers who were hell-bent to frustrate the dream he had. But take note that what man understands, it destroys. But what man does not understand, it calls names. The Bible made us to understand that for Joseph to realize a true picture of his future, he had to leave the warm arms of his father's house. He received the picture of his future at an early age. That was why he was able to bear the insults of his brother's treatment, the suffering in the dry pits. And the trial in Potiphar's house, the humiliation in the prison cell, knowing there was something far more important than all this. You see, when you receive the picture of your future, it will impart strength in you to endure whatever trial you face. When you look at the case of Abraham in Genesis 12, God showed Abraham the picture of his greatest future. Remember that what you and I are able to may not be in our father's house, that was why God called Abraham out of his father's home to move to where his throne was situated. For you to discover new oceans, you have to leave the seashore. Man cannot discover new oceans. I repeat, man cannot discover new oceans if he does not lose sight of the shore. Today, many of us still want to remain in the warm arms of our parents and relations. We are afraid to venture into the cold arms of the society where the necessary lessons about life should be learned. When I say cold, I mean harsh. And when I say warm, I mean friendly. As a Christian, you must receive the picture of your future. You must believe that photograph and water the seed of tomorrow. A seed must be planted and kept watered before it can germinate to produce much harvest. When you receive the picture of your future, your conduct and behavior will be altered to fit that picture. That is, your mind will change. The Bible made us to understand that when there was delay in Joseph's dream to come to fulfillment, he began to ask obvious questions like, where is my dream? What is the cause of this delay? Will I ever realize my dream? He never knew that a picture of his tomorrow would attract serious hatred and persecution when he told his brothers. The Bible says he found himself where his future was not guaranteed. What do I mean? I mean, in the dry peaks, it seemed like the end had come. But he did not give up. Tell your neighbor he did not give up. He moved on. Because to him, the end had not yet come. People of God, where are you today? I mean, what have you achieved? You see, the journey to the throne is not a bed of roses. We need to encounter snakes, scorpions, thorns, and the likes. 
trust, Joseph found himself in a dry pit, which did not guarantee him any future. This was a place where there was no supply of food and water, no life-supporting materials and the like. He was in complete want of everything. You see, when you stay long in the dark, you will be able to appreciate the light when it finally comes. Remember, anything close to Jesus receives attack. Tell your neighbor, anything close to Jesus receives attack. Because God has shown Joseph that he will become king doesn't mean he should sit back and relax and wait for the crown to fall on his head. No. Rather, he needed focused action, personal discipline, and lots of energy every day to make a difference in his world. On the way to the throne, our enemies may try to strip us of outward prestige and beauty, but I tell you, that wisdom and grace of God cannot be taken away from us. Tell your neighbor, my enemies may try to strip me of outward prestige and beauty. But the wisdom and grace of God cannot be taken away from me. Yes, I mean, people may call you names that you do not bear in order to paint you black. That is to make you look bad in the eyes of man. But wisdom and grace of God cannot be taken away from you. They cannot take it because it is not given by man. Sometimes we walk very hard and pray fervently, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Without a corresponding reward for our efforts. But the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, it is the mind of God to answer prayer. Even when he seems not to respond immediately to a petition, God is still saying something. Which we may not understand because of our limitations in the things of the Spirit. You see, in such moments, God may be saying, Be patient, for there is a time for everything. Tell your neighbor, Be patient, for there is a time for everything. The Bible made us to understand that the quality of faith is not measured by our attitude to God when things are good, but when times are hard. I mean, when our faith, F-A-T-E, seems to hang in the balance. Remember that the plan of God for every one of us is beautiful. Everything is beautiful in God's time, yet that time is limited. For the beauty in creation is that human beings long for eternity, but they fail to understand what God has done from beginning to the end. The question now is, what is your dream? I mean, what is the picture of your future? For it is your responsibility as a Christian to find out. And once you do, your goals and aspiration will change. At the end, Joseph found himself in a position of authority. He saw others honoring him and his mind changed. Likewise, your picture of your future will impact strength in you to endure your present tribulations and difficulties in Jesus' name. Yeah. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees his tears that fall.
seated in his presence. Thank you. People of God, allow God's word to channel your way. Because God's word is the plan of God for you. The undeniable proof that it thinks ahead of you. A description for the future before it forgoes. Remember that God's spirit is the force behind God's word. According to the book of John 16, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will lead us into all truth. He has revealed to us things that are yet to come. Therefore, the Holy Spirit's gift of prophecy will bring your future into you in Jesus' name. Remember that God does nothing without his word. He speaks to us through his word by his spirit. Let us take a look at the case of Paul in that book of Acts chapter 9 verse 11 to 12. The book of Acts is in the New Testament. It's immediately after the book of John before the book of Romans. of God are you there? Acts chapter 9 verse 11 to 12. So the Lord said to him, arise and go to the street called Straits and inquire at the house of Judah for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he is praying and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand in his head so that he might receive his sight. You see, the Holy Spirit gave Paul the picture of his greatest future when he sent Ananias to place his hand on him. Romans 9 verse 1 tells us that our conscience is a communication point or contact of the Holy Spirit. And the book of Romans 8.16 made us to understand that it is the mind of God to answer prayer. Remember that, remember that what happens in your mind happens in time. God's time he is the best time. My time doesn't matter. God's time is the best time. My time doesn't matter. Because
thank you very much. Please be seated in his presence. The book of Romans 8.16 tells us that God's spirit joins himself with our spirit to declare that we are God's children. Therefore, your mind needs to be educated by the word of God. For what happens in your mind happens in time. People of God, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Yes, this is the word of God. For when God talks, the wise listen. So for your behavior to change, the Lord must give birth in you a picture of what he is looking at when he sees you. Permit me to ask you this question. What is God looking at when he sees you? Sir, what is God looking at when he sees you? My faithfulness. Thank you. Can you clap for him? Yes, sir. What is God looking at when he sees you? No, he wants me to, uh, to be his child and do what a child, the father needs from a child. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for him. What is God looking at when he sees us? God is looking at a successful person he has created you to be. Tell you, boy, God is looking at a successful person he has created us to be. Yes, perhaps God has given us a dream or a vision and you never believe it for reasons known to you. Remember, God sees clearly the real you. The healed you, the powerful you, and the prosperous you. For one of the principles that will change your life most is vision of being in a future state as if it were already true, as if it were already here. That is, to do what is not yet done or say what is not yet said. Your dream never says you're poor, even when there's no money in your pockets. Your dream never says you're sick, even when there's pain in the body. The Shunammite woman in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4 had a dream that it would be well with her and her family. But at God's appointed time, it was. Your vision comes true at God's appointed time. Remember, Jesus Christ is a tomorrow thinker. He does not look at where you are now, but where you are going. People of God, what promise of God are you carrying? I mean, what situation are you in now? Does it guarantee the fulfillment of that promise in your life? Remember, Joseph was a child of promise. Did a situation in the prison guarantee the fulfillment of God's promise in his life? The answer is capital no. Yet, he moved on. Because to him, the end had not yet come. You see, our enemies may rob us of liberty and confine us in a prison cell but they cannot shut us out of the throne of mercy and communion with God. Tell your neighbor, my enemies may separate me from my family, but they cannot separate me from the presence of God. Yes, they can separate me from my family, from my friends, even from my country, but they cannot separate me from the presence of God. Romans 8.35 says, Who shall separate us from the presence of God? I mean, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Can tribulation? Sir, can tribulation separate you from the love of Christ? No. Distress? Not at all. What about persecution? Never. I tell you, nothing can separate me from the love of Christ. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I don't know about you, but as for me, nothing and nothing can separate me from the love of Christ. Yes.
In your she presence, I am content. In your presence, I am content. In your presence, there is life, expressions of your love, revelations of your power and might in your presence I can breathe a love and offering I'm in the presence of my King in your presence I am content situation are you in now? Are you in abject poverty? Remember that the man that is poor is not the man that has no money, but one without a dream. In other words, they are poor that have no dreams. So, if you have a dream, if you have a dream, remember that your dream comes true at God's appointed time. I repeat, if you have a dream, your dream will come true at God's appointed time. So people of God, where are you today? Have you achieved your dream? You see, The Bible made me to understand that when you're faced with challenge of your dream, when you look to Jesus Christ, he will issue himself back to us in his own time in Jesus' name. Finally, brethren, God can only see you when you abide in his word and his word abide in you. It is our encounter that reveals our true picture. Remember, God does nothing without his word. And he lives in the future. Therefore, look in faith to Jesus by looking at his word. And let the spirit of prophecy bring your future into you. I mean, the true picture of your future. Here, I leave you here in faith. And I pray to meet you in faith. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. As we continue to worship him, let's rise up. Let's rise up in his presence. Let's rise up in his presence and wave your hands to the Lord. What a God we have to worship. What a son we have to praise. And what a future lies before us. Give thanks to the Lord for his word. 
because his words are true. His words are true. And forever his word will stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
creator. He made you. Call his name Baba. Call his name Baba. You can call him louder. Say Baba. Baba. I'm 
Vale.
once again put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We can see a very wonderful and happy congregation. This joy shall be permanent. Let us wave our hand to Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, for the grace to be in your presence. Thank you, Jesus, for your promises in my life today. Amen. Let us have our seat. Once again, on behalf of of God's anointed servant, you know, Prophet TV Joshua, we welcome you all to the arena of liberty in Jesus' name. We say good morning. Thank you. So it is testimony time. Amen? It is time to look onto God's track records. Have you said thank you, Jesus, today? If you have not, begin to say thank you, Jesus, right now. Because he has done it in your life. Our Father in the Lord, Prophet Joshua says, when you offer a prayer and that prayer receives an answer, that answer is a miracle. So everyone has a testimony this morning. Because before you went to bed last night, you prayed that God give me the grace to see tomorrow. And you have seen it. Is that not a testimony? Clap for wonderful Jesus. So without taking much time, we want to start the testimony session and... Remember, God has, been, God has been doing wonderful things in the lives of the people through the medium of the morning water, the anointing sticker, and also many who pray with the anointing man of God through Emmanuel TV. And today they are here to say, God has restored our testimony. God has restored our testimony. So we are going to listen to them and be blessed as you listen to this wonderful testimonies in Jesus name. Amen. Maintenant nous allons passer à la section des témoignages. Nous savons que vous serez bénis en écoutant ces merveilleux témoignages que nous avons aujourd'hui car ces personnes veulent témoigner de ce que de la gloire de Dieu dans leur vie à travers l'eau du matin, le, euh, à travers les autocollants moyens, le fait de regarder mal à la télévision. Nous savons que cela ira très loin pour pouvoir aussi augmenter votre foi et aussi partager votre propre témoignage très bientôt. Praise the Lord. Yes. Madame, we welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you please introduce yourself and also share with the people of God your testimony? Thank you very much. Emmanuel. God is with us. My name is Professor Dr. Dr. Mrs. Gospi Alabi. And the man by my side is Professor Joshua Alabi. I am the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies of the University of Professional Studies, which is a public university in Ghana, and also the Consulting Director of Lower Open University College, which is the first open university, accredited open university in Ghana, and also the second in the whole of West Africa. My husband is the Vice Chancellor of the University of Professional Studies. He has been in the past a Minister of State and also a Member of Parliament amidst other important public positions that he currently holds. You are welcome. Yes. We want to share with you the awesome things that the Lord has done for us through his very special gift to the world, that is the Holy Spirit and his anointed prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua, and the miracles that we have received by the use of the anointing water. 
morning water. Okay. This is the third time that we have been here. And yesterday, something miraculous happened. I'm going to share that first, and then I'll go on to talk about the numerous testimonies that we have. I am deaf in the right ear. According to medical reports, it is nerve deafness. And so since I was a little girl, for over 40 years now, I have had to live with this difficulty. It's been very difficult throughout my education because oftentimes I would not hear what the teachers are saying. But because I wouldn't like people to laugh or mock at me, I covered up by always sitting in front and reading the teacher's lips. Again, as I grew in my profession, I noted that whenever I'm in very serious meetings and people have to whisper into my ears, obviously they would use my right ear, but unfortunately I don't hear. So it's either I pretend I have heard and forget about whatever they're saying, or I would have to get out and listen to what is being said. Oftentimes, the difficulty arises when I have to use my right ear for listening to the phone. I mean, it doesn't pick any sound completely. All efforts to help has been futile because the hearing aid did not help. I was told that because it is nerve deafness, hearing aids were going to be useless. So even though we tried very hard to get solution, solution could not come. We came and we prayed the first time. But in my mind, this was a natural problem. It wasn't a spiritual problem. It is a medical problem. And academic as I was, the solution would have to come from medical science. But once medical science had condemned it, then there was no solution. So I came the second time, and I did not even bother about it. In my mind, this was beyond Christ and the Holy Spirit. So I belittled Christ. But yesterday, as we sat waiting for the announcements for visitors, after we had gone through screening, I felt some tingling in my ear. It was an unusual sensation, and immediately I felt my body moving. So I knew that something had happened, but I could not believe that I had been touched even without anybody laying hands on me. I could not believe that as we sit here, the angels are all around us and that whether we believe it or not, miracles are happening. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. What a great testimony. Amen. 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 And for the doubting Thomases, this is a great lesson. That once you step to the arena of liberty, if you believe that Prophet Joshua is sent by God, don't wait until you see him coming to touch you. Believe that Jesus Christ, his Lord, is around you and is already working out the answer. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Amen. It is a sign of unbelief. To say, until the man of God touch me, I won't receive my healing. No. Jesus Christ said to the centurion, he said, your servant is healed. Just a word. And indeed, the servant was healed without Jesus going to meet the servant at home. So, this is a great lesson for us to learn. Continue your testimony. Thank you very much. So, I decided to test my ear. I blocked it with my finger as usual. And I closed my eyes. And to my surprise, I could hear sound around me. In no time, the announcer came. And as he spoke, I could hear everything. I could hear every word from beginning to end. Mm. It was unbelievable. 
I just burst out in tears and I worked and worked and worked. God pardoned my unbelief. So when we stepped out of the church, I told my husband, this is what has happened, but I want a confirmation. I was still doubting. So I said, this time I'm going out. Call me with your phone. And as he called me, I was weeping. I could hear every single word. For the first time, I could hear and speak on phone with my right ear. And I knew that indeed Jesus is Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus one more time. So, can you please tell us the efforts you have made to find solution to this problem? Where are the places you have been to? How much have you spent? Can you give accounts? Thank you very much. I cannot lay a finger on how much we have spent. So much. Not just the financial investment, but the investment in terms of time and the pain and the anxiety of getting the solution is unquantifiable. Mm. I have been to several hearing aid um, specialists. I have been to ear and T specialists. I have done whatever is possible. If there was anything that the money or the medical experts could have done, I would have received it before today. But science has its limits and where science cannot go and what science and human knowledge cannot go that is where the spirit of god through jesus and his special servants like the man of god prophet tb joshua who is a real gift to this world comes in put your hands together for jesus Thank you. So, uh, in, in essence, by your testimony, you are telling the whole world that here at the arena of liberty, even as you come and take your seat, sitting down, thinking you are just whiling away the time, God is working a miracle in your life. Yes. Is that what you have to tell even the world? Even for the things that you do not mention, or write on your, on your paper, God knows it all. Amen. And the Holy Spirit will locate it just as it located mine. Amen. Yes. Thank you very much. So what other testimonies do you have to share? Thank you very much. When we came here this time round, I did not come for healing of my ear. So this was a bonus for me. We came because we wanted to come and give thanks to the almighty god for the miracles that he has performed in our lives when we came the last time that was august of last year we had in mind to establish an open university college in ghana the government of ghana has tried three successive times and I was one of the 15-man tax force that had to work with the British, the Open University of UK, to see the possibility of coming up with a concept note for government to implement. But for the third time, the story was the same. There was no money. But I believe, owing to my own experiences, that all things are possible. So I told my husband that we should establish an open university and give opportunities to people who otherwise would not have any opportunity to go to university, to have university education. He looked at me and said, what are you talking about? Where are we going to get that kind of money? And I smiled and I said, with God, all things are possible. And so, unknowing to him, when we were coming here last August, I put the registration certificate in the bag. And at the time, all we had was just the registration certificate. We didn't have authorization. 
we didn't have institutional accreditation. And for those who know higher education, it takes years, sometimes five, six, seven, eight, ten years to be able to get institutional accreditation. But I was very confident that by God's grace, once we set foot here and we lay it before the man of God and he gives us direction by his, the grace of God, things would work. So when we came, we gave him the certificate and told him this is what we wanted to do. He took a look at it, smiled and said, don't worry, and gave it back to us. So we went home and I went and finished the concept notes. When I finished writing it, I took the morning water and sprayed it on the computer, on the document. And then when I had finished with that, when we bound the documents to now submit to the authorities, I also sprayed on the documents and prayed over them. In no time came investors. In no time came partners from nowhere, from Europe, from America, and it was amazing. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Just by ministering the morning water on the document? Yes. In fact, we submitted the document on a Friday evening. By Tuesday, we were called to come for our letter of authorization to proceed with the project. And you said normally that would take like how many years to get? It has normally people would take a minimum of five to ten years. Hmm. Now, as if that was not enough, within that period to now, by the grace of God, we have institutional accreditation and we are already admitting people. What is surprising is that one of the partners with God is Franklin University in the city of Columbus, Ohio, USA. Now Franklin signed an agreement with us to represent them in all 15 African countries. And Franklin gave us 60 to 70 percent discount on the fees. So anybody who came through Lawa Open University gets 60 to 70 percent discount on the fees. As if that is not enough, they said we are giving you all our technical, the software, the IT things, the platform, everything, the educational materials, the library resources. As we speak, we have over 300,000 e-books in our library. Put your hands together for Jesus. As if this is not enough, we could see from the pictures that we have, which we'll be showing you, we got a donation of over 30 computers, multiple performing scanners, printers, projectors, and all were donated to us for the purposes of this university. Two weeks ago, we got a mayoral citation from the mayor of the city of Columbus in Ohio for the partnership with Franklin University. And we have all of these as samples to show. So we came to say to God, thank you that through your son and special gift to the world, our prophet T.B. Joshua, and the miracle of the morning water, this is what you have done. We know that this is just the tip of the iceberg. We know there are even greater things that the Lord will do in so long as we stay connected to him. And as we came, he has even added what we did not expect. We give him glory for demonstrating in this house of liberty his power and his love in our lives. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you. So at this point, we want to, to take us to the board and begin to explain those pictures, beautiful pictures we can see on the board, and also those documents. The first pit 
architecture is a section of the building, the university. And the second one is a Google map of the university as it stands right now. And for an open university, this is more than enough. So that is your open university in Ghana? Yes, that is our open university in Ghana. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Wow. What we have here is a session of the computer lab showing the computers that were donated to us. Mm. And then what we have here is the mayoral citation from the mayor of the city of Columbus in Ohio, USA. Mm. Mm. Once again, let us clap for Jesus Christ. Glory be to God in the highest. So at this point, we also like to hear a word from your husband. From you. Mm. Sir, can you please tell us your name and also your side of the testimony? Emmanuel. God is with us. My name is uh, Professor Joshua Alabi. Sometimes when I'm asked to introduce myself, I don't know where to start from. I was a student leader. I was a member of the Ghana Football Association responsible for our national team, the Black Stars. I was a member of parliament. I was a minister of state. I'm now a vice chancellor of the University of Professional Studies. Put your hands together for Jesus. My wife brought the concept note about this open university. And I told her, look here, yeah, God has blessed us. Why do you want us to stress ourselves? Uh, let's, let's stay cool and move on with our lives. This is another stress. She said, no. We also have to help educate the people apart from our normal work that we do. Now she asked her to convince me of the open university concept. She brought the concept note I read. She gave me examples where Indira Gandhi University, an Indian open university, has over 2 million students. Nigeria open university has over 100,000 students. Zimbabwe Open University has over 70,000 students. Tanzania Open University has over 70,000 students. And this is the direction the world is going to now. That's what she told me. And that we don't have one in Ghana, and there's a need for us to start it. Then I asked, but where do you think we're going to get the money from when your own government cannot start an open university? Then she said, we have about 70% of the resources already. I said, from where? That because we are technically competent. We don't need any consultant. We are knowledgeable in the field, and that alone is money that can be quantified. I said, this lady seems very aggressive. <laughs> so I said, okay, you get me the concept note. I read the concept note, circulated it to some friends who I believe might be interested, and they wrote back and said, once it is coming from you and your wife, we know it will go to you because we know how hard working you are. So they bought the idea and we started the process of the Open University. When we came and met the prophet, I didn't know she brought the registration certificate. When we met the prophet in his office, then she could remove from paper. Then I looked at her. That was a, a photocopy of the registration certificate. Prophet looked at it and said, oh, a friend of mine just left, the vice chancellor of the Nigerian Open University. Oh, I will link you up with him, but it is well. Then we left. Then within days, things were moving very fast. We never used any serious financial resource in whatever we did, but things were moving on. We have the whole infrastructure down now. We've been able to... Um, 
advertised for students and now students are applying. We know this university by God's grace will also admit more than 100,000 students in future. And that will be also our contribution to the world in the era of education. So we thank the prophet, we thank all those who prayed with us, and we thank God for how far he's brought us. We decided to mention our titles because you see, this is the only place where you can thank God for what he has done for you. Testimonies are not for people to bluff to show what they have, but they are there to consolidate our faith, build our faith, and know that we all serve a living God. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And each of these processes, can you tell us how you minister the morning water and offer the prayer that brought about this wonderful breakthrough? I use the morning water a lot. In fact, initially she was even doubting it. So I was ahead. Um, she did chemistry, so sometimes some of them, they think the world is different. <laughs> so I used to use it a lot. Before I walk out of my room to my office, I use the morning water. When I enter my office, I use the morning water. So I'm, though I'm well protected in whatever I do. And as I sit in my chair, I know the Lord is already in the chair. Mm. So it's the morning water directs me. And once you are directed by the Holy Spirit, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Mm. She, at a point in time now, started using the morning water. And like she said, the day I saw her spray the morning water on the computer, I said, oh God, I thank you. <laughs> she is a believer now. <laughs> God, I thank you. And the miracles started coming. So she uses the money water than, more than me myself now. <laughs> a friend of mine asked me, by you, you are blessed. You have what it takes to move on in life. Why do you move to this Nigeria up and down? Then I told my friend, the witches are all over. You have to protect what God has given you. So you don't sit down for them to fight you before you go. You protect, and as you protect, you move on. So I'm here again to protect what God has given. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Wonderful. That's a great strategy indeed. And uh, we thank God Almighty for your life. So we want to ask you concerning the first testimony your wife gave about her wonderful healing. Please, what can you say as a husband? What, what can you say about the problem and the miracle that happened to your wife? Today, it's exactly 17 years we had our white wedding. The Nigerians call it white wedding. Uh -huh, okay, 17 years. In Ghana, normally you do the traditional one, then you go into the white wedding. So I've known her for the past 17 years to somebody who's right here. I mean, doesn't work at all. And if I've known her for the past 17 years, it means that the time I started moving with her, if I have to add that, then we are entering 20 years. And of all this, it was there before I even met her. She's about 45 years now. She's very beautiful, so people sometimes think she's 16. No, she's very, very beautiful. She's very, very beautiful. Yeah. So we'll be wondering about this, and we're going from hospitals to hospitals, even in the U.S. Anytime we pay a visit to the U.S., we try to go to uh, the medical doctor to see whether something new can come out of it, but nothing. And sometimes I sympathize, really, because she's a very brilliant lady, but then she has this, uh, what do you call it, problem of the year. In fact, we never expected this to happen, honestly. We didn't come because of the year. But you see, the first time we met the prophet, the prophet gave us um, the morning water. And he signed on the morning water. So we believe that was very special. In fact, we bought a lot of uh, what you call it, um, the books and the magazines and the water, we went and distributed a lot to friends. But that particular one, we made sure we never made a mistake. It was with us. <laughs> so we used to spray this in the ear, but no result. 
I believe this is the time that the results are shown itself. Sometimes we believe when we ask God for something, it should come just now. No. God gives his gift in his own time. And the time that we least expected, we have received it. In fact, we were told to report at the dining room 6 a.m. for breakfast. But we overslept because of happiness. Enjoy. Because now we have some, a gift that we never thought of. And we know we shall be receiving more and more and more. Because our God never fails, you know. He never fails. And he will never, never fail us. Amen. Yeah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Indeed, that is another wonderful lesson to learn from our Father. And he is trying to say that sometimes when we offer prayer to God, it is not at that point to offer the prayer we receive the answer. That doesn't mean that God is not working out the answer. God's time is the best. Amen. So, sir, briefly, what word of advice or encouragement do you have for people who are listening to your testimony? I believe the only place to walk to is the Lord's house. Sometimes when we rise in life, we think it's through our own making. No, there's something behind it. The Lord's hands is in it. Mm. So we shouldn't be tempted to believe that we've been progressing and it's through only our own effort. And when you progress in life, that's where you need to be more humble and also know God more. Mm. Because it is only God who can protect what he has given you, mm. nobody else. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you for that wonderful advice. And uh, can we hear from Madam? So for all that the Lord has taken you through, I believe you are in a position to encourage people who are still struggling, believing in their self-effort, now that the Lord has done it and proven to you that it is not by might nor by power, but it is by the grace of God. What word of encouragement uh, do you have for them? I want to encourage all those listening to us right now to know that the love of God faileth not. Jesus is still alive and he demonstrates his power and his life to us all the time through his anointed men. We should stay connected to the anointing of God and we will know that indeed he faileth not. Amen. Be to God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you very much. And indeed we congratulate you and also uh, uh, rejoice with you for what the Lord has done. It's a very a landmark achievement, especially in the field of education in, in your country. And also we want to encourage you to remain in faith in Christ Jesus. Now that you have found him and have, and have tested his, his mercy and grace, continue to walk in him and uh, make his word the standard for your life. And as you do so, the Bible says the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Escuchamos este maravilloso testimonio de esta pareja que viene desde Ghana. Ellos son profesores con un grado académico de doctorado y trabajan en una de las mejores universidades de su país y del oeste de África. Ella, la esposa, cuenta que por muchos años sufrió de un problema de los oídos, que para ella era difícil eh, oír especialmente por el lado derecho. Cuenta que incluso esto afectó sus estudios en muchas ocasiones ocasiones y que aún sus compañeros de clase se burlaban de eso. Ella cuenta que por la gracia del Señor es la tercera vez que visitan las Coan y que tienen la gracia de recibir el agua de la mañana. Dice que se la empezó a ministrar y algo sorprendente sucedió en su vida. Ese problema auditivo la dejó. Sus oídos ahora están en un estado normal. Ella escucha normalmente y para la gloria de Dios ella está sana junto a su esposo también cuentan que 
aplicaron para tener un programa de educación en la universidad. Dice que es algo que es un proceso complejo, que lleva mucho proceso, pero que ellos se ministraron el agua de la mañana, lo ministraron en los documentos, presentaron los documentos a la universidad y para la gloria de Dios les aprobaron ese programa. Dan toda la gloria a Jesucristo. Je peux entendre le merveilleux témoignage de ce couple qui sont tous les deux professeurs et ont bien d'autres activités. Ils ont dit que le premier témoignage, c'est cette femme elle a dit qu'elle avait un problème de surdité depuis la naissance à l'oreille droite. Elle n'entendait pas du tout. Elle a été voir plusieurs spécialistes, elle a été voir plusieurs docteurs, essayer d'avoir de, euh, des, des écouteurs pour pouvoir euh, euh, rehausser son, son écoute, mais cela n'a pas fonctionné pour elle. Elle a dit jusqu'à ce qu'elle vienne à la synagogue de l'Église de toute nation, qu'elle avait même oublié ce problème, qu'elle a présenté d'autres problèmes devant Dieu, mais étant seulement, simplement dans la présence de Dieu, ce que personne ne prie pour elle, ce elle n'applique pas l'eau du matin. Elle a dit qu'étant assise durant la réunion, son oreille s'est complètement débloquée, elle a senti la présence de Dieu. Et jusqu'à ce jour maintenant, elle entend complètement de son oreille droite. Et le deuxième témoignage qu'ils ont tous les deux, ils ont dit qu'ils avaient ce projet de pouvoir ouvrir une université par eux-mêmes. Mais ils n'avaient pas les fonds nécessaires pour cela, mais ils ont toutes les accréditations nécessaires. Mais grâce à l'application de l'eau du matin sur l'ordinateur et les documents pour cette université, les fonds sont arrivés de différents pays du monde. Et aujourd'hui, ils sont fiers de dire qu'ils sont maintenant le propriétaire de cette université que nous avons vu quelques minutes à l'écran et qu'ils ont les propriétaires, qu'ils ont déjà commencé à enregistrer les étudiants et rendre toute la gloire à Dieu. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for the wonderful thing he has done. People of God, right now we are about to listen to a very, very important testimony. Are you ready to hear this testimony? I cannot hear you. Are you ready to hear this testimony? The testimony we're about to hear concerns an incident that happened which the whole country, if not the whole world, is aware of. And we want to hear how God Almighty intervened in an incredible way in the life of two brothers who are here. So please let's listen attentively and we want to fully understand the extent of this powerful, powerful testimony that uh, the gentlemen here are about to share. So once again, this is a testimony of national and international importance. So get ready right now as we're going to listen to this testimony to the glory of God. So, brother, you are very, very welcome here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Can you introduce yourself to us and the, who are the people beside you? Thank you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is uh, Choko Deona. The person beside me is Mr. Dolu Odajare. He's my co-worker. And the rest of others there, our families have come to share the testimony with us of what God has done in our life. So the testimony goes like this. We are working in an offshore installation company with a transocean, and we are working deep sea. So and uh, before today, I've been coming to Synagogue Church of All Nations, and I was privileged to have a uh, morning water. And uh, when uh, I have that morning water, I never leave it anywhere I'm going. Is always with me and my anointed seeker. So that very fateful day on the 12th of August this year, so we are coming back from a installation work from deep sea where we are working. And uh, that very morning, I prayed before I leave my room. I prayed that God will take charge. I said, God, thank you for Johnny Mercy. I spread the anointed water. So I spread the morning water that very day. And uh, I went up to wear my bag. When I wear my bag, then we go to uh, for helicopter briefing, which we normally do before we take off. Okay. So you're going to take a journey in a helicopter? Yes. So that very day, as we wear our bag, we are waiting for Chopper to come. And uh, Chopper did not come till around uh, 3 p.m. And uh, every other day, Chopper is supposed to come between 9 and 10. The first uh, Chopper is supposed to come that very time. But that very day, did not come until 12. We begin to ask, what is happening? Why has Chopper not come? They said that the Chopper that is supposed to come and carry us, that is bad. They are working on it. 
So we are waiting. And as we are waiting, then at 2 o'clock, the chopper has not come. We ask again. They say that one cannot come. They are negotiating for another one that will come to carry us. So that chopper came some minutes to three. And when the people that the chopper brought to the rig, they dropped and we boarded the chopper. As we boarded the chopper... Uh, how many people were on board, sir? There are people on the board. We are 10 workers and uh, the two, the pilot and the co-pilot, which means we are two and four together. So that very day, we took off. And as we took off, we were flying very smoothly. Not until we get to Lagos here, some minutes to the airport before the chopper suddenly turned. The chopper suddenly turned. As it turned, everybody became confused. We were shouting, Jesus, 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 God of Tibo shall save us, God of Tibo save us. Everybody was shouting because when it turned, we noticed that there is a problem. So, and the chopper was dangling, tumbling up and down. And the last thing that I saw was, because I was on the back seat, and uh, I saw the pilot and the co-pilot down because it's like the chopper has faced down. So I saw them down. When the chopper fell inside the water, I don't know that anything fell inside the water. So you mean to say, sir, this helicopter crashed into the water? Yes, it crashed into the water and it got down to the water. So I was inside the water. I noticed that I'm inside the water. So when I noticed that I'm inside the water, I begin to struggle because somebody that is inside water you must struggle to come out. As I was struggling, I'm still on the same place I am. So I start to shout, God of Team Joshua save me, God of Team Joshua save me. I shout for about three times. And as I was shouting, I'm also drinking water. Because if you are inside and you open your mouth, water must definitely enter your mouth. So then after I shouted for three times, a voice came to me. And that voice that came to me is just as you are hearing me now. That's the way I heard the voice. The voice said, your seat bed, your seat bed. So I took my hand to the side of the seat bed, and the seat bed was loose. So I find that uh, I'm free. So the same voice came again and said, your life jacket, your life jacket. And I took my hand to the side of the life jacket, the thing inflate. That life jacket now carried me up from the down to the top of the sea. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So, brother, we want to clearly understand. You said you heard a voice. You are under the water right now. You're confined to a seatbelt, stuck, struggling. Who on earth could have spoken to you at that time? Or did you recognize that voice? Where did that voice come from? Well, I, I know the voice is voice of God, because that day I noticed that God can speak to his children. So, and I heard the voice of God that very day. If not because of the God of TV Joshua and the annoying, uh, morning water that I have with my sticker in my pocket, I will, you people will not see me today. I would have been a dead person. Wow, so you mean to say the moment you heard that voice tell you your seatbelt, you suddenly just touched your seatbelt, it loosed. Is that right? Yes. And the loose. same voice now told you life jackets. You now touch the life jacket, inflated. Tell us what happened next. Well, after the life jacket inflated, the life jacket now, because it's like a balloon when it inflates, it will enter the life jacket, and that thing now throw me out of the top of the water. My head is no longer inside, but all the other parts of my body is inside. I can breathe now. So when I saw the sky, I started saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because now I know that I'm alive. So I started saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was how I came out from the water. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. So tell us, sir, what, what happened after this? How, how were you eventually rescued in this situation? Yes, after that, I looked around and I saw a life raft. There is something that is called a life raft. That life raft is like a balloon. And when you enter it in such a case, then when you enter there, it will not sink. 
So I saw it like about 10 meters away from my position, and I'm trying to get to that life raft. As I was going, then I'm saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. So when I get to that life raft, I said I should climb the life raft so that I will be in there. But I could not climb it. So my co-worker, one of us, was already inside the life raft. Is the one that gave me a helping hand, then I helped me inside the life raft. Before the fishermen that is around now came, they bring their boats, then they put us inside our boat and brought us to the land. Wow, that was how our brother was rescued from certain death in this very serious helicopter crash. Now, to understand the nature of this testimony, brother, if not for God, do you think that anyone could have survived such a serious crash in the middle of the water? Uh, if not for the mercy of God, nobody would have survived. But because of the morning, morning water and the naughty stacker that is inside my pocket, I survived it and some other of my colleagues survived it. So we are very grateful for what God has done in our life that very day. So what again that happens that uh, that very day, the very person that is sitting by my left side died. And the other person sitting by my right side died. But God said it's not over for me. So if not for Jesus, I will have dead. So that is the reason why I came here today to give glory to Jesus Christ who saved my life. Amen. Indeed, it is only our Lord Jesus Christ who could rescue our brother and some of his colleagues from such a serious incident. And, I mean, tell us, what, what was the news that people heard concerning this crash? Tell us more about the news that happened as a result of this crash. Well, uh, the news was, you know, it is a national issue. And uh, everybody watched it, it and it's also on the newspapers. So if you have bought a newspaper, Punch, and uh, some other newspapers, it was published and our names are there, you can see it there. If I show it, you will see it. Okay, so our brother just wants to show us the story. You can see it's a headline story of this newspaper. What happened? So if you watch here now, you can see what happened. Okay, that's the scene of this city. As you can see now, you can see that it's inside the sea, not uh, on the land. So this was an incident that made national headlines both here in Nigeria and abroad. Uh, a very serious helicopter crash. And by the grace of God, there were six people who survived this crash. And our brother was among them. And he's testifying here today that it is only God Almighty who could rescue him from such a situation. And it was as a result of the morning water that he ministered before going on the journey and also the anointing sticker that he had with him. So, sir, do you mean to say that as this incident happened, you had the anointing sticker in your pockets? Yes, I had my anointing sticker in my pocket. Even the very anointing sticker is still here with me. I okay. will show you. Okay, please show us, sir. So our brother is showing us the actual anointing sticker he had with him when this incident happened as he was deep inside the lake trapped in the helicopter which crashed he was inside his stuck to the seat belt unable to move when god almighty spoke to him in that moment he heard a voice reminding him of his seat belts and the life jackets and that was how he was miraculously rescued so what, what are we seeing here sir yes uh, this is the anointed uh, seeker that i have in my pocket okay the anointed sticker that I have in my pocket that very day, and uh, the morning water was in my pocket, though I lose my uh, uh, water that very day, my morning water. But the uh, anointed sticker, they are still here with me. Well, one more time, people of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So, 
as you can see, it was not just one newspaper. All of the newspapers had actually carried this story as a leading news as a result of the terrible incident that happened. So you mean to say that this is another newspaper? Uh, yeah, this is another uh, newspaper that carried the news. And uh, you can see the picture of the uh, helicopter here. Well, once again, we give all the glory to our Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done. Uh, to our brother for rescuing him, for preserving his life. And you mentioned, brother, that even the newspapers mentioned your names as survivors. Just as, a, as an evidence, can you show us uh, where the newspaper mentioned your name so people can really understand uh, what you're saying is, is, is not a joke, it's a reality. Yes, uh, if you look here, you can see where our names are. My name and the name of my colleague is here, and other names that survived the helicopter crash. So we can see they're written in the newspaper, the names of our brethren here who survived this uh, terrible incident, and they're here to give glory to God Almighty today for rescuing their life and for setting, uh, giving them another chance to live again, even after such a terrible incident which ordinarily no one is expected to survive. So at this point, we'd like to hear from uh, our brother, who is also here to hear his own side of the story. Um, we thank God that our, our brothers are here today with their whole families to give glory to God. So brother, you're very welcome. Can you introduce yourself to us and share your own experiences concerning this incident? Emmanuel. My name is Dolue Piejwara. I work in an oil, I work in a drilling company to be precise translation. Uh, I, came, I came here to Synagogue Church of All Nations for blessing and breakthrough, and I was privileged to have morning water, which I took home. So after that day, whenever I want to go out, I administer the, uh, the morning water and I pray with it. So on the 12th of August, I was working offshore. So that very day, before we, we boarded uh, an helicopter, before we boarded the helicopter, before we bought the helicopter, I administered the anointing water. I administered the morning water and I prayed with it. Then we, we boarded at about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So as we are coming, very close to Lagos here, to be precise at, at Uruchoki, we I just discovered that the helicopter has a turn, a sharp turn. Just has a sharp turn. Ah, we were, all of us, we were some kind of afraid uh, what was going on because normally if helicopter want to have any problem or if the pilot is sensing any problem he will announce to the to the passenger on board and said okay this is what we have for everybody be at a lot so on that day there was no any announcement all we could see all we could observe is a sharp turn so when we see the sharp when we observe the sharp turn we see i see the pilot trying to operate to see if he could reverse the situation or if he could solve, uh, salvage the situation but he could not. So we were just coming down all the way. Daggling, swinging, coming down all the way. So we were hitting, using our leg, our head, hitting the, the uh, helicopter. So as we were coming down, we finally crashed at Ourochoki. So before we crashed, I couldn't remember anything. I could not remember anything. I could not remember before we crashed into the water. But all I could remember was that because when you are in the helicopter, you will bet off your seat bed. So all I could remember, I see myself swimming, but there is no way I could have come out, come out of the helicopter without removing my seat bed. And I was not the one that removed my seat bed. I did not even know how I came out from the helicopter under the water. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So, brother, you mean to say that you completely lost consciousness, you blanked out as the helicopter w was falling, so you don't even know how you managed to come out of that situation and find yourself in the water? Yes, yes, I did not know, if not for God, because I believe before, before I bought the helicopter, I administered the money water, so I believe it is work of God, and through, and, and it is, I believe it is work of God because we, we've been having a series of testimony which people have been given through the money water 
and uh, anointing sticker. So I believe it is the money water which I administered before I bought the helicopter. And I know it is God doing because there is God hand in the money water. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. And just for people to understand, sir, um, the seat belt that you had on in the helicopter, I mean, is it a seat belt that could just fall off by itself? I mean, how strong was that seat belt? And how ordinarily, if not for someone actually releasing it, how on earth could you come out of it? The seat, the seat belt is very strong. There is no way it could have, there's no way it could have broken if not for God, because there was nobody, everybody was struggling for himself to survive. But there is nobody that could assist me, and I could not assist myself, and I believe it is God that did that miracle. So the only thing you remember is falling, and then suddenly you found yourself swimming in the water. Yeah, that is the only thing I could remember. Just seeing myself swimming, and I cannot even remember to inflate my life vest. Because I should have uh, inflated my, my life, but I could not remember, I could not remember anything, if not for God. All I could see is that I find myself swimming before the fisherman came to rescue us. So it is God, and I believe God has done it, and will continue to do it for us. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. So in the light of what Jesus has done for you, sheltering you under the shadow of his protection, rescuing you at the point of death, Brother, what would be your advice to viewers around the world, especially concerning the morning water and the anointing sticker, the mediums which God used to actually save your life? Yeah, my advice, because ordinarily it is very difficult for one to survive uh, an uh, helicopter crash. If not for God, it is very, very rare to see that people survive in a crash. My advice to people is that the, the morning water is powerful. There is God power in the morning water. And you have every, everyone that is using the money water, you have faith as well. Because when you are using it, when you are applying it, when you administer it, you have faith within you that, okay, this is this is what I'm administering, God. There is God power in it. There is God. God can do everything because without, with God, everything is possible. That is why I'm alive. So my advice to people is that keep using the money water and have faith. And before using it, before administering it, Pray with it and believe God will do it. And God must surely do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus Christ. And finally, we'd like to hear from our other brother his own advice to our viewers around the world. He's a living testimony to the glory of God. As he's standing here, we see the glory of God that their being alive today is only by God's grace. So what would you advise people concerning this morning water and the anointing stickers? Uh, my brothers and sisters, before I give that advice, there is something I want to say. It's, law, it's just like a confession because before now, uh, what we read in the Bible and what they teach us about miracles, that uh, the dry bone will rise again, the Peter said the man at the beautiful gate, and very other miracles, I saw them as a story. Not until I started watching a uh, Imani TV, I began to see the miracle. I now know that it is real. So, my brothers and sisters, it is real. Let no one doubt again. God is real. And my advice to viewers all over the world is that whoever that do not have this uh, morning water and the morning sticker. You should make sure you have it because that is the only way you could be saved when you are in danger. And God said, when you call on him, he will answer you. And when I called upon the Lord, he answered me. And the way God answered me, he will answer every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Once again, we thank God for preserving and protecting our brothers' lives. This is an incident I believe most people in the church are aware of. It's an incident that was in the national news, both nationally and internationally. But nobody really knew what happened to the people who survived. We have listened to it today, and we give all the glory to God. In fact, we thank Him for their being here today. We want to encourage you to stay close to Jesus, to make His word a standard for your life, and definitely the best is yet to come as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Escuchamos este grandioso testimonio acerca de una noticia que fue internacional. Estos dos hombres que trabajaban en, trabajan en una compañía de petróleo fueron sobrevivientes de un accidente aéreo. Ellos cuentan que en medio del, de su vuelo en helicóptero, este tuvo fallas técnicas, así que eh, se estrelló en el mar. Ellos cuentan que cuando ocurrió el accidente y estaban en medio del agua, en su desesperación, ellos contaban con el agua de la mañana y con el sticker de la mañana y dicen que clamaron y pidieron que el Dios de Tibi Joshua los rescataran y cuenta uno de ellos que así como hizo esta oración una voz le dijo que soltara su cinturón él dice que soltó el cinturón, tomó su chaleco salvavidas y de esta manera pudo salir de todas las personas que iban en este vuelo ellos fueron los únicos sobrevivientes, así que le dan toda la gloria y la honra al Señor porque a través de su fe y del agua de la mañana y del sticker de la unción el Señor obró un milagro maravilloso y rescató sus vidas de este trágico accidente entender los maravillosos testimonios de estos hombres que han sobrevivido a un accidente de helicóptero que ha aparecido en las noticias y que ha hecho realmente mucho de bruit aquí en Nigeria. Ellos vienen a darle la gloria a Dios porque eran 12 en este helicóptero y 6 se han salido, ellos son parmi los 6. Ellos han dicho que antes justamente de entrar en el helicóptero, ellos han dejado aplicar el agua del matin y prier al Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua. Y súbitamente, cuando estaban en el aire, el helicóptero se ha desgrasado al fondo de l'eau y se ha encontrado al interior de l'eau, en train de appeler el Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua tres veces. Él ha dicho que incluso cuando d'appeler le Dieu du Prophète Joshua, l'eau est entrée même dans ses poumons et malgré cela, il a entendu la voix de Dieu lui dire d'enlever justement sa, sa ceinture de sécurité et de prendre aussi le gilet de sauvetage. Et lorsqu'il a pris le gilet de sauvetage, le gilet est, euh, a comme explosé, je projeté de l'air qu'il a fait euh, pouvoir monter à la surface de l'eau et c'est comme ça qu'elle a été euh, sauvée. Et dans toute la gloire à Dieu, ces deux hommes ont été euh, sauvés par l'application du matin et aussi le Dieu du Prophète Joshua, ils sont là pour dire merci au Seigneur d'avoir sauvé leur vie. Hallelujah. So we know the entire family have actually come with our brothers uh, to share this testimony, but time is not on our side to begin to listen to them. But we thank God that people have come here today to rejoice in their lives. And we know, as we said earlier, better is not good enough, the best is yet to come. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. Hallelujah. I can't hear you. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. Let's try that again. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus, is a response from a happy heart. Because joy is something that only true believers have. Amen? A million thanks are not enough for what Jesus Christ has done for us and continues to, to do for us. And I believe that as you're here listening to testimonies, your own miracle, your own testimony, your own breakthrough, your own transformation is just a moment away in Jesus' name. So be blessed as you listen to this testimony and we believe your faith will grow. Sir, you're welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, please can you introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and your position. My name is Dr. Emmanuel Sarah Kulu. I'm a consultant, ear, nose, and throat, head, and neck surgeon. I'm also a senior lecturer with the Department of Ear, Nose, and Throat by our university in Kano. We thank God for your life. And can you tell us what is the wonderful testimony that you have to share with the people of God? What was the problem you were having before? Yes, the problem I had before was that of financial difficulty and financial stagnation. It all started a few years back when the security situation in Kano became so there. And for those of us that live in Kano, they know what I mean. It reached a situation that security situation deteriorated that you are not even sure of your life or that of your family. Anything could happen at any point in time. And then I had to discuss with my wife that we have lived in this city for some time and we need to relocate. We prayed about it and we went downtown to search for a suitable accommodation in a place that is safe and secure. But we realized that the areas that were safe were in the government reserved areas. And they were very difficult and very expensive 
for me as a civil servant to afford, who is just a monthly salary. So the suitable and the least we got was 1.2 million naira. And that was not affordable to us. So we came back home and said, Lord, our lives in this city are in your hands. Do a new thing in our lives. And at that point in time, my, a friend of mine visited the squan and brought the morning water. We prayed, wrote our prayer request, prayed with Prophet T.B. Joshua, and placed the prayer request is permanently under our Emmanuel TV. At that point in time, things begin to turn around. A few days later, the landlord called us and said, I'm not in the habit of negotiating with tenants. The tenant that was in that house before you paid one million naira. But for you, you can bring 500,000 naira. So we paid the 500,000 and he said, there is a problem. I said, sir, what is it? He said, after one year, he was going to demolish the house and build a new one there. We said, that is okay. The God of Prophet TB Joshua that has brought us to this place will surely preserve us and find a solution when the time comes. We kept giving God the glory, praying along with Prophet TB Joshua. Brethren, before the end of one year, the landlord came at the tenth month. I said, bring the rent for another year. I'm not going to destroy that house again. And we said, thank you, Jesus. At that point in time, we upgraded our prayer request, anointed our prayer request, and then asked God that you should provide our own house. The condition we gave was that in a safe, affordable area in this town. And things began to happen. A few months later, a land agent came and said there are plots of land that are in a very safe and secured area that I think you'll be interested in. I said, okay, how much is it? He said it goes for between 10 and 12 million naira. I said, wow. He said, you know the security situation in the town. If it's going to be safe, then it's going to be very expensive. I said, no problem. We went again, updated our prayer requests, and continued to pray with Prophet T.B. Joshua, anointing our prayer requests. The same land officer came back to us a couple of weeks back. He said there are two plots for five million naira. The man needs cash, quickly pay. At that point in time, I had only two million naira. I said, I had two million naira. I said, well, you have to act fast. We went back to our prayer request. Lord, if this is the land and this is the opportunities you have created for us, make a way for us. Before we knew what was happening, we anointed our prayer request again and facility came from the bank and we bought that plot of land. We paid the building approval, we collected all the necessary documents and got an engineer and said, sir, how much does it cost to build a house? He said, what kind of house are you looking for? or you, want, you wish to build. We look around and find out all the houses in that area were duplexes. And I said, wow, uh, you shouldn't be able to identify my house from afar. If others are building duplexes, I'm going to build a duplex. He said, are you a businessman? I said, no. I'm a government worker, a civil servant. He was not too impressed. In fact, he was mocking that the least you can spend even if you are using grass roofing sheet, it's 25 million naira. We said, no problem. We upgraded our prayer request, anointed our request, kept praying along with Prophet T.B. Joshua. And before you know what is happening, I told him, dig the foundation. And I sent my wife, go and anoint the foundations of that plot. God will see us through. So she went with the morning water and anointed the foundations of that plot. And brethren, things began to happen quickly. Before we knew what was happening, favors were coming from left, right, center. People were calling, doctor, come and take about six to seven tons of iron rod. Pay when you like. Come and collect cement. Pay 
when you like. Come and take anything you want. Pay when you like. Brethren, there was a hand at work. To our greatest supply, surprise, we didn't have a borehole. And most people around us there, they were building hard boreholes because we couldn't afford to start digging a borehole when we knew we had a long way to go. So we started buying water. People that knew us around that area knew we were buying from these truck sellers. People in Nigeria understand what I mean. 2020 Naira, water, and favor started coming. Before we, you knew what was happening, to cut a long story short, within 24 months, we were about to roof. And when we wanted to roof, I called my wife and said, what kind of roof do we roof? My wife and said, what kind of roof do we roof our house? She looked around and said, ah, this is the kind of roof they're using here, but they're quite expensive. Let's go on the internet. We went on the internet and we saw the type of roofing sheets we wanted. Then it was called the Toscani Roman. Those of you who are in the building know what I'm talking about. So we contacted the company in Kano, their representative, and said, yeah, we have other brands, but we don't have Toscani Roman. But we'll contact our parent company in Belgium, because for now it's for the European markets. And we said, fine. So he called, and then things started happening. We went, updated our prayer request, used the morning water, and anointed the prayer request again. He called us and said to roof your house which cost you close to three million naira. And we said, our God is able. Go ahead. And he brought it and said, look, you can pay what you want. How much can you pay? I said, I will pay 200,000 every month. He said, you can keep paying until you're true. To God be the glory. We have roofed that house. We are living in that house. And the borehole we didn't have, we now have. Now we also enjoy not only the public power supply, but we have 24 hours power supply, solar box system. Hallelujah. This is a radical transformation in your life. And we can see some amazing photos next to you. Can you just explain for the people of God what these show? Yes, this is the picture of the main house. That is the boys' quarters. And this is the main house. This is a picture of the house from the uh, outside. And that's the boys' quarters there. And then this is the main house there. And then that is my car behind. And the other car there belongs to my wife. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Yes, these photos are evidence enough to show the transformation in the life of our brother. When God says yes, no one can say no. Amen? Those that saw you as a poor person will soon see you as a blessed child. Hallelujah. Uh, doctor, we would like to hear from you. What can you say about the morning water, which was the, the medium that God used to raise you to a new level in life? In fact, I'm short of words to say, but if I must say the least, the morning water is the instrument. It is the agent which God has used to transform my life. In fact, when I call my friends, my colleagues, same office, when they come, they said, no. Is this the house you are talking about? Are you sure this is the house? I said, this is my house. In fact, till tomorrow. When I come to the house, I pass the house intentionally. And my children will say, Daddy, you passed the house. I said, I know. We go round and round and round and kept looking at it. God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, you are very faithful. And to add on, there was, remember I told you there were two plots of land. The man who owned the plot in front of us came and said, look, I'm relocating out of Kano. Can you buy this plot of land? We said, why not? If God can do this, he can do more. We cannot limit ourselves based on our imagination. I'm going to buy. He stated the amount. To God be the glory, we bought that property. Another one came again in front and said, look, 
Doctor, there is another plot of land. Are you interested? I said, we're interested. And he said the amount, we acquired that one too. And to God be the glory, the third one is there. And the man said, how much? And he said, 20 million naira. To God be the glory, we are at the point of acquiring that also. Hallelujah. People want to hear from you. Those that are watching all over the world that once uh, they're in the... uh, position that you were once in, a position of difficulty, frustration, where you felt you had to move because of security reasons, but you didn't have that financial stability. How would you advise people all over the world? Brethren all over the world, my advice to you is always seek the face of God when things seem impossible, especially when things are very difficult. And impossibilities stare you in the face. Don't look at your peers. Don't say this is tradition. I'm a salary earner. I have family limitations. Trust in God that the same God that does it for others can also do yours. And if you believe, you should pray along with Senior Prophet TV Joshua, anoint your prayer requests, and above all, believe. When things are difficult, dig deep and fight it through and it shall be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for your life, and we want to encourage you that as God has blessed you, you've been blessed by the word of God. You should also be ruled by that word so that uh, you'll maintain this wonderful blessing for generations yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Nous venons d'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cet homme qui souffrait de difficultés financières. Il voulait justement changer de logement dû à des problèmes d'insécurité dans sa région. Il a dit qu'il avait des problèmes financiers à pouvoir se déplacer pour aller dans une autre maison. Mais il a envoyé une quête de prière à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Et après avoir envoyé cette requête, il a pu avoir une maison qui de maman devait coûter un million avant d'entrer dans cette maison. Mais qui lui a été donnée à moitié prix à 500 000 naira pour pouvoir rentrer dans cette maison et pouvoir la louer. Il est rendu toute la gloire à Dieu. Après cela, il a décidé qu'il devait pouvoir avoir sa propre maison et peut-être construire sa propre maison. Il a encore envoyé une requête de prière à la synagogue église de toute nation et c'est comme cela qu'il a pu obtenir un terrain qui valait à peu près 20 millions de naras, qu'il a pu l'obtenir à 5 millions de naras dans un temps record. Il s'est approprié ce terrain, il a pu construire sa propre maison comme nous avons vu quelques minutes auparavant à l'écran. Une grande maison et aussi une maison aussi pour les invités juste à côté qui fait que deux maisons et les maintenant c'est des deux voitures, une voiture pour lui, une voiture pour sa femme, rendant la gloire à Dieu pour la bénédiction financière que Dieu lui a donnée. En plus de cela, il a renvoyé encore une requête de prière à la synagogue disant qu'il voulait encore s'approprier d'autres terrains et pouvoir développer encore plus ses propriétés et c'est comme cela qu'aujourd'hui qu'il est le propriétaire de trois terrains pour la gloire de Dieu le troisième terrain étant justement plus de 20 millions de naram mais parce que Dieu l'a béni financièrement après avoir envoyé sa requête de prière à la synagogue il est capable de pouvoir prendre ce troisième terrain au prix de 20 millions de naram et en toute la gloire de Dieu de ce que le Seigneur l'a béni financièrement Escuchamos el maravilloso testimonio de este hombre que nos cuenta que estaba presentando una situación financiera muy difícil, que su carrera estaba en estancamiento y de incluso él estaba viviendo en un lugar y un sector muy inseguro en su ciudad. Él nos cuenta que él vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, obtuvo el agua de la mañana y desde entonces su vida cambió completamente. Él pudo conseguir una casa que tenía el precio de un millón doscientos de naira, se lo rebajaron a quinientos mil nairas. Él se pudo ir a vivir a esa casa con su familia en un lugar tranquilo y seguro sin embargo el dueño de la casa le dijo que en un año él iba a demoler la casa así que este hombre continuaba con esa preocupación en su corazón y él continuaba orando con el profeta TV Joshua a través de Manuel TV, él seguía confiando en que Dios podía hacer algo y que tenía todo bajo control, luego un amigo de él lo contactó diciéndole que el gobierno estaba vendiendo una tierra muy muy buena y que estaba muy bien localizada Así que este hombre empezó a orar y el, el valor de la tierra era de 10 millones de nairas y este hombre solo tenía 2 millones de nairas en su cuenta bancaria. Nos cuenta que él fue al banco, hizo un préstamo, el, el, el banco le prestó el dinero, pudo comprar la tierra, sin embargo él no tenía ningún dinero para construir la casa. Luego el dinero empezó a llegar y él pudo ser capaz de construir su casa. Sin embargo, cuando eh, ya estaba en la etapa final de la construcción, 
construcción. El techo que él quería y que estaba interesado para su casa era muy caro, pero Dios le dio la provisión para comprarlo y ahora nos, nos cuenta su testimonio de que no tiene ninguna deuda, que le ha pagado todo al banco y que la gloria sea para Dios. Que sigan confiando y que confíen en el Dios del profeta T.B. Joshua. Continuamos. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say the best is yet to come. I can't hear you. Say the best is yet to come. As you confess this, I want to assure you that indeed the best is yet to come in your life in Jesus' name. Right now we have a woman who is in our midst right now to share a testimony with us. She wants to share a testimony of how God Almighty completely turned around our situation. And I believe what we all are here for is a complete turnaround in our situation. Am I right? Am I right? So let's listen. Madam, we welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Can you tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Chief Superintendent of Police in Didiamakati Naoguamalam, attached to Anambra State Command. Share with us your wonderful testimony. I'm here to give God the glory, saving my life from sickness and giving me opportunity to testify the goodness of God in my life today. So my testimony is all about sickness. When I came in here, 2013, I came in here with a swollen legs. It all started. One night I was sleeping. Something bites me, and I, I hit my leg, my hands on that legs. It scratched me. I scratch it. When I wake up in the morning, I only noticed that the legs were swelling up. From then, almost 20 years, I suffered that uh, swelling of legs, which I have, I have a picture of how the legs look like. It is on the board. Show us the picture. If you look at this, this is my picture. I took this picture purposely to show the picture, the state where I was. These two legs swell up for the past 20 years. The kids you saw there was my children. That's their twins. So the sickness kept me for many years. I couldn't walk. Very painful. I can't go perform my duties. It affected me. Even financially, when I collect my salary, I only spend it from one hospital to another. From one hospital to another. All tests was carried me from teaching hospital to another teaching hospital. At a stage, friends advised me that this sickness is not a uh, it's not for medical doctors to attend that I should go to natives. Then I have to go to natives. I was taken to see all native doctors, she rhymes. That's where you can see at the board. Look at this board, you will see these are gallons of mixture of herbs and all the concussions, the ones to drink, the ones to rub. If you come to my house, it looks like a native doctor's house. All the corners of the house was all roots and halves. This life continued like this for the past 20 years. So one day, and I came back from the native where I was treating. So I now went to the salon to do my hair because my hair was so rough. So while I was sitting in there doing my hair, there was the man TV in that salon, and I saw a testimony of a colleague, a police officer like me, giving a testimony by name Sergeant Gift Ayubawa from Enugu State, having gone shot while performing his duty. 
I now saw what uh, the pr prophet C.B. Joshua did in his life. The thing caught my attention. Who is this man of God and who can do this miracle for a police officer? So I have to lose my hair. I'm concentrated on that television and that testimony. When I now watch on that television that very day, I now ask them, who, where is this? Who is this pastor? And where is the church? So when getting home, I have DSTV. I sat throughout the DSTV. I didn't see that Simane television. I now have to ask people. I asked people, they now directed me so that it's a strong. I struggle to get it. But before this time, because of their sickness, I don't keep a fadding. I don't have service. All what I have is going for one place or another. Going to Shirai, I was taken to so many Shirais, I was initiated to so many Shirais from one state to another. Tell anywhere, anywhere, what can money can afford. So that time, I now asked somebody, they helped me and get that uh, decoder. When I install it, behold, I keep on seeing miracle upon miracle. I couldn't believe it, it is in this country, Nigeria. I couldn't understand. I said, this thing is happening here. Before then, I have to copy the address on the Mane television. When I copied the address, I came to synagogue. I don't know anybody. I don't know where to. But all I know that I will not miss road. I came with my first daughter who helped me because that time I cannot walk. I have difficulty in walking. I cannot do anything, even posting, I cannot do anything. So when I came here, I was able to get privilege to get this money water, which I've been using and pray for. I was sitting down as you people were sitting down. I only believe on the power of God, what God has done to the life of so many people. Even I watch people from other countries, they came to this country and they were blessed. And I say, God, my own will not be exceptional. God, that miracle you did in the life of so many, changing the life of people, you will change my life. And God did the same today. That is why you are here. I am here today to testify for the goodness and mercy of God. If you look at me and look at these pictures, you look at the appearance now, you know that God has turned it around. That's a great miracle in my life. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. <clears throat> Madam, we would like you to take you back a little bit. After you got the morning water and returned to your state, tell us what happened. How did you minister the morning water and what happened afterwards? I was using this morning water in all things I'm doing. I see that my life with defense is a, a helper to my life because I listen to the testimony of so many people. If I want to take my shower, I drop it in the water and call the God of Prophet C.B. Joshua. Let me digress a little. That particular day I saw Prophet C.B. Joshua that took that sergeant to India and the life of that young man turned around. That night, I used to have nightmares. I used to have eating in the dream, sex in the dream. I used to have attacks, evil attack on the dream. But that particular night, I have to pray with the name of God of Prophet E.B. Joshua. And that night, I saw Prophet E.B. Joshua in my dream. And I started, when they came to attack me, I was saved. And that is how my miracle started. And I said, since I pray with this man, said the God you are serving, be my God, and the same God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, is serving. Help me and heal me. Rescue me from these powers of darkness. And God did it for me. And that is why I am here. For ministering this anointing water. I use it in my office. I use it to even my children. I'm no longer visiting hospital anymore. Okay, madam, concerning the issue of your leg, after ministering the morning water, what happened? You can see me, I am here. You will see my legs. 
I'm putting on shoes now. I'm putting on shoes. Before it is not like this. I can't put on shoes. Shall we put hands together for Jesus, the miracle worker? <laughs> Madam, so you're telling us that at the time you had the swollen legs, you could not put on shoes like this. I couldn't wear shoes. I couldn't have difficulty in walking, pants. And I'm not happy. I can't wear the uh, clothes. I can't wear even police shoes. I cannot dress up like a woman. We want you to walk before us to the glory of God to see that indeed you have been healed. Wow, we can see that truly God Almighty has restored our sister to the original position in which he created her. So I want you to continue with your testimony. Emmanuel, I'm very happy and glad to be your miss to give this testimony. Since that 2013 till now, I'm always coming to Synagogue Church of One Nation. And all those morning, the devil robbed from me. God has started restoring it. Even my career, I didn't know that I was having pending query. There was a query in my file at first headquarters Abuja, 2014, 2004. I didn't know. Let me not waste your time, but the query is all about 2003, God blessed me with two bouncing baby boys. I give birth to twins. I went on maternity leave like every civil servant. On resumption from my uh, maternity leave, there was a senior police officer like me. I don't know the issues. He wrote that uh, query and forwarded it to first headquarters Abuja. And that query has been in the file. When my AIG noticed about it, he wrote a letter that they should ignore it. He has treated it within his level, 2005. And after that 2005, when I gave birth to twins, I was a DSP. Then I was promoted superintendent of police 2006. I didn't know that the query has been in the file. So when they started promoting our mates, my mates, I was number one for my, I'm a cadet officer. When they were promoting my course mates, my name was not, nowhere to be found. I had a dream. In the dream, there was a promotion. I was having the list of promotion like this. When I opened that list of promotion, my name was not there. Physically, it happened. When the promotion was released 2013, from superintendent of police to chief superintendent, my name was not there. And I never knew what was the problem. So one day, I went to Abuja and submitted my annual performance for promotion. I came back. So one corporal now called me, who is a computer operator, now asked me, Mommy, don't you know there was a query pending or, 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 query, in, or, or query in your file? I said, I don't have any query, I don't have any issue. I said, check back again. He now checked. I gave him my APE number. I mentioned it 42561. He pressed it, I said there was pending. I said, who gave me that query? He now mentioned it. I have to recollect 2004 when that query was issued. So I have to start running around. I can't remember anything again. When I couldn't remember anything about it, I can't find my file. I have to go back to my state command, IBM. Look, fortunately for me, I got the whole file. I now have to do the photocopy and put off covering letter. And I now move to with that copy of that uh, document, and I use money water. Before I submitted that document, I used this money water, and I read that, more, that seeker, those documents. While Daddy was praying, I placed the whole documents on the screen. I ministered this money water before I submitted it. So I was scheduled, I was scheduled for board. That was last year, 11th June, 
2014 and went for the board. Why going for the board? Those who are police officers all over the world know what query of senior police officer is all about. If you won't have promotions, you will be stagnant. So before facing the board, this plenary board, I used the money water. I entered inside the toilet. I prayed before facing the uh, panel of judges. We have it as just like you are facing, you are going to court. So I used the money water after praying, I sprinkled it all over. And now walking inside the hall, as I was walk marching before the panel, when they opened my file, everybody was, go, 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 go back. What of the twins? Do they survive? I say yes. They asked me to go back, go back, go back, go back. Put your hands together for Jesus. Wow, our God is a miracle worker. You know, when God says your case is settled, no one can stand against you. I say your case is settled today in Jesus' name. Amen. So when they ask me, go back, everybody ask me, go back. The whole DIGs, because it is DIGs that made up the panels, all the DIGs in Nigerian police force. They now ask me, go back. And I turn. They ask me about the twins. How old? I told them, the twins, as I them, they are 11 years. They are in junior YEG. They are writing that they wrote their junior YEG. They are in SS1. They are 12 years today. So all of them asked me to go back. I went away. So from that Abuja, I came down to this place. I joined the birthday party of that the last year. I keep on praying and ministering and morning water, watching my money TV. Then, since then, um, that July, the next month, I received a letter of a generation letter. It is on the board here. This is the letter of a exoneration letter. Madam, can you explain to us what the exoneration letter is all about? Exoneration letter means I'm not to be blamed. Our God set me free. So you mean after ministering the morning water on your documents and also before facing the panel, just after that you received this letter saying that the query has been cancelled and you have been set free? If you look at the date, the disciplinary board took place 11 to June 2014. The exoneration letter is July 2014. Then after, praise the Lord. Then the whole obstacles was cleared, as God may have it. The promotion has been released. I am now Chief Superintendent of Police. Madam, for the children of God to understand what God Almighty has done in your life, for how many years have you remained stagnant on a particular level? For the past nine years, I was wearing rank of superintendent. If you look at the board here, you will see the promotion, you will see the superintendent of police. Since 2006, I was promoted superintendent. I was wearing that rank for complete nine good years. But now, show us your picture now. So now, God has promoted me. This is the new promotion, chief superintendent of promo uh, police. This is the letter of promotion from Police Service Commission. Once again, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And once again, we would like you to just move from one picture to another and explain to us the pictures on the board. Praise the living God! So after then, since I came in here, God healed me. That's the blood. Before I, I can boast of anything, poverty was the order of the day because whatever I, I have as a salary goes back for sickness and what have you. But since 2013 I came here, it's one blessing to another. I was able to buy this vehicle last year. Those money, this evil one used to stole away from me. This is a vehicle, Parado Jeep. I bought this vehicle last year. You 
you can see when I was sick with the condition of that sickness if you look at the picture I don't have a hope of living I don't have a hope of having anything this is a land document this year at the month of August I was able to pay for two plots of land this is the document Wow. People of God, you will agree with me that indeed God Almighty has done a total turnaround in the life of our sister. And we'll also like you once again to just explain the pictures of you in the uniform before and now. This first picture is when I was pretending to police. This second one was when I was the day they decorated us as chief pretendant of police. This is the one I sat in my office. Madam, we would like to ask you one question. With what God Almighty has done in your life, because we can see that your blessing is a whole package, from healing to breakthrough. In fact, the miracle is just too much. Tell us, what can you say about the medium of the morning water? My advice for this money water. Once you receive this money water, receive it with faith. It is only faith that can move mountain. And you have to believe. Believing in God, what God is doing in this arena of liberty is our connection with God Almighty. This is a medium to present immediately you start using this you are in position of divine grace of God you are the mercy of God to so receive this money water receive it with faith and what I have another advice once you are watching Imane TV don't watch it as a movie all day Imane TV is not all other televisions you see all over the world watch it is for your spiritual weapon for now, I sleep with Imane Television. Because when Imane Television is on, even if I'm sleeping, the evil ones come. I am rest assured I'm in the presence of God with Imane Television. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. We have heard it all from our sister. She's just reminding us again that there is enough available anointing here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations to heal you, to bless you, to deliver you, to prosper you. All you need to do is use your faith to put a demand on the anointing available. And we can see what this anointing in the morning water has done in the life of our sister. We give glory to God for your life. And Madam, we just want to ask you, now that you've been promoted, tell us what post are you aspiring to now? <laughs> Praise the living God. <laughs> By the grace of Almighty God, who made me what I am today, who have been fighting all this battle for me. Because to see a police officer who is not joining any court or depend on any gods, I depend on the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. The next promotion will be Assistant Commissioner of Police. Praise the Lord. And Madam, I want to assure you that a good God who has started his work in your life will definitely complete it in Jesus' name. Amen. And better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. We know you're coming back with the best in Jesus' name. Amen. And once again, we'd just like you to show us your leg. Wow. These are the legs. Nous venons d'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cette femme qui venait à la synagogue des Nations premièrement avec un problème de gonflement des jambes qui lui avait causé d'avoir des difficultés à marcher. Elle a été partout cherchée dans les hôpitaux une solution à son problème jusqu'à ce qu'elle vienne à la synagogue des Nations et qu'elle puisse se procurer l'eau du matin. Et après l'application de l'eau du matin, elle a dit qu'elle a retrouvé l'utilisation de ses jambes et qu'elle marche librement. Comme nous venons de le voir, elle vient de montrer que le gonflement est complètement parti. Elle a dit que le deuxième problème qu'elle avait, c'est qu'elle cherchait une promotion dans son travail, qu'elle n'arrivait pas à avoir cette promotion. Elle a tout essayé, mais jusqu'à après 
avoir utilisé l'eau du matin, elle a pu pouvoir déposer un dossier. Elle a fait face au panel et c'est comme cela qu'elle a eu sa promotion de superintendant à chef superintendant de police dans toute la gloire à Dieu. Et elle dit que la, la prochaine étape pour elle, c'est de pouvoir devenir assistant de commissaire au niveau de la police. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu. Elle dit que le Seigneur l'a béni tellement financièrement également après cette promotion qu'elle a pu s'acheter sa voiture, elle a pu s'acheter un terrain et en toute la gloire à Dieu, c'est ce qu'elle a fait dans sa vie. Gloria a Dios, esta mujer comparte con nosotros tres grandiosos testimonios que Dios ha hecho en su vida a través del agua de la mañana. Ella es una oficial de policía, nos cuenta que hace 20 años estuvo sufriendo de una enfermedad en su piel, su pierna constantemente estaba inflamada y no había ninguna solución ni remedio para solucionar ese problema que ella tenía. Así que decidió venir a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, obtuvo el agua de la mañana, se la empezó a ministrar y recibió su su sanidad. También nos cuenta que ella quedó embarazada y estaba muy asustada porque en su trabajo la querían despedir. Sin embargo, ella empezó a orar y orar y a pedirle al Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua que tomara control de esa situación. Así que ella recibió su licencia de maternidad y le dieron el lapso de tiempo que ellos pueden tener durante su embarazo para no seguir trabajando. Sin embargo, ella no perdió su trabajo. Da también nos cuenta que durante nueve años estuvo esta en limitación en su profesión pero gloria sea a Dios esta mujer ha recibido un doble ascenso y vemos los documentos en pantalla, vemos las fotografías de su condición anterior vemos la, 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 la carta del doble ascenso que esta mujer ha tenido, ella nos cuenta que está muy feliz, le da la gloria a Dios y le recomienda a todos los televidentes que sigan conectados con Emanuel TV porque su milagro está a punto de comenzar, muchas gracias, continuamos Okay, madam, we just want to ask you a question. We can see that you're not just wearing any shoe, but you're wearing high heels. Were you able to wear this kind of shoes before? No. Praise the Lord. Once again, the good God that has done all these blessings in the life of our sister will not forget all of us in Jesus' name. And one by one, we'll all stand one day here to give our testimony in Jesus' name. También vemos que ahora la mujer puede utilizar tacones, cosa que antes no podía hacer. Ella le da toda la gloria y la honra a Dios. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I believe that we have all been so encouraged by these wonderful testimonies today. If you have been encouraged today, let me hear your praise. Let me hear your praise. I can't hear you. Amen. Truly, Jesus Christ is worthy of all of our praise. And right now, we just want to continue with some more wonderful testimonies that will encourage your faith. Because we know that when we listen to testimonies and our faith is encouraged, we can know that Jesus Christ will do it for us as well. Amen? Amen. Right now, we just want to welcome our sister who is with us here today. So, madam, you are welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Can you please uh, share with us your wonderful testimony? But can you begin by telling us your name and where you're from? Good morning, church. Uh, my name is Pamela Kuku. I'm from South Africa. I am a police officer by profession. And can you please tell us the testimony that you have to share with us today? But first, can you tell us the problem that you were facing before you received your solution? The problem that I had before I received my solution was the problem of a spirit of drunkenness, spirit of stagnation, and spirit of hardship and poverty. And uh, because of this problem of uh, drunkenness, I was... Uh, Unable to have, I had nothing to show off. Me and my husband, in, in, my, in, in our marriage there was nothing to show off because we were using our money to consume the alcohol. And we had, I in my own experience had this problem for 14 years because uh, since my childhood we were performing the tra traditional uh, rituals in our family. So you get introduced to alcohol while you are uh, performing these rituals. And can you tell us how did this problem of drunkenness affect your daily life, your finances, your marriage? 
it affected my finances in a way that at times I would uh, go and make a loan and most of that money I would spend it to buy alcohol and thinking if I'm just enjoying myself. And as a result of this, uh, we were blacklisted. My husband and I we were both blacklisted. We were in debt in terms of finances. And as for my family, this, is a, this has been a generational crisis because uh, everyone in my family is uh, uh, consuming alcohol. So to take you back a little bit, you said that you and your husband were blacklisted because of the debt that you were facing. So for the benefit of our viewers, can you explain for us a little bit about what that means to be blacklisted? It means that you cannot be able to make loans in a bank or to make any credit accounts. So uh, we couldn't make any credit accounts and we couldn't uh, do anything in terms of finances that is going to prosper us because we had so many debts that we couldn't even afford to build a house for ourselves. So you mean to say that because of all this debt, you really didn't have a place to live and no bank would give you any money at all? Uh, we didn't have, we, we, on, we were living in a shack before. We had the land and we were living in a shack. As you can see here uh, on the picture, this is where we were living. And uh, that was because of this debt. And um, the other thing that I want to add in terms of my marriage, we would quarrel because of this uh, alcoholism. Because at times my husband would get home at 2 o'clock in the morning. and. There was a time where he even slept in the bush and he left the vehicle on the road, in the middle of the road and he was drunk, he didn't know where he was, he just got up in the bush the next morning. So you said that both you and your husband were both uh, struggling with the spirit of drunkenness. How did this affect you and your husband's career? It affected uh, his career in a way that uh, there was a time whereby he was driving and he was under the influence of alcohol and his profession at the time he was a driver so his driver's permit was taken away from him because of that uh, record that he was driving under the influence of alcohol and he was arrested for it. So as you mentioned, you had been struggling with this problem for 14 long years. Where did you go in search of a, search of a solution for this problem? We went to search for solution to, to many places, uh, such as traditional healers, wish doctors. They would tell us the problem that we are facing, but they would not give solution. They would give us uh, charms, we would use them, but there would still be no solution to the problems that we had. So uh, uh, there was a point where we, 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 we went to so many of them and we were paying a lot of money for, for these traditional healers and these spiritualists, but there was still no solution to the problem that we were facing. And so what happened after that, after you went and tried to find a solution for this problem but found none, what did you do next? Uh, I got to know about the Synagogue Church of All Nations on 2013 and because I've seen that we are spending so much money on this alcohol and as well on traditional healers and instead of making things better, things were getting worse. So uh, I said to my husband, listen, there is a church that people are going to in, in, in Cape Town. There was a Cape Town branch at the time. So I said there's a church that people are going to from other provinces. So something must be happening there. So I think we should go and visit and see what is going on there because I'm tired of using these charms and we don't find anything uh, valuable on them. So we decided let's go and then we went uh, to visit a synagogue church in Cape Town branch and as we went there, we watched the Emmanuel TV and uh, we listened to the testimonies as well as the teachings. And I was surprised that people who could get delivered to so many spirits that they were facing. And uh, all this time we were spending so much time and so much money in traditionals, uh, to traditional healers and there was like no, no solution to it. So we, we continued uh, then uh, worshipping at a synagogue in Cape Town up until uh, we decided that we should, uh, one of us should come to Synagogue Church of All Nations in, in Lagos. And that happened in January 2014. So my husband visited uh, Synagogue Church of All Nations here in Lagos, uh, January last year. And before he came here, we, we didn't have finances for him to come here. 
So we went to the bank and we applied for the loan and it was declined because of, as I said before, that we were blacklisted, we were in debt. So we, the, the loan was a declined, but uh, by God's grace, we managed to, to get the money for him to come here. So he eventually came to Scorn Lagos here in uh, the January last year. And when he came here last year, he got his deliverance, and afterwards he was, privil he was privileged to, to receive the morning water, and he got back home to South Africa, and we prayed with it, we admi administered the morning water as husband and wife, we prayed over it, and since uh, that day that we prayed, since the day when he came from synagogue, we've never touched alcohol ever again, I've never had urge to ever touch alcohol. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. That is so wonderful. Can you please tell us what happened after that? After that, we continued praying with the morning water. We sprayed it over the, the plot that has said that we had this land here. We, pray, we prayed and administered the morning water around the yard. And then we, we asked God that he, he must have mercy on us. And uh, eventually, we started uh, managed to secure finances. We started saving some money and my husband got, oh, before he got promotion, we went to the bank to check if we can maybe get the material, uh, maybe loan for material. And at, at first we were, we were not sure about it because we knew before he came here it was already declined. But we decided, okay, let's go anyway. So we went to the bank and, and, and uh, by the gracious surprise we find out our debt uh, has been cleaned. They were paid off. We don't know who paid them. Wow, let's clap for Jesus. So you mean to say that when you went to the bank, all of the previous debt that you had before was miraculously paid off, whereas you had not paid any money towards these debts? Uh, that is correct. Even the one that was still showing at the bank, they said that uh, we are paying it right, we have a clean record. So we were surprised, but not like really surprised, because we knew if it's the, the work of the anointing water that we were using. So uh, the bank then, we, we, they offered us uh, money, about 40,000 rands at that time. And I said to him, no, let's wait, let's not uh, take this money now. And then about a month ago, when we went back to the bank and they said, no, they've decreased uh, the, the, the amount to 14,000 rands. So I said, no, it's fine still. We, we continued praying because at this time we wanted to build. So we continued with praying, with administering the morning water and with watching uh, the Emmanuel TV praying with it. And... Um, on August, uh, no, on uh, yeah, on August uh, last year, we've managed to secure uh, the money because now we were not using the money on alcohol anymore, and we were not seeing this uh, spiritualist anymore. So the money that we had, we were able then to save it. So by August, but. It was like a, a big surprise to us as well, because it's not like we're getting a lot of money, but my husband then got a, a promotion at his work, and he, 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 he received an increase on his salary. So because of that extra money that he got, then we managed to save uh, some money so that we can start building this house that you can see here on the picture. Then on August, I started Googling to check on the internet if we can maybe get uh, the material before we went to take that 14,000 that the bank has uh, promised to give to us. And uh, by God's grace, as you can see here on the picture, this roof here, this house, I think in this picture, but you, it, it doesn't show the wall house because this house is like going further down there. So uh, with this roof, uh, we've made a quotation and we find out you can pay around 60,000 rands for it. And by God's grace, as I said, that I went to the internet and see if maybe I can get uh, the, the material. And I've paid only 5,000 rands for this roof. Wow, let's clap for Jesus Christ. So, Madam, you said that you started building this house in August of 2014. And we can see in these pictures here today that there is a finished product. For how long have you been living in this house now? Uh, we started building this house in August. And within two months, this house was finished. 
by God's grace. And as I'm talking to you now, we only took 14,000 rands from the bank. And uh, that 14,000 rands that we took, we already paid it off. So we don't owe anything in this house. Wow, let's put our hands together for our wonderful, miracle-working Jesus Christ. Truly, Jesus Christ is the answer to all fundamental issues of life. So, Madam, now that you have received this wonderful breakthrough in your life and deliverance from the spirit of drunkenness, can you please tell us what you have to say about the medium of the morning water? What you can say about this medium of morning water, when you receive it, you must receive it with faith. This is not a charm, so you cannot administer as you are using the charm. As uh, the teachings of a uh, synagogue, they always said, even with the faith, faith bracelet, they said you must meditate. So if you do not, you cannot like speak as you are speaking on the charm. You must pray and you must have faith with, when, when you are administering this anointing water. Amen. So right now, what can you say is your advice for the people who are here in the congregation and for our viewers who are watching us live right now who might be facing a similar problem as you through a spirit of drunkenness or who are experiencing financial setback? What kind of advice can you give to those people? Uh, the advice that I would give to viewers all over the world and the, peop and the people in church is that if you are still holding into traditional ceremonies, you are wasting your time. Because the most money that we use, also we use is to perform these uh, ceremonies, hoping that the ancestors would be pleased and they would help us. But that didn't happen. Things got worse. Every time we went to do the ceremony, things they just became worse. And every time that we, we, we visited the spiritualist, things, instead of getting better, they were getting worse. So whenever you have challenges or whenever that you have uh, trials or, uh, that you are facing, you must see Seek help to God, and He's the only person that can assist you. Well, praise the Lord. We really thank God for your life and for this wonderful testimony that you have shared with us this morning. And I know and I believe that everyone in here has been encouraged by your wonderful testimony today. So, madam, we want to encourage you that as you have received this wonderful breakthrough and deliverance in your life, that in order to maintain this, that you will make God's word the standard for your life so that this he, this deliverance will remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's put our hands together for Jesus one more time. Nous allons entendre le grand premier témoignage de cette jeune femme qui vient de l'Afrique du Sud qui dit que le problème majeur qu'elle avait premièrement, c'est que son mari était alcoolique. Et ce problème d'alcoolisme a duré depuis plusieurs années, que même leurs deux salaires allaient toujours dans l'alcool. Ils n'arrivaient pas à s'en sortir. Jusqu'à ce que son mari vienne à la synagogue de toute nation, qui reçoive la prière et aussi l'eau du matin. Et immédiatement, lorsqu'il est rentré en Afrique du Sud, il a complètement arrêté l'alcool, il n'est plus dans l'alcool. Il est complètement euh, sain maintenant. Il ne, ne boit plus d'alcool pour la gloire de Dieu. Après l'application de l'eau du matin, et reçu la prière de l'homme de Dieu, prophète Tibi Joshua. Et le deuxième témoignage aussi qu'elle a, elle est rentrée de la gloire de Dieu, elle avait des problèmes, des difficultés financières et aussi pour voir, avoir un nouveau logement. Mais pour la gloire de Dieu, lorsqu'on l'a ouvert à l'écran, elle a pu maintenant avoir une nouvelle maison, qu'elle a pu pouvoir refaire la toiture par elle-même et pouvoir avoir un prêt de la banque pour pouvoir terminer cette maison en toute la gloire à Dieu. Escuchamos el maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que no solo recibió su liberación, sino también progreso y bendición que tanto había estado buscando. Esta mujer nos cuenta que tenía una adicción al alcoholismo severa. Ella y su esposo habían sido adictos al alcohol durante muchos años, pero ellos decidieron venir a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, obtener el agua de la mañana y desde entonces recibieron esa liberación que tanto habían estado esperando. También nos cuenta que debido a su adicción ellos habían gastado todo su dinero sin comprar ninguna propiedad y ahora estaban realmente preocupados por esa razón. Nos cuenta que desde entonces empezaron con el deseo de adquirir una propiedad, una casa y empezaron a orar al, al, al Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua y nos cuenta esta mujer que tuvieron la oportunidad de adquirir un terreno y edificar su casa. Ahora vemos las fotografías en pantalla, ella también nos cuenta que su esposo recibió un ascenso en su trabajo y que ahora todas las cosas están muy bien, ahora están libres y bendecidos y la gloria sea para Dios. Continuamos. Emmanuel. Can I hear your voice? Emmanuel. If God is with you, who can be against you? 
Can I hear you say nobody? nobody. Say nobody. nobody. Hallelujah. Those of us that have not received our own morning water, I believe with the testimonies you've listened to, your faith has grown. It is your responsibility to get the morning water not just for yourself, but also for members of your family and also for your friends. You are saved to save others. God brought you here for a purpose. And that purpose is not just for you to be saved, but also to become a channel of salvation to the lost world. So as we speak, please get your own money water. As you do so, Jesus will bless you in Jesus' name. We are still listening to wonderful testimonies from people. And right now, by the grace of God, we are about to listen to yet another testimony. Sister, tell us your name. Where Emmanuel. you come from. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. My name is Lydia Twala. I'm from South Africa. I am a nurse by profession. My testimony goes like this. Um, the problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations is a program of stagnation. As a nurse, I'm been, I've been in one position for the past six years. Um, there were people coming and going as I was just in one place, stagnant in one place, stagnant. My manager, if she's not there, I will be the one doing her duties as a deputy. People will come, I will train them, I will show them what to do. They will still pass me. By the grace of the Lord, I am a child of God. I was praying, fasting. I know that situation was not to harm me, but to make me, to prepare me for greater things in life, in Jesus' name. So last year, in June, a position came about. Um, it was a position of a manager of a clinic of which I applied. And during this process, I was using my own efforts. What I mean is that I was fasting on my own without even getting a revelation from God. I was praying, you know, watching TV as though I'm watching some other channel. I was not like, if I may put it, I was not ready. I was not putting God first during that time. So I was invited to go for an interview. I went for that interview. And the questions, they were very, very hard. I, I came back, then I wept to God. I said, God, please, show me, guide me what to do. Because during this time, it was very difficult to do some of the things. Paying the school fees, buying food in the house, it was, it was very difficult. As you see people passing you, it's like, God, I know God's time is the best. You will do it for me. I didn't give up hope in Jesus' name. So, um, throughout the midst, um, after the incident that happened here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations last year, September, men of God gave us uh, an instruction from God to say, go and look for the Matthias families, their relations. Share with them every little thing, every little good thing that the Lord has given you. Your time, your love, your prayers, your money. It doesn't have to be money only. So I took into that weight and I said, this is the opportunity. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I took that instruction with all my heart. I said, thank you, Lord, for revealing, giving me this weight. So I joined in. I did the Matthias family visit every Saturday. And this year in June, I was also opportune to attend Prophet's birthday at, uh, in Kalaga Estate, where I was opportune to receive my morning water. During this time, I was still praying, but when I received my morning water, I received it with faith. And I said, God, you didn't uh, put me in this, you didn't invite me to be where I was that time for nothing. I believed and I knew that this time, 
uh, it's a good morning. As men of God declared in January that it is a good morning year for all of us in every area of our life. So when I received my morning water, I said, thank you, Jesus. This is more than a blessing. I received an instruction from God. Now I'm receiving the morning water. I went home and prayed. Lo and behold, another position was advertised. And this one is much, much better than the previous one. I applied for that position. I sprayed the morning water with faith. I prayed and I fasted. And inside I knew there was so much peace. There was so much calmness. I was not even nervous that I will not get this position. I was not even worried about that because I knew that it was God's time. And I know that everything is beautiful in God's time. I was invited for an interview. Before I went to an interview, I sprayed the morning water, I used the stickers, and I said, God, use this mouth to speak when I go inside, the, uh, when I'm being interviewed. Be with me, control this, the, the interview, be the one asking me the question, just lead me. And I went to the interview. Before you went to the place where you were interviewed, could you please tell us how many people were you all together that went for the interview and what caliber of people in terms of degrees they were holding? Okay. When I got to where I was invited for the interview, I saw some of my colleagues and when I saw them, I knew their qualification because I worked with them. They had degrees in nursing, big head degrees, and here I am with my diploma and applying for a much senior position. They are so much experience in a way that they worked with uh, non-governmental organizations in South Africa and I was just stagnant now in the clinic without any experience. But I know that God is in control. That didn't make me to be in intimidated because I knew I used my morning water in the morning and I knew that this is a good morning year for me in my career. I will receive my breakthrough in Jesus' name. So as I went through in, 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 in the interview, in the boardroom, I was introduced to the panelists and I, I sat down. The first question was asked, ma'am, tell us about yourself. I was like, ha. Huh. Such an interview, I mean, this is a management position and a senior one. Can they really ask me to tell them about myself? Inside, that was, I was saying that in, in me. Then I told them about myself. The second question came. I was like, this is like questions you can ask somebody from who's doing a metric or a grade 10. They were so simple. Then I answered, I talked. Then after the interview, I said, thank you, Jesus. I know this is one is mine. I had so much peace. I knew that this is mine. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And after the interview, what later happened? After the interview, I continued trusting God because I know that he's in control. Lo and behold, on the 26th of August, I was phoned by our uh, head office, our me uh, at Metro Center. They gave me the news that, Lydia Twala, congratulations. You got the promotion as an operational manager for HIV and AIDS program in South Africa, Johannesburg, for the city of Johannesburg. That one is too small for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Can you face your neighbor and say, good morning, neighbor, good morning, neighbor. to your career. Good morning, good morning. to your marriage. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. to your destiny. Good morning. Good, morning. good morning, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So, sister, can you please explain again what happened after the interview? After the phone call, I was so happy, and that time I was busy. I, I said to this person that I, was busy, that I was assisting, excuse me just a little bit, and I put the phone on the side. I screamed, I shouted, Emmanuel! What Emmanuel! type of phone call did you receive? A phone call to say, I have received a promotion, not just a nurse now, an operational manager for HIV and AIDS, AIDS in South Africa. I'll be managing a program for HIV in my region. 
for Let's the glory of God. Let's put our Lord. hands together for Jesus. And this you have been looking for how many years? I didn't. For how long have you been stagnant Six in your career? Years. Six years. Six years in one position. And after the ministration of the morning water, you got this radical transformation. Yes, I'm a manager now. For the glory of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. What are the benefits you are enjoying now in your new position? Yeah, we serve a mighty God, children of God. Praise the Lord. Emmanuel. Good morning. Good morning. My salary has doubled. And I have a car allowance of here in the boat. It's 6.8 every month for the glory of God. I have my own office. People report to me. I have my, there are PAs that are assisting, but I have my office. My office is next to my regional director for region B. That's the benefits. I thank God for that. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And we can see the, some documents on the board. Could you please explain what they stand for? As you can see on the board there, yeah, on my right, it's the acceptance letter where I signed to say I accept this position. It was on the 27th, the day after I received the phone call. And then on my left here is the appointment letter to confirm that now I'm, just, I'm no longer just a nurse. I'm an operational manager for HIV and AIDS program that I will be running and I started my duties on the 1st of September for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. With what Jesus has done for you through this medium of the morning water given to you by Prophet T.B. Joshua, what words of advice do you have for people who, ha who are having similar problems you had in the past. My advice to the people all over the world, especially here in the congregation, you, are, you have been opportune to be here, so don't go out without receiving your own and take extra to bless others because you are blessed to bless others. People watching me on Emmanuel TV all over the world, God's time is the best. When you receive the morning water, use it in faith. You read through the booklet, there are prayer points there. Don't, do, don't use it as a charm or as a magic or... Just put your faith in it and you see God, it will be a good morning in, your, in every area of your life in Jesus' name. And we pray that God Almighty, who has used this medium of morning water to bless you and to promote you, will give you the grace to stay away from sin and also to make his word the standard for your life so that this mighty grace that has promoted you will remain with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Emmanuel. Escuchamos este maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que nos cuenta que había estado presentando un estancamiento financiero y una limitación en su carrera durante seis años. Ella nos cuenta que es, profesión, es una enfermera como profesión y que había estado tratando de adquirir un ascenso pero no había sido posible. Así que ella empezó a ver el canal de Manuel TV, vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, obtuvo por gracia el agua de la mañana y se la empezó a ministrar. Desde entonces su testimonio vino a dar a luz. Tu, su, toda su vida cambió completamente y recibió el ascenso que tanto había estado esperando. Nos cuenta que está muy contenta. Vemos los documentos en pantalla que certifican su ascenso, su promoción. Nos cuenta que ahora tiene su propia oficina y ahora es la directora del programa de prevención de VIH en su hospital. Está muy contenta porque Dios ha actuado en todas las áreas de su vida y aconseja a los que esperen que el tiempo de Dios es el mejor. 
Je vais entendre le témoignage de cette femme qui vient de l'Afrique du Sud, qui dit qu'elle est infirmière depuis plus de six ans, cherchant à avoir une promotion sans pouvoir trouver cette promotion. Elle a suivi l'instruction de la justice donnée par l'homme de Dieu d'aller aider les familles des martyrs de la foi. Elle a dit, elle a dit que lorsqu'elle a été vraiment impliquée à aider les, les familles des martyrs de la foi, c'est comme cela qu'elle a commencé à voir les portes s'ouvrir pour elle petit à petit. Là qu'elle a commencé à pouvoir à, à faire une application pour, pouvoir faire, pour avoir une promotion, qu'elle a pu faire face au panel, il était en face d'elle et vraiment c'était des gens qui avaient des, des diplômes beaucoup plus élevés qu'elle. Mais elle a reçu cette promotion, elle est passée d'infirmière maintenant à manager d'une section de l'hôpital au niveau du VIH. Et maintenant, son salaire a doublé, elle a maintenant des, une voiture de fonction et beaucoup d'autres euh, possibilités qu'elle peut avoir maintenant qu'elle n'avait pas auparavant. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu ceci grâce à l'eau du matin. All glory be to God. Remember, all the testimonies you have been listening to have been made possible through the medium of the morning water, which has been anointed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which is available right now. Stay tuned, viewers all around the world listening to us, and listen to more of what God Almighty has been doing in the lives of his people. You're very welcome. Please introduce yourselves to us by telling us your names and where you're from. Good morning. My name is Maza Mazibugo from South Africa. And the person next to me is my husband, Zakele Mazibugo. From both, South Africa. You're both very welcome. Please go ahead with your testimony. Yes, I came to synagogue for the first time in 2012. When I came in 2012, um, my situation was hopeless. I was running a business, but everything fell apart. I lost everything, my business, everything, cars, I lost everything. And I came to Skowen and I got delivered. After I got delivered, uh, I got back my business, but I gave my testimony in 2013, how God blessed me with another business, which is about um, 460 square meter uh, departmental store and it also blessed me with cars. And recently when we celebrated, uh, uh, last year, God blessed me with another business in Durban. I've opened another shop uh, in Durban and God blessed me with another shop when I came back immediately from Scone in 2014. And clap for Jesus Christ. Remember, I said you're listening to testimonies galore. You can hear our sister is very excited because she knows what God has done in her life. So we want to hear about everything that God has done. But to know how much God has done in your life, we want to really know where you're coming from, where God took you from, and where he has placed you today. So if you can give us a little bit more of the background, where you came from before when your business was gone. Yes, when my business was gone, um, I, had, I had a business and I lost everything and I came to a point where I started even using uh, public transport. So I was in a point where I was even contemplating uh, committing suicide. I was like, it's better I die than to live this kind of life. Until one day as I was sleeping, I had a vision where I was here at Scoen because I, I knew about Scoen but I never thought about coming here. And I saw myself here in church and men of God came to me and said, don't worry, I'm going to deliver you. That was immediately after that, I decided to, to, to fly to, to, to Nigeria and got my deliverance. But I had lost everything. I didn't have money. I didn't have anything. Even when I got here, I didn't have money for accommodation. And when I got here, I, I, I got grace and men of God gave me accommodation here at Scoen. Okay, so after coming here, you said when you went back, that's how you were able to start business again? Yes, when I went back, uh, I had a vision, as I've mentioned in the other testimony, I had a, a dream where man of God uh, was looking at me and it was like God is showing me what I, what I, show, showing him what I went through and he said to me, don't worry, then he took my wallet, he gave me, he, he started putting dollars in my wallet. Immediately after that vision, that when things started changing, I immediately got a bigger shop that I never thought I could, I, I could own. I started buying, a, I bought an ML uh, car and I also bought a PM for my sister and things were changing in my life. Hmm, let's put our hands together for Jesus. 
government. Soon after that, I came to give my testimony. After I came back in 2013, 2014, God blessed me now with another business in Durban, which is also a different, but it's a bridal shop with different departments. And uh, this year, early this year, uh, I was praying and said, God, I wanted something that is even bigger than what I'm doing because I know God created me for something big. And God blessed me with another business opportunity, which, which is in travel. When I joined the business, I started ministering morning words. I started praying and said, God, direct me in the right way. And I had so much grace that in one month within the company, it's an international company, I became a director with a company that normally takes people a year, but I broke the world record. I broke a record in Africa and the world, uh, the world record in the business. Let's put our hands together one more time. <clears throat> Madam, can you explain what was that world record in business that you managed to break? Um, well, as I said, I'm in, in, the, in the business of travel, so um, what I do, I train people all around, the, um, uh, around the world. So when I became a director uh, in one month, then the following month I became a marketing director, then the company started uh, uh, asking me to start training people. I just did my first training in, in Cape Town where I trained thousands of people. I started getting the calls from countries like Singapore in America that people want me to come and train them in the business that I'm doing, which is travel. Let's clap one more time for our Lord and Savior. Okay, here in the pictures, I've got um, pictures. This is the, the, the picture of the shop that I was telling you about. This is the outside, outside picture, and this is the outside display of the shop, and then this is the inside of the shop. This is the shop inside. And then here, this is when last month I was recognized by the founders, co-founders of the company that flew all the way from America to recognize me as a marketing director of the company. So here I was giving my speech, thanking God for what he has done for me. And what is amazing is that what I've done, no one has ever, ever done in this business. And all I was saying there, I was saying that it is the grace of God because no one understands how I can achieve a level within a short period of time. Okay, so you mean uh, when you are in those big uh, seminars, you would actually testify to the goodness of God in your life whilst training the people? Yes, what normally happens is that before I start my training, because I need to encourage people there, the business that I'm in is about changing lives, so I have to tell them my story, how I, 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 where I come from, and how I got into the business. So whenever I'm there, I, stay, I take about 30 minutes sharing what God has done for me, and also giving hope to those people who are sitting down, who are going through situations in their life. So I'm using this, this as a platform of changing lives and also sharing the gospel of, of Jesus Christ. Hmm, let's clap for Jesus one more time. You can see that God honors those who honor him. Please continue. Okay, and as we're here with my husband, also got a, um, a message that because of what we've done, we, we're going to be training people um, in other countries like Singapore, like in the U.S., and also in January, we'll be flying to Dallas, Texas, since our company is, for, is from America, we'll be spending a day with the, co with the founders of the company, sharing with us the vision of the company for the next 10 years, and also mentoring us in the business. Glory be to God. Let's put our hands together. So you said you've been invited to go to the U.S.? Yes, we'll be in January, we'll be going to take Dallas, Texas, where our head office are, and we'll be spending time, uh, the whole day. They've chosen, out of, Africa, of, of the world, they chose eight. So me and my husband are, are two, of, of, two of those that are going to spend with the, 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 the founders of the company, which is a, an opportunity that you know, people who've been in the, business for the, uh, in the company for the past five years, but us, for what we have done, they want to know how we became uh, directors, because my husband is also director with the company, how did he do it within a such period of time? Can you remind us of the period of time that you've spent in that company? Now I'm, I'm, I'm in, uh, it's four months, but I became a director within one month, 
which is something that never happened. Then the following month, I became a marketing director with the company. So I did, as you can see here in this picture, there's a picture which says marketing director in two months, and I broke the world record in the company. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Well, uh, you mentioned your husband, who you can see by your side. We'd love to hear from him as well, who has also been there uh, all the way through this journey that you've been on. So, sir, you're welcome. Please introduce yourself. I Emmanuel. Well, with us. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, people of God, we are standing here for the glory of God. My wife, she has said it all. I will just add to what she has said. Before we had our second store in Deben, uh, we had one shop in another city in Peter Marisberg, and we've been praying for expansion from God. And God indeed, he has done it for us. Now we have two big shops in, uh, uh, in KZN, and we are trusting God for more. In the midst of that, we came across an opportunity of a business of traveling, as she has explained, and she has broken the records that no one has ever done it in such a way that even the CEOs of the company, they have recognized her. Uh, there are people who are in the company for five years, two years, three years. They've never trained anyone, but already she has started to train more than 5,000 people in Cape Town, and they want her to train people all over around the world. As she has said that uh, we were selected uh, in Chanawari, we are going to USA. We were invited by the CEOs of the company that they want to spend the day with us uh, so that we will tell them how did we do it because many people, they fail. But I can say that it's for the glory of God. We've been praying and God has showed up for us. God has promoted us. Over and above that, this company, this business of traveling that we are doing, it has brought a massive financial breakthrough in our lives, and we glorify God for that. Amen. We glorify the Lord with you. Wow. Well, there are not natural words to describe it. Uh, so what, what advice would you like to give to people who were once uh, struggling to, to get by? The advice I will give to you is that, for instance, when we were going through the process of promotion, there were challenges. But we have realized that those challenges, they were taking us to the higher level. They were bringing us closer to God. Whatever challenge you encounter, don't give up on God. Whatever challenge you encounter, know that God is with you. It doesn't matter who else is involved. People, they will talk. People, they will discourage you. It doesn't matter. What matters is what God says about you. Amen. And when Jesus says yes, no one can say, say no. no. Amen. Amen. So let's put our hands together one more time. Our Lord is worthy of our praise. Amen. So, madam, we want to hear from you too. Those words of advice. And we also want to know, the people that knew you then, what do they say now? Well, people that knew me, they are surprised because some, I mean, I wasn't, people were laughing at me, they were laughing and said, oh, now she had cars, she's lost everything, they were laughing, but now they can see that God has done great things in my life. So my word of advice will be, as our men of God always say, that what is important about Christianity is not about what we receive from God, but it is the, the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere uh, that you receive from that, uh, from that relationship, that, from that relationship that we have with God. So my advice is that we must keep trusting God. We must never give up because God is with us. In each and every situation, God is still talking. He's still saying something. Amen. And as you continue to recognize the source of your miracle, of your breakthrough, Jesus Christ will continue to elevate you and restore you back to that original position he created you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Escuchamos el maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que nos cuenta que estaba enfrentando una, un estancamiento en su carrera, en su profesión, que su negocio había fracasado y estaba en la quiebra. Ella cuenta que durante ese tiempo estuvo en un proceso de... de, de en un proceso en el que empezó a estar muy triste y empezó a estar con depresión constante, incluso pensamientos de suicidio llegaron a su mente por la situación financiera en la que estaba presentando. Nos cuenta esta mujer que vino a la iglesia sinagoga de todas las naciones, obtuvo el agua de la mañana y desde entonces su vida cambió completamente. Ahora ella es la directora de marketing de una empresa y ahora ella está, está dando conferencias en diferentes partes del mundo a aconsejando a las personas, animándolos y motivándolos a través del testimonio que a Dios ha hecho en su vida y cómo su vida ha cambiado. Ella nos cuenta también que aparte de, ese, de, esa, de esa promoción que tuvo en su trabajo, ahora ella también tiene su propia tienda de modas y después de ese proceso tan difícil en el, en el que ella vivió, de ese estancamiento financiero, ahora aquí está hoy con su esposo, dándole la gloria y la honra a Dios. Ella aconseja a los televidentes de que confíen en Dios y al que cree todo le es posible. Continuamos. L'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de ce couple qui vient de l'Afrique du Sud où cette femme souffrait auparavant de difficultés financières, avait perdu ses affaires, rien ne fonctionnait jusqu'à ce qu'elle vienne dans la synagogue église de toute nation, que le Seigneur, le Seigneur puisse la relever, qu'elle puisse recommencer à faire les affaires. Et effectivement, comme nous l'avons vu à l'écran, elle a ouvert une boutique de prêt-à-porter de, de haut de gamme et aussi ils ont ouvert aussi une agence de voyage. C'est comme cela que le Seigneur l'a béni, que même avec cette boutique de prêt-à-porter, elle a été nommée directrice de marketing de la société mère qui se trouve aux états unis Et depuis, elle voyage partout dans le monde pour pouvoir former d'autres personnes, même dans sa ville, la ville du Cap, en Afrique du Sud. Elle forme plus de 5000 personnes en cet instant même. Elle lui demande aussi de voyager pour pouvoir former d'autres personnes. Elle était vraiment promue à un très haut rang. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu, ce que le Seigneur a fait pour elle à travers l'eau du matin, pour elle et sa famille. Hallelujah, we thank God Almighty for these wonderful testimonies. If you've been blessed by these testimonies, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Last week here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, as the morning water was being ministered in the congregation, uh, it's important for us to listen to this testimony. First of all, to encourage us that to God's power, nothing is impossible. Secondly, to prepare our hearts for our own touch that we're going to receive in the course of today's service, and also to educate us and teach us many valuable lessons about life from the lady who has received her deliverance. So let's watch our screens right now, and we want to see what happened last week when the sister in question received her deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's watch our screen right now. En este momento vamos a ver un video de la semana pasada durante la administración del agua de la mañana de cómo una mujer recibió su liberación aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. At the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the atmosphere is charged with the power of God as the evangelist ministers the morning water sent by Prophet C.B. Joshua on the people one by one. When the power of God is present, healing is like breathing, deliverance is like breathing. We can see this among the congregation as the evil spirit in them is exposed upon coming in contact with the morning water. Watch as this lady begins to manifest as the evil spirit in her is being tormented. For when the light of God is present, darkness has no hiding place. Let's watch her deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, all you go fire in your hair, fire in your eyes, in your mouth, in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, speak out, who are you? What have you done to your marriage? <laughs> Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to a marriage? Why do you want to know? I say, what have you done to a marriage? What business of yours is out? Find your mouth. Say, are you? Speak out. Who are you? Was she meant to marry in the first place? Why was she not I meant to marry? You, was she meant to marry in the first Why place? Why was she not meant to marry? She wasn't meant to marry. Why? Because that was her engagement with us. Who are you? That's her destiny. What is the destiny? To be my wife forever. Oh, you are the husband? Yes. Okay, how many of you are there? Mm. 
Mm. Three. Yeah. Three. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Who is number and two? And he was jealous. Who is number two? Shaka. Shaka. Yeah. Uh huh. Who is Shaka? My contendant. Uh huh. Who is number three? Mm. So you have said number one, number two. Should you still say number three? Me I want to go in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, okay, get out. Pick out. Mm. Who is number three? I'm a violent spirit. Don't try me. Okay. What have you done to her? And the great one, the ancient one, that will be dead forever. I will chain down. What's the business here with me? What do you mean you are chained down? I will send down. You are sent down. Yes. Mm -hmm. To manipulate. Time is too short. Leave her to me. She's my instrument. How are you using her? Mm, he wants to know. Many operations. Like what? Many things. She violated my rules, my first rule in the first place. And that made me so angry. And for that reason, she must sell me for the rest of her life. She's been taken to many places, many churches. She's destroyed many, many, many people, many men of God. So how dare you stand in front of me to ask me questions? You want to die me? What did you put on her teeth? Hmm. It's my instrument. It's your instrument. Attraction. Attraction. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's my instrument. You have said it already. You say you are an instrument in the house of that man. Why she's my instrument? So why step her with her? Why try to drag her away from me? I say you have already said you are using her for attracting men. Yes. Uh -huh. You know that what already. What happened to those men? Finished. They are finished. That's what you are using her to do. I'm mouth for me, other men. Many more of them will go down. Drill. Look at them. Look at them. Lined up. Look at them. Lined up. <laughs> How did you enter her? I was here from childhood that I entered her when she was in her mother's womb. So how do you think you should, can take her away from me? She's my instrument. She got me to pass the room with this whole world. To take as many as possible. And she's valuable. She took it for me, I give her my powers. So how dare you take her away from me? It is time for you to leave that instrument right no. now. No. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Your butt on the floor in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Your butt on the floor. Your butt on the floor in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out, 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 out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Your back on the floor. Your back on the floor in the name of Jesus Christ. Your back on the floor. Your back on the floor in the name of Jesus Christ. Out, out. Out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. In Jesus' name. Your back on the floor. Out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Sister, you have been set free by the medium of the morning water. Rise up. Jesus Christ has set you free. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The following day, she had an encounter with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Let's see what happened. As Prophet T.B. Joshua lays his hand on her in the name of Jesus Christ, she is clearly under the influence of the Holy Spirit, who is perfecting her deliverance. Watch as the chain Satan has used to connect her to himself in the form of demonic beads around her waist is cut in the power of the Holy Spirit. She falls down immediately. To God be the glory. She has been taken from the kingdom of darkness to light. Satan has only come to steal, kill and destroy. For Jesus Christ has come to restore the relationship and fellowship between God and man. Glory be to God. Jesus Christ. 
So right now, our sister is here in our midst. We want to invite her forward to share her testimony to the glory of God and also her confession, which we believe will educate all of us here. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as she's coming forward right now. A new creation in Christ Jesus. Sister, you're very welcome here today. Can you introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and where you're from. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. God is with us. My name is... My name is... This is Cynthia Amarachi Ikumere. I based in Enugu, where I'm schooling. Okay, sister, we just want you to relax. Okay, just calm down. This is an opportunity for you to give a wonderful testimony that will educate people around the world and also introduce many people to our Lord Jesus Christ. So just relax. We want you to begin by explaining uh, how this evil spirit entered your life. Tell us right from the very beginning what happened. Okay. It all started when I was in my mother's womb. I was not meant to be a devil, a devilish person or an agent of darkness. But through the means of the devil knowing the destiny of children, of, as in children, why they are in, the, in their mother's womb, they were able to locate me as a person that is destined to serve God all the rest of her life and do many wonders and rescue souls for the, for the service of God. So they tampered with my destiny right inside my mother's womb. So that was why I, how I was initiated right inside my mother's womb before I was even born. I used to sell the, as in this earthly world. I was inside the womb as an agent of darkness. So it happened that while I was there as a baby, they, and they, uh, they, they brought two other babies, as in they created two other baby angel, agents to come and assist me, come out into this world as triplets. So as I was in my mother's womb, she didn't know that she was carrying triplets. And the scan of anything, I thought did not show that. All she was saying was me. And the doctor the scan, everything was me, what she was saying. And the, and the, and the, uh, the prophecy that I was going to come out of this world and serve God, that her name would be Amarachi and she would be the Gated to the, in the altar of God. So that was when they now sent these three and two and two and agents of darkness to come and assist me, come out into this world. So finally, when I was born, physically I was born alone, as in I came out alone like this, as in a one baby. But my mother did not know, and the people around the doctors and nurses that assisted her at the level did not know that they delivered three babies, as in three plates. Two were invisible as my sisters that accompanied me into this world on one on many occasions in many reasons because I was meant to be a great agent of darkness because my destiny has been tampered with. So when I was born, they, they entered me at the age of eight months and emitted the disease called the sickness into me to be taken away the money and make my family excellent. So that was why I was very sick, taking the money that was coming into the family as an agent baby, as an agent, as a devilish baby that was not meant to bring progress or anything good to the family or anything good to the society she find herself into. Rather, all she was meant to do was to bring evil and to bring evil and to bring destruction and so many calamities in the world physically. So as I'm growing, I was growing, I was growing to the age of eight, eight years when now they now told me that it was now time for me to start operating and okay, learning so, the sorry to cut you system you said at uh, the age of eight that is when you really started your assignments now you said they told you who are the people that began to give you these instructions who are those people my trip my two sibling sisters i called the two as in my two twin sisters that's we i told you that we came out at triplets identical sisters but two are physical as in spiritual they are there to give me guidance into the work i am about to venture into which is the work of the evil process okay so only you were able to see these two sisters no one else could see them they can be physical like they can be physical i want i miss around in crowd 
and you know become what people will be saying that but they don't know that this is not real human beings but it's only me that knows when they are on oppression they don't show themselves they come as spiritual beings but i'll be seeing them physically as i'm seeing every other person here now they'll just be physical i'll be uh, interacting with them and they'll be telling me things i need to know and in the, as in a, uh, my work in this world okay so you said at the age of eight these uh demonic twin sisters began to give you your first assignment just tell us what at was that age of eight years that was when i started my work as an agent of darkness a devilish person so that was when at the age of eight years immediately i now started my work i was saying as an agent of darkness by the means of initiating people as in other children that was my not as in primary school initiating children and get, causing some into asking causing deaths by causing accidents on the road where you see a child crossing the road and she was hit by a car and she lost it she died i will be the one to, as in controlling that emo, that emotion of the accident and that will take the, the, the life of the child away and through the uh, the, the, the gifts they sent to me spiritually, my lockers and bags were equipped each every, every day I come to school with gifts like biscuits, sweets, candies, all those things that makes as in I trust children easily and they salivate a lot. Also the salivating ones that see me with those gifts, they will come around me to collect them. So by giving them those gifts, once they eat something from my hand, they are my my own. I will not come in the eight, as in 12 p.m. I will not appear in that room wherever you are. That child is wherever. You matter what you want. If I have accepted my gift, you are one of us in the kingdom. And you see us just swimming in the dream or doing one thing or the other. And you find yourself in a big hall where you see many people, and there the, the initiation will begin. And then you will find yourself being instituted into the kingdom of darkness. I will be giving you small assignments as agents of darkness until you now become fully equipped and now a full okay. agent. Okay, sister. So the things that you give to these children, they are not physical. They are not from this physical world. They will appear inside your bag or your locker. And once you give them to other children, they are now used to initiate those children into the kingdom of darkness. Yes. It, it, it will... And my locker will be empty when as in after sharing the day's gifts it will be very empty but when i come to school the next day it will be packed with gifts again and my bags will be packed with gifts and i will leave with them to school then on and on the on the school bus or anywhere i find myself with other children i will share my gifts Okay, what, what are, who are the type of children that you would target? Is it the ones that are especially intelligent or the ones that are, are very, very active? Who are the people that you target? Well, I, I, can, I, I can explain that we have different gadgets in my body to determine which destiny you have and which destiny you don't have. We target children that has more inte as more intellectual as ability, as an intelligent children. We now take away their, their destiny and you see your child as brilliant as she is. And what is happening to my child? She used to be brilliant. Now she's going back to world and school. She's no more as, as performing very well. You don't know that her future has been tampered with because of the little gift, just one sweet or one biscuit that she collected from my hand that was how we initiate people into the, the kingdom and take their destiny okay now we understand this was at the age of eight when you were in primary school this was your first initial assignment tell us as you begin to grow older how did this assignment now become even more mature and, and more serious by the time i was in, in secondary school that was when I now matured very well. I could, I could, I didn't, I wouldn't need the help of my sisters anymore because they are, they are teaching, they are tutoring, uh, the tutoring moment is over. I'm now a couple, a very powerful agent of darkness because of with their help. So when I was in secondary school, I was able to manipulate very well. Then my, as in my attract, attraction, uh, attraction gadget was there. Everything I needed was there for me to perform any kind of thing I want to perform, like attracting men, luring pastors, as in 
the so-called pastors that claim that they are powerful will go after this with the people we target very well and the so-called born again that claim to be born again will not target them and then will not bring them down by by, by sexual means or by standing on the road and now you stop you know something like many of means will have we can use and, and and get those people okay you were mentioning some methods of attraction with which were already in your body some powers you had to seduce tell us more about these powers where were they located in your body and how would you use them to catch and seduce these men okay what uh, uh, the, the major the major the major gadget i have is this one in, in my uh, this one attached on my teeth which i have it right from anybody that knows me i have a child who will know that I, I always put this on it has many colors as in i can put, change it at any time i want so if this is is physical you think it, it will appear to attract you you say oh god i like this i want this on can you just give it to me i'll say yes i can give it to you then you don't know that through that means i'm already initiating you by reading you as, as in assessing the kind of person you are and again another gadget i have with doing is that bid whenever i'm on assignment i'm passing you you pass me you're a great man of god that bid on my waist will start hurting me it will start being hot on my waist and i will now know that that person that just passed me is a highly born again or a christian or a, a past a powerful past man of god that's how i detect and all the instruments deposited so many places in my eyes my forehead as in uh, my breast like everywhere even my my, you know, my private part every where it's just there and so I can use them at any time I want okay madam so we want you to still give us more explanation concerning this if you wanted to seduce someone uh, you said there were powers which were placed inside your teeth which were the jewelry was in your teeth also in your eyes different parts of your body now what would happen to such a person if you seduce them for example if they're a married man or they're a businessman what would begin to happen to them after you entrap them first of all i would know where you're going to i would know i will monitor you if you maybe by for example you want to take on a journey and i know that you're traveling maybe by road i will now appear as a beautiful lady on the road standing there once i notice that your, your car is coming i will now appear as a lady as a full woman grown woman beautiful then my beauty will shine very well then i will emit my breath out and when i emit my breath out it will not enter inside the car you are traveling with or anywhere you are i want to cut you then if you are resist if you have the anointing in you you can be able to resist me by passing without stopping for me but if you don't have that anointing and as I, I emit this breath and it enters inside the car and you are gone because once it touches you you start having the feelings the urge to stop for this woman and have her you know and therefore and just have it you know mesmerize and mesmerize you mess yourself up with her sexually so I you stop for me and I'll enter the car once I enter the car, you are our instruments. Okay, so if you sleep with such a person, what, what would begin to happen to them? How would their life now be destroyed? When I, I finish with you, your destiny is gone. Your spirit is locked up in the kingdom of darkness, where you cannot escape anymore. Unless the intervention of the Holy Spirit that we can rescue you from our hands our junk we call it uh, we call it our coven where we normally keep our our the souls of our captives so they cannot be as in we cannot be rescued but only in by the like like the, the uh, senior prophet tb joshua as he's speaking out for that man is a troublemaker okay to before you get to that area sister we are still going to go to that area. You, you said that you specifically targeted so-called Christians or so-called pastors. Can you explain what do you mean by that? What, what do you mean by, by that when you say someone is a so-called Christian that you were able to target and seduce? 
the people that we call the so-called Christians are the people that claim to have the anointing in them why they are nowhere to be found in the presence of God at all. They are with us and they are claiming to be there. That is when you provoke our, our, our instincts by claiming what you are not. And then you live in sin and then you mount to the podium every day and then you try to speak out the word to, for, what, for what are you trying to speak out? Why you belong to us? You are trying out that and you do you commit sin, you allow it, but then you call. I will never fail because that has in me the highest level in the kingdom of darkness. I'm called the she devil because I was married to the Lucifer himself. So it gave me the powers, as in the great powers, to to be as in to, to do the final battle because when they send them out there they mess up and they finally capture their souls we will not try our possible best to rescue that so that they wouldn't confess as i am doing now so that is my major work in the kingdom of darkness okay okay sister now you said that you also specifically targeted so-called pastors uh, people who claim to be men of God but are not actually. How would you go about uh, seducing or attacking such a pastor? Would you actually go to the church? Just give us an idea of how you would go about that. When we noticed that, when we, we, we got the record of you, that you are now a so and we, this person has, has a loophole here. He, he's ang he normally gets angry. And he, or maybe he goes after women, and we now say, okay, then they will not bring the reports. Our report agents will not bring the reports to us with the, the senior agents. And now I'll be sent out to the church. Then I will not target the time the man of God is on the pulpit. And that is exactly when I will now come. I don't come early to church. I come late. So that when I am coming, you will lose focus. And then you'll be attracted to that person coming. Then you will lose at your attention. Then, we are, then other agents other demons that are with me will not strike you down and then will not capture your soul you don't know what you're doing again you will lose your anointing and definitely if you're a stubborn one will kill you and take you your soul to the kingdom of darkness but if you're not a stubborn one you just take your soul and leave you just as in, leave you a, a messed up person and that you start seeing yourself messed up as in you are nowhere to be found again in the faith okay so you, you mentioned that you could actually appear on the roadside taking a, a different form. Like, for example, you take the form of a very, very beautiful lady. Does that mean that those satanic powers gave you the ability to transform into different types of beings or forms to as achieve your assignments? Can you just explain more yeah, about that? Yeah, that is the first thing they taught me. The transformation means... Oh, the transformation gadgets were put inside me. Where I have to, I will speak out some incantation and I will disappear into that particular animal that I want to appear with. Then I will not change immediately. I, 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 I will be spelling out that word. I'll be spelling it. Immediately I spell out that word as a spell. I will be changed. I will change automatically out of my physical world and turn into that particular animal. Especially, I love turn it into a cat because a, the cat is a sneaky animal that comes in quietly and slowly and now divorce you like just i like so that i come like a cat i can turn like a bat i can turn like a, a, a butterfly i can turn like a bird anything i want to have the power in me inside me it's inside me it is emitted from the graveyard so i have it inside me already so i can turn into anything are you talking about physically turning into such animals Yes, physically, I will turn into the animal. You will not see the animal. If I want you to see me, you will not see me. Like in the case of one pastor, I, I, I attacked. I now, the, as we saw that, I thought I, as I was monitoring him from the time he was praying. So immediately he, he was praying. I was monitoring him so that I would know the time I would go and strike him. So after the, after he has finished, I, I noticed that he has dropped his Bible on the table and now bowed down his his, his face. I thought I was deceived. I was deceived. I never knew that he was meditating. He was spiritually alert. I was now thinking that maybe he's sleeping or something. So I now went immediately. I changed into my physical form and I went into that uh, past, that the room I it appeared and appeared into his room. Immediately I appeared in the, in the, in the room, immediately he was alerted and he came, came back to uh, his store and now looked around and I saw me as a cat. I, I sneaked under his bed, he chased me and took his broom and was hitting everywhere I was running to. I was like trying to escape. He was mentioning the name, that name. We always call it that name but now I am believer and I can now boldly call the name of Jesus Christ. But before I can't be able to 
or before I can be able to mention that name, Jesus Christ. We always call it that man, that name. So he will be calling that name, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. So the place was so hot for me, and I now wanted to disappear. That was when he now caught me with the broom on my hips, and I now broke my, and gave me a wound, and broke my joints. So I now disappear immediately. With the help of my sisters that came in, I grabbed my hands, and I disappeared. So when, immediately I disappeared, I found myself in my room, very tired, and I turned into a human being. I noticed the wound was there, so I, I, I immediately report back to my kingdom and told them that this pastor is very powerful. I can't handle him. Then that, that look at the wound has inflicted on me. They now say that it's a wound from a man of God that it cannot be healed. That I should manage it. So it was, I was now, it was now there. So you mean to say, sister, that when you were hit by the broom as a cat and you now transform back into a human, the same area where you were hit as a cat now affected you physically. There was a wound at that spot. Yes, of course. Even up till now, the place is still paining me, as in up till the time I came here. But I noticed that after my deliverance, the place was relieving me. Because as in, I used to feel, if my lips were limp, if I'm walking, you notice that I'm limping. Because I've gone to hospital, I, I, I complained to my, my, my mom then that I was sick, you know. Out of her desperation, she took me to the hospital. And the doctors were like, it's a, a osteoporosis. I want to, I want to x-ray. They now say that it's osteoporosis. As their sickness called osteoporosis. They never knew that. that there was something as in very sure that is against it that I was actually hit by a pastor. So then now, as, as I told me to start managing the sickness, I, as the, I, it was it was not that I was, they can't do anything about it. So God now left it there to be a thorn in my flesh, and it was now causing me pains. Every time. Okay. So you mentioned that all of these activities graduated when you were in secondary school. You began moving out to destroy men, especially so-called pastors, so-called Christians. What now happened when you moved up into university level? Can you explain more about that? Wow. Yeah, I can't explain it very well because as, as a secondary school girl, I was even more powerful than I, I, I thought. And I was doing much, much evil, very, as in committing so many evil things. So when I now graduated, into, when I now got admission into the university, I was, I was seen as a very beautiful and very smart girl. So then I didn't know, I know there was something called cultism. I didn't know at all until, until one, they now appeared to me and came to me and now so told me that they wanted me for this, the comforter members of the, of, the, of the school. And I was then asking myself, ah, what is happening in this I was Every time I come to school, I will see one group of people approaching me, asking me to come and belong to their society. What is all this? Until I now went to ask questions from uh, where I, I, I used to get information. And that told me that, that there was something that is called confraternity. Something of that society I can enter in school. And my powers, I now was very happy. All in the order of capturing powers and the, and getting more powers, I joined one confraternity, one powerful confraternity, and vivo and deep as blood testy confraternity in my school. As in, as in a, a, a graduate, as undergraduate, I, I entered the, the confraternity. So you now joined a cult in university. Can you explain to us what were the activities that you and your fellow cult members were involved in as you were being driven by these demonic powers? As a member of as a spiritual agent of darkness already, and now a, a confraternity member, that's a courtism member, a society member, I now used to combine the two powers to now work for the confraternity. I was now seen as a queen. I passed through many tests, so many, I passed through their, 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 their initiation smoothly. And now with my powers, I was, I was climbing the ladder, of, the ladder of powers in that confraternity, bringing men down as, in, as they have a, a counterpart also, the other confraternities that do war with them. We now, I now use my power to bring our enemies out from their hiding places with my power of uh, the gadget I have inside me. So I always I used to be summoned to go and bring out this enemy. I will use my gadget and locate your house and then I will follow you up with other queens, other beauties because we don't take girls that are not beautiful. They, are, they don't marry today to be a queen. Once you are not beautiful, you are not our own. But once you are very beautiful, we target you and we must bring you into that, inside our vibe. Uh, that's comfort 
So now they use, they use us to be able to capture these men that, as in, that are comfortable enemies. Okay, so now you're talking physically in the university, you were engaged in all of this cultism. Now we want to understand at this point, spiritually, you mentioned earlier that you became so strong that you even rose to the point whereby you were a wife to Lucifer. Can you just give us more understanding concerning that? What do you mean by that? Everything about me was connected to the sea, marine world. Nothing in, about me was not connected to the marine world. Even that confraternity is connected to the marine world. So as, uh, as I was born into this world, I said this, we have, we have name, as in the, uh, the, the, the three sisters, three evil three sisters. My name is Shako the Great, and my sisters is Shantama and Shako, and, and Sha, Shantama and Shama. So my, the, Shako the Great is the physical one, while Shantama and Shakura was the ones that is not physical. So we now I, they, I, we use our power as a combined powers to now fight the physical battle. So you mentioned that you even rose spiritually to the level whereby you said you were Lucifer's wife. I mean, how did you attain such a level? And what, what do you mean by saying you became a wife to Lucifer? If, if you, in the kingdom of darkness, we have, so we have many departments and many grace promotions. So the height of the, the highest promotion is the twelfth level, but the three, that's three, three, six, six, nine, and nine, and then the twelfth level. So as I'm killing and killing and killing and killing and bringing more souls into the kingdom of darkness, I was making Lucifer very happy, and then she now chose me that if I should attend the post of this twelfth, I, I should kill one particular pastor then I will attend this post and that was when I went after that pastor that, that was, he was really really it took me time before I got this pastor because I really wanted to attend that post of 12th so, so I, could, I could be married to the Lucifer so immediately I got the pastor by my monitoring and following me up every time as in and I saw and I saw that he is used to anger when I saw the spirit of anger inside him and now one day his wife provoked him to anger and he was very angry before he left for the church. So on the road, I now cost his car. As I don't cost the car to, 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 to collide with a, a coming truck, and he had an accident and died on the spot. Immediately, I, immediately the pastor died on the spot, and I, I went with happiness back to the Lucifer and reported that I've killed the pastor, and they now promoted me to the twelfth level. So my, my, I was now a great person, not to be, and I wasn't able to be given minor minor assignments. It's only difficult ones that our minor agents cannot handle that they sent me to go and handle it. Like I was here now. I, I was here as an agent. As in, then I came. I came as an agent on a mission in this place to, to monitor this, this, this stubborn uh, troublemaker that used to torment our kingdom. Okay, okay. We are still coming to that area. Now, you... You, you keep mentioning that you would go and report to Lucifer, go and meet there. What do you mean? Are you talking about that you would physically travel to that place or is it spiritually go there? Or where is that place located? Is it here on this world or another world? Just explain to yes. us. Yes, it's in this world, somewhere in this, I can't, uh, it's somewhere in the state, Nigeria, but it plays a church, it is, the pastor has a church, the pastor has a church in this state, Nigeria, but as in one particular place, I know the church, I know where I can meet him, I know that he's going out that day, but the wife, due to the provocation of the wife, we entered through his wife, and we were able to provoke him, then I now, I now transformed into a human being and now was standing on the road and then I caused the accident on the road and he lost his life on that okay. Immediately so, he lost sorry to cut you short sister we're not just referring to this particular pastor you attacked at this stage you keep mentioning that you would go and meet Lucifer and go to another kingdom can you explain to us are you talking of here on earth or you would actually travel to another kingdom to meet uh, Lucifer and to give reports of your assignments? Is it when you sleep and dream that you go there? Can you just explain to us what you mean by that? There is, there is a place called, called the, the, the um, there is a place called the, the evil dead forest in one particular country. But that is the main, our capital, our capital, our major, our major 
place we used to go. Then we will now enter into the tree. Each agent has a tree. And my own is at the central middle of the tree. My presence, I used to travel with thunder and lightning. And when I'm traveling with thunder and lightning, my presence will be felt in the whole forest. And all the other demons hiding, as in living in the tree, waiting for my arrival so that we can now enter the, the spirit, the spirit under the marine world. will now come out, come out from the trees. And then I will now go and touch my own tree. Everybody will lay hands on our trees and now disappear. And then we'll find ourselves under the water where we will now be given assignments. I will do our daily, our daily work. Everybody will now disperse. Okay. Now, you mentioned that everything about you was connected to this demonic world. Could you just give us an example of some of the things apart from the small items like sweets and biscuits that you mentioned earlier as a child that you used to initiate were there some other items that you would bring from the spiritual world into the physical world in order to initiate people or destroy people uh, and how would you go about using such things to entice people we normally use things that people like a lot to initiate them because you cannot use what somebody does not like to get the person. Once you want to get something or traps or trap an animal, you use the, the, the things it likes or the or the or the meat meat or anything that the, the animal likes. That's what you use to trap the person as a as a trap. So we normally use what people likes, like drinks. You know, smoke as in cigarettes. Once they, we produce all these things in our community, all the things you see in this world, as in we normally have our industry under the world, underneath, as in under the under, under world industry, where we produce every item. We'll come out physically and we'll notice that there is one particular product that people are buying. We will now use it, we'll collect the sample here and go under world and produce our own and then we we'll initiate it and then we'll, our agents that are that are that are their works are to supply those things to our, our market the people in the market will now be supplying it to them and people will be buying it and they'll be getting initiated and then club things people, people like to club all these people that club a lot mm -hmm. will automatically transform ourselves into our into demonic form and some people some dead spirits will, uh, will transform themselves into physical being and that will not club because normally it's 12 o'clock that club starts and 12 o'clock is our our, our our meeting point meeting 12 time. midnight 12 o'clock p.m. yes midnight so those people that club a lot are, are in fact their souls are almost ours because you, you don't know the person you dance with you, you, sometimes you end up dancing with the spirits and you end up going into a hotel with the spirits and when you sleep with the spirits there will be python that will, that will be in trans, transplanted inside you and then you find yourself that your destiny has been shattered you start yourself messing up and that's your, that's, that's, in fact everything about you is gone if it's someone that want to kill is at that point pre, pre, that point that will kill that person in the hotel room you now find out there is there is a death you say they'll say somebody so somebody so 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 somebody was seen in the hotel like there was one pastor I went to a hotel room and I killed him there and it was written on the paper that uh, this so 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 pastor was seen, as in a, was like the, 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 the newspaper was carrying the news around it didn't they, they didn't know that it was an agent or as a spiritual matter so immediately we will catch up with this person inside the hotel room we will either kill you there or we, we want to, once we collect what we want to collect we leave you there for yourself to suffer. Okay, so I think we're listening to what our sister is saying. Even you mentioned things like cigarettes, alcohol, that once someone starts taking such things, automatically they become addicted to them and they are initiated into that kingdom of darkness. The same with visiting places like clubs, where we know the activities taking place are not of God. These are the places where demonic beings like you once were have access to, to destroy and manipulate. Now, sister... Apart from what was on your mouth, the jewelry, we saw that there was another item of jewelry that was actually on your body uh, that we saw during the deliverance. Could you just explain to us that jewelry around your waist, how you received that and what that jewelry was actually meant for and how you used it? That is the bait. The, that's, that is the bait I wear around my waist. Basically, it looks like a normal bait. 
that people can wear and you know you buy it but spiritually this this beat is real python or cobra tied around my waist so if i want to face any a mission i want to be on a mission when i want to go on any mission i will tie this thing on my waist and i will go out then then this beat will transform to be a python and then i will resist anything evil on my way and then if you're a pastor or any as a powerful man of god that passes me that time this thing now i'm holding on my hand this beat will start hurting me like fire and on my waist and i will now know that the person that just passed me now is spiritually alert or spiritually powerful so that is the work of this bill. It is a resistance gadget that I used to resist the kingdom of as in any powerful, the only thing that is powerful, like I'm going on a mission to attack any pastor. This thing does not leave my waist. But when I was coming here, there was something unique that happened. When I came to, I came to this place, this bid, I okay, never so, forget. Sorry, before going ahead, sister. You mentioned coming here, but we want to know how did you actually find out about Prophet T.B. Joshua and the ministry of the Synagogue Church of All Nations? How did you hear about this ministry? Because you, earlier on you were mentioning that uh, the person here is a troublemaker. We want you to give more light on that. Like I said before, that just, uh, the, that's, uh, we don't use my pastors, we don't call their names, these powerful pastors. You don't, when I came first, we don't mention their names. Like I normally used to see, see the pictures, as in the video, as in the, 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 the telecast in my house then, but I thought I would turn it off immediately because I've not been someone that attacked him, but I know that he is assisting and he's causing trouble in the kingdom of darkness. And he's a troublemaker that whenever we, we let so many traps for him even he's being monitored 24 hours to to make sure that we can make him to come to to, to sin or to uh, to lure him to sin or to make find any for any little fault in him but all to no avail because he is spiritual always spiritually alert We, we want you to give more light on this, sister. You mean to say in the kingdom of darkness, they were aware of the activities of this ministry and what Prophet T.B. Joshua has been doing? Like I say, yes, we have all the data of, of pastors we have pulled down. We have pulled down in the past. Even the ones that are using our power that used to come to us and collect powers. Those ones, you are not minding them. But the real troublemakers are the types of the, as the senior prophet T.B. Joshua. They are the real troublemakers that are troubling our kingdom as in then so we are those ones are the ones that we normally monitor 247 to see whether we can see anything that we use and bring them down once we see any faults no matter how little that fault is because the devil is always accusing brethren in the presence of God so any little sin we have we, we saw in you you've been accused by Lucifer in, front, in the presence of that man we normally call him that man I don't have the power then to call call out this name but now i will bravely call out jesus christ now because then i used to call them that man in the sky so he uh, we, uh, normally like whenever 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 don't worry sister the spirit of god is in control our sister is explaining how uh, the ministry here at the Synagogue Church for Nations has caused a lot of havoc and destruction in the kingdom of darkness that so many people, agents who had come here had received their freedom, their deliverance and as a result of that uh, many agents of darkness tried on many occasions to bring down Prophet T.B. Joshua, monitoring all, all the time. Sister, can you just give us an example of how uh, agents of darkness were, were monitoring Prophet T.B. Joshua and, and tried to bring him down? We, 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 we monitor him, two for seven, by t for example, I don't know this, I've not been to this place before, but I managed to know that there was a collapse building, a collapse building sometime last year, and that was the work of the agent of darkness, but physically, 
Everybody was seeing it as, as if it was his fault. It as if it was his fault. It wasn't his fault. It was an attempt to make him ask God why. Then if he asked God why or get angry or get agitated, we will now manipulate him. So we, we now We monitored him as I was saying we are monitoring him so when we cannot penetrate as a troublemaker he was well more as in which we came to this place as in our we sent our agents through the collapsed building so I wanted to emphasize on the people because I don't know anything about him before I've never met him before I've never been to this place before but Spiritually, I know that I will, I, I will heard about it, and that is our handwork. The collapsed building was the handwork of the agents of darkness, just to make him, to pull him down. And right, even the more they are dragging him to court, is also our making, just to make him ask God, why? Then when he asks his God, why? Then he will be able to be putting more temptation on his way. Then, as we are doing this, we notice something about this man. And that's why I say that he's a very much trouble to the kingdom of darkness. He's a troublemaker. If we, the more we try to make him sane, that, that is the time he, he, he finds he find himself being stronger and stronger and stronger in faith. me to go on this mission because as each pastor that I attacked I couldn't go on that mission without being permitted to go there so I was hearing this CP Joshua TB Joshua that name was scratching my ears but I've never they've never summoned me and I was asking myself why why can't they give me this man let me torture him like I used to torture others but the fact that they have not called me up is the, the fact that they have not seen any sin in him because when they saw sin in any pastor that was when they would summon me to come and attack him but now they have not called me up I will not go on the mission because no sin was yet found in him and he, we cannot operate smoothly without seeing any, 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 any accusing finger we will lay on him before God so and we are now trying our best by all means to get this man down and he, the more we do it the more he goes about smiling, doing his humanitarian work, and in the kingdom of darkness, all these things pain us a lot. This humanitarian work he used to do, he's a very kind man, and we hate people that are kind. And God also favors people that are always kind, and, and also, you know, that, that God favors them a lot and protect them. And there is always this fire around this man, and this arena, this synagogue, there's a fire around this place. And they, There is a fire around this place. That was the day I came. I wasn't allowed. That I, I, I managed. I, some these things skipped my memory to come with my beat that Sunday. Immediately I found myself in the church. I wasn't even allowed. I wasn't even thinking of operating. Okay. Because my sorry, sorry to cut you at this point, sister. You, you, you said finally you came to the church last week. What actually brought you to come to the church last week? I thought I was being smart or I was having fun or serving the devil. I never knew I was destroying myself. And I'm now the deliverance period is around the corner. So I never just, and God gave me that second chance to survive this heat from that pastor. But as my joints being broken, it was the second chance God gave me. But I never used it as a lesson. I still came here by to, to, to venture and capture this man out of his stubbornness because 
down, the devil has not asked me to go. And I wanted to do it by myself to prove to him that I am really capable of submitting, making this man to submit to our powers. But when I came here, I forgot my bed, my, my resistance bed. And immediately I was out there carrying out my oppression, as in my little, little oppression, monitoring everywhere, trying to monitor everywhere. That was when that light bright light came upon me like on our, on our ways and immediately I opened my eyes I couldn't see anything I what I was hearing in my ear was run 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 I wanted to run away but they held me I was shouting I was seeing fire emitting from this place fire was everywhere I said no no I was shouting no they still they held on to me and they were dragging me to this place I was shouting I was being aggressive because I never wanted to step on this arena because light and darkness has nothing in common because I was the darkness and I saw light here so I have not seen in common with them so that was what I was going backward and they were dragging me and then I wanted to also put and ang- make them go get angry with me and let me go because I wanted to get to this fight because immediately I wanted to use that thing. yes the, 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 the minister was busy ministering that uh, morning anointing water on me. The thing was shaking me. They were shaking my body. Every day I was on fire. I was feeling uncomfortable. I was so aggressive until I felt this bead on my waist. My sisters appeared in my hotel room and brought this bead and transferred it on my waist. And I was able to now open my eyes and was now speaking out to that minister. But I, on, his fa- on her face, I was seeing fire on her face. But I was yet talking to God. I have, I believe I have this, uh, my resistance beat now. I cannot talk to them. But finally, 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 I succumbed to the Holy Spirit and I fell down. Uh, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we watched it all on the clip, what happened when the morning water was ministered to our sister. So you mean to say, sister, you didn't come to the church with these beads. You didn't come, it was in the midst of your deliverance that they appeared on you as a result of the fire of the Holy Spirit that was burning you. I didn't really come, when I was like, I never for once as an agent of darkness forget to go with my it is a, a very powerful gadget I use a resistance gadget I don't leave it in any mission I go but I, I, I was asking myself what happened when I came into this church on Sunday I now forgot my what something I have not done before I forgot my bead on my waist in my hotel room I was now I couldn't escape. I couldn't resist the power until they now left me, and I went. I went. I went outside. I wanted to cause confusion again to go to go back to my hotel room. Immediately, my sister, with the help of my sisters, they were now. They now transmitted this thing spiritually, and I, I felt it on my wrist, on my waist. And as the fire, the anointing oil, morning oil, anointing oil was being splashed on me. Morning water was splashed on me. I, I felt so hot, and the beat was hurting me so much. I was screaming, I was screaming. Finally, my sisters, I was holding out my hands to grab their hands so that we can, I can disappear. They were nowhere to be found. And now, as I now was left alone, then I was not saying that there was no need for you. There was no need for you. There was no need for you. You have to surrender. You have to surrender. That was all I was hearing. Finally, I now surrendered. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now, after the deliverance you received on Sunday, we saw the following day you had an encounter with Prophet T.B. Joshua himself to the point where these beads were actually cut away. Can you just describe what happened? After the deliverance here, with the man, I encountered here with the minister. I now noticed, I now went back to my hotel room. I did encounter the man of God. Then on Monday, they warned me not to try making that mistake again. So I came here on Monday prepared with my bead on my waist. So as I, when I was here, be just waiting for counseling to be going out, I was angry with myself. I said, how I wish I would see this man. And when I would see, and I, 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 face to face, then immediately he came out, people were shouting. And I said, yeah, this is the opportunity I have. Immediately I went, I wanted to go close to him. I was drawing back, I wanted to go close to him. I was drawing back because the fight around him was too much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, go very close to him. He noticed and came, in, came towards me. 
and hit me on my back. Something like a force carried me up and now dashed me against the wall. I, I, he was, I, I fell down and he just left me there. And now Ash cautioned me to, go, to take away those beads I have on my waist, which nobody knew it was there. I now raised up my clothes for them to discover that I had a bead on my waist because so the man of God saw it and now said to them, call that sin, they should get rid of that bead on her waist. So they now raised my clothes. I was now resisting their hands, not to pull as in, not to cut the bead, but they finally, finally, they I succumbed to the power of the Holy Spirit and then they were able to cut this bead. Maybe they cut this bead. That, that moment they cut this bead, my power of, of resistance was gone. I felt my legs being knocked down, all my body, as my muscles had left me and now fell on the ground. Wow, one more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Now, sister, by the grace of God, it's been one week since your deliverance here in the Synagogue Church for Nations. Can you testify to the world what are the changes in your life and what are the experiences you've had to confirm that truly you are disconnected and delivered from the powers of darkness? After my encounter with the man of God, J.B. Joshua, it was very amazing because I lost all my powers, which I've never done before. I lost all my powers because those people that I was working for were now against me because they were now coming to attack me, to kill me, and to take me away by all means. Not to even mess it for me this time, but to kill me. But I noticed that while I was going home that mon that mon Monday Monday evening with a after the encounter with the man of God, I entered my I felt three good times on the road and I got up. I I, I, I took my 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 Bead, my my face bracelet. I I took my I, I wore my I wore all the ordinary uh, powerful bracelet I, I, uh, 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 chain I was having, and then I wore this I replaced it with the bracelet, face bracelet, and immediately I noticed that I was, I collected that something they were they normally used to shout Emmanuel. Immediately that those powers came to me. I said Emmanuel, and immediately I saw it was uh, as in the attack. Everyone that was spinning then, my room, the whole room I was was spinning around. I was spinning, I was shouting, and that I was shouting. And I, as I was shouting, I saw a light that shone on my face. I looked up to that light, I couldn't see anything. Immediately out of that light, the man of God now stepped out, his face shining. He now, the man of God, as in TB, as the man of God, senior prophet TB Joshua. I appeared from that light and raised and beckoned to me and brought out his hand and gave to me. Immediately I now raised my hand and I touched his hands. Immediately I touched his hands. I now recovered myself back. Immediately I came to my normal self again. Those people that those power that were pinning me down, many of you had to be spinning around, now left immediately because the powerful as so, something powerful more than them has come. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. This is a confirmation of our sister's deliverance. The day after her deliverance, she received an attack in her hotel room. But as she was being attacked by these spiritual forces, she had a trance or in that uh, hotel room, she actually saw Prophet TB Joshua appear, stretch forth his hand as he grabbed his hand. At that moment, the forces of darkness that were attacking her left her. And that is a confirmation that is indeed she is set free and delivered from the powers of darkness. And you mean to say since then, sister, you've not seen the, the two twin sisters that always used to be around you or have those uh, encounters with demonic forces. Since then, you've been free. Yes. After that Monday till now, I've not had any connection with my twin sisters or any type of connection with the kingdom of darkness. I've not had any connection as I used to have before. I used to communicate with them. No form of communication since I encountered the, 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 the uh, prophet C.B. Joshua. I never had any encounter with the underworld people again. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Now, sister, before you, you finally go ahead with your advice, we can see a couple of pictures on the board beside you. And we believe these con refer to your past life when you were under the demonic influence. Can you just describe to us what we're seeing in these pictures, just to educate people? This was my university, when I was in my university as a cultist. 
This, this, this one is the sign we used to give. As in, whenever we are, we, I see, we see our member, I will give, we will put our hands and perform the sign. Then the person, if you are, if you are one of us, you also do the same sign. And then I will know that really you are our member. But if I do this sign and you didn't, rest, you, you didn't do it back, you didn't throw it back at me, I will know that you are not a member. It is a work as in a greeting sign of our confraternity. Then the, the next, we can see how it was very red. In the confraternity is red and black with flash there. And all the colors on my body is red and black. I don't wear any other thing except that color. Then this one here, this, the black one, this is the sign. Our, the skull and the bone, the two bone cross, is the major symbol that we normally use. The crossing hand, we we'll do our hands like this to show the skull and the bone. Then this is the, the, the sign uh, with the symbol on my neck. Any member that sees this thing on my neck will know that I am a member of that confraternity. But any other confraternity members will not know that I am a member because they don't know the sign. Because this is our major sign, the skull and the bone. Then the other one, here. Yeah. Is when I'm on a, I want to go on assignment. As you can see, this one, my face is, I'm wearing on a mask with, with my eyes. This eyes here, this thing, I'm seeing through this place. It's a net. So I see through it so that you cannot recognize me. So I have a, 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 a dangerous, as in a dangerous, comfortable member on assignment here. We want to go on a killing. So that was why I wore this uh, mask face. So that when I cover my, I zip it up, I now was ready for encounter. And I was tying on my, my, my bag containing the arm, arm bag I used to carry for my comfortable members. This, uh, this bag now, it, I didn't show very well, but it was a bag that I carried with so many charms and so many arms filled up in that bag, ready for outing. Then this is when I, 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 I finished on assignment and it was so successful. I came back, I was so happy with myself. As you can see, I was relaxing on the sofa. I was very happy with myself and I now zip down my, the, the, the mask to refill my face. Now I am in the room. So without this, uh, when I am on assignment, I normally put on this my clothes that is like Spider-Man. Well, well, we thank God that our sister's past life is over and what she's saying now is a testimony to the glory of God and also a confession for all of us here today and viewers around the world to learn many important lessons. Now sister, with what you have passed through in life, you've seen enough darkness and you've now come into the lights. What is your advice to our viewers around the world, especially for Christians or people who are attending church? And you mentioned earlier how you would always attack people that claim to be Christians, whereas they are not. With all of this, what do you really want to advise our viewers around the world right now? I have many advice to give to people all over the globe and all over the world. First, my first advice goes out to people that claim to be children of God and men of God, that, that we call them so-called men of God, but they are not man, 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 really repentant. They, do, uh, they go ahead to commit sin, having sexual lust uh, over women, drinking, smoking, Why uh, they are behind, uh, behind, the, uh, behind the back, they are doing another thing. So when you really, as in, uh, my advice to them is to be careful because in the kingdom of darkness you are nowhere to be found in an anointing in, in, the, in the scale of our anointing to how we scale people you are nowhere so and I'm advising people to to always as in behave as they are claiming to be as in if you are, you are born again you should behave as a true born again you should resist all these things that i mentioned especially lost against women women is we use them a, a lot against men to so bring them into the world and also my my advice goes to parents to advise their children against collecting gifts from anybody 
in the school uh, because I noticed that when I was in primary school, I don't get children that their parents are, are, are spiritually alert that, because when I give out my gift to them, they reject them and then I cannot penetrate and I cannot initiate those children. So always advise your children not to collect gifts and when you are going into investing, we youths, we should be careful because there is something that is, is really is, is existence, this thing called cultism. It is a very, very, very fatal fatal place to be. So I was thinking I was as being, being so great and I never knew I was destroying myself because this is not how I used to look before. But I was so beautiful. I used my beauty to commit so many sins. So when you find yourself in the campus, you are just very aware that there is something like autism. And when they approach you, just put yourself in the point again in, uh, because they are born again that are in the school. We don't go close to those people. So when you, when you find yourself in the campus, just enter any Christian society, not cultism, because it doesn't have any, give any gain. There's no gain in it. Okay, thank you very much, sister. And finally, there are many people who are watching you right now around the world who may still be under the influence of, of demonic spirits or even uh, being initiated into the kingdom of darkness that you're talking about, and they're watching you right now. What do you want to advise such people who are still engaged in such practices? Is if you are still working with the devil, if you are a cultist or you are a society member, or any form of society, because there are very many in the kingdom of darkness. We call them clans and kingdoms. So if you're in any kingdom, you're having no gain. Because I thought I was having fun. I thought I was serving the people. Um, I, I was with the right people. I never knew I was deceiving myself. I was ruining my future. And my future is going down and down and down every day. Finally, I realized that they were meant to kill me and not to save my soul, but to kill me and cage me for eternity. And now that is the end time. We are fighting against flesh and blood. Not against, as, as in, the, the, our battle is not against flesh, but against spiritual warfare. There's a spiritual warfare really going on in this world. Because if I was not there, I wouldn't believe it. But I was a member, and I was a, 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 a very fervent, as in submissive member that carried her at her assignment fervently. So you should be very careful when you say you are a child of God. Because if you are not a child of God, you claim to be a child of God. You are in trouble. So that is what I want to say. There is this end time. Please give your life to Christ. Time is too short. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So to, to capital sister, do you mean to say that everything Satan used you to do in the past to kill, steal and destroy, do you mean that you are now regretting it now that you have seen the lights? Yes. I'm regretting my past now because it, I did not gain anything. There's nothing in it. Rather, it was destroying me. Because if these people really love me as they claim to be, they will not put the sickness in me. And if they, they, they would use me the way to kill many people, and to shed many as in blood, and to destroy my marriage. So it's, I don't know really. I was like, oh, what is wrong with me now? But I regret those things. And I'm begging God to also please forgive me for, for taking so, 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 so self in life. And to fill me now with the Holy Spirit. Please, I also say also that the man of God, Senior Pastor, uh, Prophet C.B. Joshua, please help me spiritually, please, to be alert so that those people will not come back to take my soul again. For so many Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. I think we've heard it all from our sister. Once again, every question we've asked and the confession we've heard today is for us to learn some important lessons and remember as Christians, our sister has already said it, our warfare is not against flesh and blood but it is indeed against spiritual entities that are causing crisis in our workplace, in our marriage, in our families, in every department of our lives. We believe this testimony has encouraged you to be closer to our Lord Jesus Christ, to be conscious of His presence in your daily life. And we know that our sister's testimony will really inspire and encourage millions of people around the world. Sister, we thank God for your deliverance. We pray that God will give you the grace to maintain this deliverance by making the Word of God the standard for your life. And indeed, as you have said, the ministry the Synagogue Church of All Nations is ready to assist you spiritually to ensure that you really maintain this deliverance to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Emmanuel.
Nous venons d'entendre la confession de cette jeune femme qui a reçu sa délivrance dimanche dernier. Et on se donner un petit résumé de ce qu'elle vient de confesser. Elle a dit qu'elle est née justement du royaume des ténèbres. La jambe de Satan est entrée en elle lorsqu'elle était bébé dans le ventre de sa mère. Mais elle est la seule qui, était, euh, qui est née physiquement alors qu'elles sont normalement des triplés. Les deux autres sont nés spirituellement. Et ces deux autres personnes qui étaient semblables à elle, ce sont, étaient ses guides, son guide durant justement son enfance jusqu'à ce qu'elle ait l'âge de 8 ans. Il dit qu'il faut qu'elle qu commence justement à faire la mission que Satan lui avait donnée. C'est comme cela qu'elle a commencé à détruire, qu'elle a commencé à voler, dérober, séduire les hommes et détruire les hommes. Elle a dit que durant toute sa vie, elle a détruit beaucoup d'hommes de Dieu qui prétendaient être des hommes de Dieu, mais lorsqu'ils ont des portes ouvertes, c'est là que Satan entre. Elle a dit qu'ils ont détruit beaucoup d'hommes de Dieu, beaucoup d'hommes. C'était sa mission de détruire, de tuer des gens. Elle a raconté aussi une histoire où elle s'est transformée en chat, elle avait la, la possibilité de se transformer en n'importe quel animal qu'elle désirait. Elle a dit qu'elle elle est entrée dans la maison d'un pasteur, pensant que le pasteur dormait. Et lorsqu'il a senti sa présence dans la maison alors qu'elle était transformée en chat, le pasteur a commencé à la chasser et en prononçant le nom de Jésus. C'est comme cela qu'elle a eu une blessure au niveau de la hanche et de la jambe. Elle a dit qu'elle a été quand même préservée, qu'elle était toujours encore en vie après cette attaque. Elle a dit qu'elle a continué à dire que même le bâtiment qui s'est écroulé ici à la synagogue église de toute nation, que ce sont les agents de Satan qui ont, voulu, qui ont écroulé ce bâtiment afin de faire l'homme de Dieu prophète le choix, questionner Dieu et aussi abonner la main de Dieu. Mais cela n'a pas fonctionné malheureusement. Mais pour la gloire de Dieu aujourd'hui, elle a donné tout ce témoignage pour la gloire de Dieu, disant que maintenant elle est complètement délivrée, elle n'a plus aucun lien avec le royaume de Satan, elle est complètement libre. Elle a montré aussi sur ses photos les signes qu'ils utilisent pour se reconnaître de, de différentes fraternités, comme nous le voyons maintenant à l'écran. Et aussi euh, le costume qu'elle avait utilisé de, de, de mettre sur elle pour pouvoir aller en mission, pouvoir tuer, créer des accidents. Elle a donné aussi de beaucoup, elle a dit que lorsqu'elle était enfant, justement à l'école, euh, elle initiait beaucoup d'enfants avec les sucreries, des biscuits. Donc elle conseille maintenant aux parents de, 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 de dire à leurs enfants de ne rien récolter de quiconque à l'école, que ce soit des sucreries, que ce soit des gâteaux, de ne rien récolter, c'est comme ça qu'ils initient beaucoup de personnes. Elle se repentit aujourd'hui, elle a dit qu'elle regrette son passé, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu pour sa délivrance. Escucha. Escuchamos un maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que nos cuenta que fue iniciada desde el útero de su madre y desde entonces nacieron dos bebés, dos bebés junto con ella, pero dos de ellos eran invisibles y solo ella era físicamente. Como agente del demonio su función era destruir y oprimir. Desde los ocho años empezó activamente como agente del demonio y recibía instrucciones por parte de sus hermanas, causando accidentes y enfermedad, muerte a los niños en su colegio, introduciéndolos al reino de las tinieblas. Ella nos cuenta que desde entonces, cuando empezó a actuar activamente como agente del enemigo, un poco mayor, estando en secundaria, usaba sus poderes para manipular a los hombres y a las personas a su alrededor. Ella tenía sus poderes en sus dientes y también en sus ojos. Ella nos cuenta que su blanco era un grupo llamado los supuestos cristianos ella los monitoreaba y junto a sus colegas del reino de los tinieblos los, los destruía y los hacía estar distraídos para poderlos hacer que su para poder hacer que su destino fracasara ella nos cuenta que estaba casada con lucifer y usaba su, sus poderes para transformarse en diferentes animales físicamente ella continuó trabajando en la vida de las personas e incluso quiso visitar a las sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones para ver si podía eh, destruir al ministerio del profeta Tibi Joshua no fue posible porque en realidad ella nos cuenta que era, es un hombre guiado por el Espíritu Santo e incluso confesó que el colapso que hubo en la sinagoga fue realizado por los agentes de Satanás para hacerlo cuestionar y culpar a Dios es decir, ¿por qué pasó esto? así que ella nos cuenta que después de que recibió, de, después de que mini, fue ministrada con el agua de la mañana, todo su cuerpo empezó a sentir fuego, ella empezó a ver fuego en su rostro, en su cuerpo, en sus manos y ella no se explicaba, ella simplemente quería salir corriendo pero después de la liberación ella dice que sintió un cambio en su vida y que sintió que el Espíritu Santo tocó a su vida, al día siguiente el profeta Tibi Joshua oró por ella y ella había olvidado un brazalete que usaba en su vientre para poder destruir a las personas así que ella el día, ese día vino con ese, esa pulsera en su vientre con la intención de destruir al profeta Tibi Joshua, sin embargo, eh, ella dice que perdió todos sus poderes con el toque por parte del hombre de Dios. Ahora está aquí con su testimonio, diciendo que está libre de ese reino de las tinieblas en el que antes estaba y aconseja a todas las personas que busquen a Dios, que busquen la salvación de su alma, que es lo más importante, que su futuro en realidad importa y que aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones pueden encontrar la solución. Continuamos.
see your hands. Come on. One, two. Come on. Come on. Yes, lift at me. Lift at you. to be in the presence of God right now. If you are excited, can you shout Emmanuel? If you know that today your case will not escape the anointing of God, shout hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Prophet T.B. Joshua have sent into our midst the morning water. And this morning water is what God Almighty will use today to set you aside for God's special attention. Are you ready to receive your healing? Are you ready to receive your deliverance? Are you ready to receive your blessing? Yes, when the power of God is present, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. Hallelujah. So right now the evangelists are starting to move around and minister the morning water in the name of Jesus Christ. And as they do so, be in an attitude of prayer. Just say with me right now to Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Holy Spirit. Take more of me. And give me more of you. Give me more of your faithfulness. More of your kindness, more of your healing, more of your deliverance, more of your blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Prepare your heart to receive in Jesus' name.
at your screen. The ministration of the morning water has begun in different parts of the church right now. The morning water is being ministered by the evangelist sent by the anointed man of God, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, to break the yoke of sickness, affliction, disease, poverty, failure, curses in our lives. And you can see what is happening right there. That is the effect of the ministration of the morning water. The fire of God is revealing every contrary spirit in the lives of the people. And any hidden spirit or sickness are being exposed from their hideout. So right now, get ready for an attitude of prayer. And as you receive your own morning water, begin to tell God Almighty what you want God Almighty to do for you. And he will see to it that it is done. Viewers all over the world, distance is not a barrier. As you're watching right now, you can also tap the anointing by believing that the ministration of the morning water you can see happening right here at the Arena of Liberty. You can also partake in that anointing by simply place your hand on the screen and begin to pray and tell God Almighty what you want God to do in your life. And don't forget, immediately after the service, All over your body, Holy Ghost, by the name of Jesus Christ. Every part of your body, Holy Ghost, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Fire all over your body in the name of Jesus. Speak, who are you? Who are you? Spiritual husband. Speak louder. Spiritual husband. What have you done to her? I make her to be barren. You make her what? To be barren. For how long? Seven years now. What have you done to our, our family? Disappointment. <laughs> for, for how long have you been living in this body? For a very long time. How did you enter this body? I entered her true dream. Okay, go. In Jesus Christ's name. the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Rise up, Jesus Christ, and set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. All over your body, Holy Ghost, by the name of Jesus Christ. Every part of your body, by the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Every part of your body, by the blood of Jesus. Speak out, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to her? Huh? To kill her. Speak louder. I want to kill her. How do you want to kill her? Huh? How do you want to kill her? I give her waist pain and the leg pain. You gave her what? Waist pain and the leg pain. Okay, what have you done to her marriage? Nothing is coming in. Speak louder. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to marriage? Huh? What have you done to marriage? Huh? Eh? Nothing is coming inside the marriage. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? Huh? Look here. Open your eyes. Look here. Who is this man to you? Who is it to you? Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you, sir? You're yeah, welcome, sir. Thank you. Who is she to you? She's my wife. What can you say about her? Recently, she just had an attack. 
And of course, we have been battling with it for about, to say, roughly two months now. So, okay, she almost had a stroke. What was her idea? We, think, we went, to the, went to the hospital, we went to other places, they took history, they said there's no arthritis, there's no stroke, there's no other, whatever. So, but today we just decided, okay, let's go to synagogue to have our way. That's why we are here. Okay, Jesus Christ, we set our free through the medium of the money water. In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Rise up, Jesus Christ, and set you free through the medium of the money water. Thank you, Jesus. I am here. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for delivering my wife. the Holy Ghost, the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Speak, who are you? Who are you? Evil friend. He said what? I'm an evil friend. From which kingdom? Marine kingdom. What have you done to her? <laughs> I've destroyed her. What are the things you have destroyed in her life? So many things. Her the family. Uh-huh. Academic. Uh huh. Everything around her is being destroyed. For how long have you been living in this body? <laughs> huh? Ever since she was a child. Okay, what are the evil things you push her to do? Many things. What are the things? To follow bad friends. Who are, the, who are those bad friends? Huh? You said she follow bad friends. Yes, huh? she keep bad companies. Uh, what do they do? They destroy her life. Huh? They destroy her life. How did you enter this body? Through dream. Open your eyes. Who is this woman to you? I don't know. You don't know her? Mama, you're welcome in Jesus' name. It's my granddaughter. Okay, what can you say about her character at home? She doesn't hear advice. She follows with a bad boys and girls. She's stubborn. Who made her to be stubborn? I made her. Why did you do that? Because she's mine. Okay, it is time for you to go in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Rise up. Jesus Christ has de delivered you through the medium of the money water. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank, thank you, Jesus, for, my, for delivering my granddaughter. Holy Ghost, fire! No. Let me. Is that what? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? I'm that man. Man oh. from where? No, from her village. From which kingdom? From her village. Which kingdom? Is it that kind of land? Marie kingdom. Oh. Okay, what have you done to her? I don't want her to marry. Uh -huh. I don't want her to marry. I want people to be disappointed her. No. No. Okay, what, my... what oh. are the evil things you push her to mm. do? Mm. Oh. Huh? I make her anytime she see man, she will hate the man, the man. 
Uh huh. Leave me. What other things? No. Leave me. What other things? No. Mm -mm. I made people to hate her in her company. People hate her. Leave me. Okay, what have you done to her family? Huh? Oh. What have you done to her family? Her family. Her family. Her family. <laughs> How did you enter this body? Oh. oh. It's her grandfather that keep her for me. How my father you? said that she will worship me. Oh, leave me. Mm. Oh. Follow, oh. Follow. Follow. Oh, since she was in prime secondary school. Okay, go in Jesus' name. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Come here. Me. Come here. I Come here. Ah. In Jesus' name. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Thank you, Lord. the blood of Jesus. Out! Oh. Out! Oh. Out! The blood of Jesus. Out! In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Rise up. Jesus Christ has delivered you through the medium of the morning water. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Spirit of what? Ah. Hey, your hope. Ah. Spirit of what? Ah. 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 What you done to her? Ah. A marriage. Ah. Ah. What you done to her? Speak out. Ah. What you done to her career? Ah. Ah. You have done what? Ah. You cannot deceive us here. Ah. All everybody, fire, ah. fire, everybody. Your eyes, ah. your mouth, fire. Now speak out. Uh, Who are you? Uh, Who are you? Husband. Okay, how many are you? Uh, two. Number two? Uh, Who is number two? Uh, spirit of disappointment. Okay, so speech has been what you done to her? Uh, what you done to her? Uh, make her life to be useless. What about a marriage? Uh, a marriage? Uh, a marriage? Uh, Exactly. Okay, her career, her family, what uh, you done to them? Uh, Speak out! Uh, uh, what you done to her career, her no, family? No, leave me alone. Please. Okay, how did you answer her? Oh, true dream. Okay, now you're coming out. Thank you, Lord. Come out! Thank you, Jesus, for this deliverance. In Jesus' name. Sister, rise up. Jesus has set you free through the morning water. Rise up, you are free. Estamos viendo la liberación en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo a través del agua de la mañana. Siga conectado con nosotros. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. All of you, but Holy Ghost, fire! Fire everybody! Fire everybody! You cannot resist it! In your hair, in your back, in your ears, in your eyes, in your mouth! Fire! 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 Fire everybody! Fire! You cannot resist it! Fire! Fire in your heart! All of your body, wherever the power is, fire! Now look here! Who are you? Speak out! Who are you? Who are you? A giant smile. Eh? A giant smile. Okay, how many are you? Many! Who is number two? Number two? There are many! Who is number two? Number two? Occultic man in half a dozen! Okay, how do you operate as an occultic man? How do you operate? I manipulate your destiny! Okay, how many powers? How many! Where are the powers? Where are the powers in the body? Speak out! Fire! Fire! 
Fire! Fire in your eyes! In your eyes! Uh -huh. How many powers? Where are the powers? Many! Where are they? All over! Uh huh? Where? Where's the power? Hmm? In the leg. Speak with your mouth, you demon! Yes! Uh -huh. what do you do? How do you use that power? How do you use the power? I have used to attack her mm -hmm. in the leg. Okay. If I attack her, I pull her down. Okay. Okay. What do you done to her marriage? I used to manipulate her marriage. Okay. Well, look here, you demon. Look here. Look here. Who is this man? Her husband. Eh? Her own. Uh, uh, her, her husband. He's not your husband. <laughs> uh? I'm a giant man. Okay, you're a giant man. Yes, I have many powers. Okay, where is the power? Apart so from the far, uh, so apart from the leg, where? I used to manipulate them. Okay, let's okay. listen to the man. You are welcome here, sir. Uh, Emmanuel. Who is she to you? It's my wife. She's your wife. Yes. Okay, and what can you say about the character of your wife? Uh, at times she became aggressive in the house, but I like to. I always uh, come down for her, okay, so that so, there will be peace. So she is the one that is aggressive in the house. You have to submit to yourself. Yes, yes. Okay, what kind of instances have that pushed you to experience in the house? Uh, normally, whatever she says she will do, she will always like to do it. In spite, uh, I will tell her not to do. She will do. I will now. So she's behaving like the man of the house. Yeah, she's behaving. Who is the cause, you demon? Um, yes, I'm the giant man. Okay, you say you're a giant man. Yes. Well, walk like a giant man. Walk like a giant man. Well, come here, walk like a giant man. Walk. And when she walks walk like that, what happens? Eh? Destruction. Okay. What have you done to her career? Destruction from childhood. Okay, how long have you been in her? From child, from Steve's bags. Okay, how did you enter her? Steve's bags. How? How did you enter her? I manipulated her. Her intelligence gone. Her wisdom gone. Her vision gone. Okay. Now you're packing your belongings. You're getting out of no. this body. This body belongs to Jesus. Her. This She's body belongs to, to Jesus. She's supposed to die. I will finish her. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Your time has expired. Come here. All of your body. Fire! Come here! Come here! All everybody, fire! Fire! Thank you, Jesus. You're back on the floor. Thank you, Lord, for this deliverance in Jesus' name. Continuamos con las liberaciones en el nombre de Jesús. Sister, open your eyes, rise up. Jesus has set you free through the morning water. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering my wife. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, who is this man, madam? Yeah? He's my sweetie. He's your husband? Yes. Okay, never you remind her of what was said here. It was the evil spirit speaking. This is your wife. Okay? Thank you, Lord. So you are both free in Jesus' name. Wherever the power is located, fire everybody! Fire! Fire in your eyes! Fire in your mouth! Fire in your hand! In your hand! Fire! Fire in your leg! In your leg! Fire! Fire in your leg! Fire! 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 Fire in your hand! All of everybody! Fire! 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 Now speak out! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you in his body? Who are you? Fire! Fire! You can't resist it! You've been exposed, now confess! Who are you? Poseidon. You say what? I am Poseidon. Poseidon. Oh. What's the meaning of Poseidon? What's the meaning? What is the meaning, you demon? God of the sea. Oh. Speak loud, you demon. You say what? I'm the God of the sea. God of the oh. sea, okay. What have you done to him? What have you done to him? Make his dad disown him. Yeah? I've made his dad disown him. Oh. What have you pushed this boy to, to do? What do you push him to do? What do you push him to do? He doesn't want to be a great man. Okay. How many are you in this body? Except for God of the sea. Who else? Who else? Prince of thieves. Eh? Prince of thieves. Prince of thieves. Okay, it's Prince of thieves. How do you operate? How do you operate? Eh? 
How do you operate your demon? Yeah? In your hands. Where the power is. Fire! 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 Find your hands! Find your hands! Your legs! Find your legs! Find your legs! Find your legs! Find your legs! Fire! 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 You can resist it! Fire! Holy Ghost! Fire! Now speak out! How many powers do you have? Three. Uh -huh. Where are the powers located? My head. Yeah? Well, stand right and show us. Stand right! Where's the power? Where's the power? My head. Uh -huh. How do you use that power? I used to play people. Eh? I used to play people. Okay, what else? Uh, what else? Uh, what else? My stomach. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what do you do that one? How do you use that one? Uh, hmm? uh, fire. 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 Okay, what have you pushed this boy to do? We don't have your time to demon. What do you push him to do? I push him to steal. To steal? Uh huh. What else? Smoke. Uh huh. Too much to be. Uh huh. What else? Uh, what else? I caused him to make his mother cry. Okay. Uh, okay. How did you enter him? How did you enter him? From the river. From the river. How long have you been in him? Uh, hmm? Uh, How long? Ten years. Uh, Okay, your time in this body has expired. You're coming out right now. Come out! Fire, everybody! Fire! Fire, everybody! Fire! 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 You can resist it! Fire! 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 Oh, everybody! Fire! You're back on the floor! You're back on the floor! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! You're back! You're back! You're back on the floor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for this deliverance. In Jesus' name. Estamos viendo el poder de resurrección de Jesucristo actuar en la vida de estas personas. My brother, rise up. Jesus has set you free through the morning water. Rise up. Y este joven ha sido libre en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Thank you Jesus, I'm free. Thank you Jesus. All over your body, Holy Ghost. Fire! Fire everybody! In your hair, fire! Fire! In your ears, fire! In your eyes, fire! In your mouth, fire! All over your body, Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 fire. Now speak out. Who are you? Who are you? Disappointment. How many are you? Three. Who is number two? Set back. Okay, look here. I can't look here. No. Who, who is number three? Delay. Okay, what have you done to this lady? What have you done to her? Slow her progress. Okay, and what about her marriage? Marriage. <laughs> huh? No marriage. No marriage. Yes. Who is the cause? Me. Speak with your mouth. Me! Okay, and what about her career? Oh! She finished service three years ago. She's jobless. Okay. She's jobless. I'll continue to make her jobless. What about She's her? a graduate. Let her come and work. Let me see. What about she her family? Can't work. Her family? Ah, uh, that one. I've finished all of them. Okay, how did you enter her? Oh, I feel that in the dream every night. How did you enter her? Uh, oh. Through her family. Through her family. In their family. Okay, your time in this body has expired. Oh. Come out! Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. My sister, open your eyes. Rise up. Jesus has set you free through the morning water. La mujer ha sido libre en el nombre de Jesús a través de la administración del agua de la mañana. Siga conectado. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. All over your body, fire. Fire, everybody. Fire, fire. In your hair, fire. In your eyes, your ears, your mouth, fire, everybody. Fire, fire, fire. Look here. Look here. In the name of Jesus, who are you? Who are you? 
Who are you in this body? I'm the husband. How many are you? Three. Speak with your mouth, okay? Who is number two? Number two? Limitations. Number three? Number three? Barrenness. Okay, what are you down to a marriage? I want to destroy the marriage. Okay, what about her health? What have you done to her health? Of course, her sickness. Which sickness? <sighs> Which sickness? Hepatitis B. Okay. What about her family? Mm -mm. I have nothing to do with that. Okay, how did you enter her? True dream. Okay, you, you say your spirit of barrenness. Eh? Yes. Okay, when you're cast out, what will happen in her life? Hey. Eh? She will give birth to twins. Okay, now you're coming out. Come out! Thank you, Jesus, for this deliverance. In Jesus' name. My sister, rise up. Jesus has set you free through the morning water. Rise up. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. All everybody, fire! Fire of the Holy Ghost. In your hair, fire, fire, fire. In your ears, fire, fire the body, fire the body, fire. You can't resist it. Fire, 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 fire. Speak out. Who are you? Who are you? Stand right. Stand right. And you're who? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you, everybody? You're a serpent. Okay, how many are you? How many are you? How many are you? We are many, but they are gone. We are many, but they are gone. I'm the only one remaining. Please let me be. Okay, you say you're who? Your spirit of what? Serpent. Spirit of serpent. Yes. Okay, what have you done to her? Oh, I've destroyed her. I've destroyed her. What about her marriage? Her marriage is not working well. Okay, her family. I drive the boy away. Okay, her family. Uh, her career. Uh, her career. Oh, that one is gone. Okay. Uh, how did you enter? Uh, how did you enter? Uh, uh, Trap on the shore. Okay, uh, now coming out. Thank you, Lord. Come out. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. Thank you, Lord. In your ears. In your ears. In your ears. In your hands. In your hands. In your hands. In your hands. In your hair. In your hair. Fire. 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 Now you're back on the floor. Come here. Come here. Come here in the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. Come out. You're back on the floor. Come out. All everybody. Wherever the power is. Fire. 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 All everybody. Fire. Fire in your legs. Your legs. Your hands. Fire your back. Fire. Fire. Out. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Fire. 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 You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. Fire. 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 All of everybody. Wherever the power is. Fire. 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 You can't resist it. Fire. 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 You're back on the floor. You're back. You're back on the floor. You're back. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back on the floor. You're back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's been done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Esta mujer ha sido libre en el nombre de Jesús. Rise up, Jesus has set you free through the morning water. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Who are you? Uh, Speak out! Who are you in this body? Uh, spirit of lust. Okay, how many of you are here? Uh, uh, how many of you? Spirit of lust. Okay, as mm. a spirit of lust, what have you done to him? We just want to destroy the football career. In what way? Uh, this guy is too great. He's a star. Want to destroy him? Okay, how do you use the spirit of lust to destroy him or to affect his life? He just says women. This, this guy. We make him any just we make him to chase women and we disappoint him. Anytime opportunity comes, 
I'm coming. I'm disappointed. Okay, how did you enter him? Through dreams. You are going out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! 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 You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. You're back. Out! Out! You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can't leave this place. Out! Out! You have no authority in this body. Out! 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 You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must leave this body. You're back on the floor. Out. Fire. All over your body. Fire. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fire. Fire. Come back here. Come back here. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire. All over your body. Fire. 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 Out. You are leaving. Come back here. Come back here. All authority in heaven and on earth have been invested in that name, Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, you demon, you must bow. Out. 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 You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere those powers are. You're back on the floor. You're back. You're back on the floor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come back here. You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must leave this body. You must leave this body. Out. 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 In Jesus' name, you are free. Rise up. How are you? How are you? So Jesus Christ has set you free from that spirit of lust. Thank you, Jesus. You're free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Your face, your feet, your hair, fire, your eyes, your mouth. Fire. Fire of everybody. Who are you? I'm a spiritual husband. You said what? I'm a spiritual husband. You're a spiritual husband. What have you done to her? Uh, I make her to stand like a man. You said what? I make her to stand for a very long time now. She had a son. And since then, no other one again. What have you done to her career? Uh, I brought her down because I want to bring her to her knees. Why will you bring her down? Uh, she's, too, she's too stubborn. What do you mean by that? Uh, she don't want to serve me. Then who are you? I'm a spiritual husband. Okay. How long have you been living in her? Since child. Okay. It's... It is time to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire! Come back here! Come back here in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire! Go! Out! Your feet, your legs, your hair, your dress, fire! 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 Now go! Go! Out! 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 On the floor. On the floor. On the floor. 
You're back on the floor. Go! Go! Well, he goes, fire! Now go! 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 You're back on the floor. In Jesus' name. Estamos viendo la liberación de esta mujer de un esposo espiritual. Stand up. Y esta mujer ha sido libre en el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Continúe observando estas liberaciones. When he goes, fire, fire, fire. Your hair, fire, your skin, your eyes, fire, more fire. Who are you in this body in the name of Jesus? Speak. Who are you? He said what? What have you done to her? To her marriage. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 Now speak! Oh! I will make up her life! He said you make up her life. I will make up her life! Why? Why? Why will you paralyze her? He said, "What? Well, speak I don't louder." Need her. I don't need her. You don't need her. I can't hear you. Speak louder, clearly. Whoa. He said, "What? Why will you paralyze her?" He said, "You paralyze her. Why will you paralyze her?" Paralyze her. Speak. Whoa. Speak. If that was to her marriage, speak. He said, "What?" Holy Ghost. Fire. He said what? Oh, 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 I destroyed the marriage now. Nah. Just now, nah, just now. Nah. See, oh, oh, I make the, I make the husband to, oh. He said he destroyed her marriage. Yes. How did he destroy her marriage? Explain. See, oh, see, see, no, let me talk it. Oh, no, let me talk, no, let me talk. I destroyed her. She don't have sex to her. He burned her, burned her, burned her. I so said you destroy her, she doesn't have sex to own. Yes. She's born here, born here, yes. born here. Yes. Who is the cause? Why is Who is the cause? It's me, it's me, it's me. Ah. Now you don't want our family. Our family. You don't want our family, speak! Huh? Oh. Why have you done to our family? It's time to go. We are living this word in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come here. Come here. Come here. Holy Ghost. Fire! Your hair, your skin, your eyes. Fire! It's time to go. More fire! Come on. Fire! Fire! Fire your body. Fire! 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 Come on. Fire! Go! 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 Now leave. Yes. On the floor. Come on. Out. Out. Now go. Go. Come on. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Estamos viendo go! la oración. Go! 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 Out! 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 On the floor! No back on the floor! Out! 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 Come again! Come again! Now go! Go! You are going! You are going! Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, they walk on the floor. Out! Ah! 
esta mujer ha sido libre en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. You are free, sister. Rise up, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Continue connected. Fire! Your face, your skin, your hair. Fire! Your nails. Fire! 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 Everybody. Fire! Fire! More fire! Who are you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you? Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual husband. A spiritual husband? Uh, what does it give? Are you in this body? Uh, uh, I can't hear you speak. Uh, uh, it says spiritual uh, husband and who again in the body? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, Fire! Uh, I speak! He said you are a spiritual husband who is in the body. I do for their family. Okay, spiritual husband and I do for my father's side. Okay. Uh, a spiritual husband, what have we done to her? You said what? You don't want to a marriage, a spiritual husband. I'll destroy the marriage. How do you destroy a marriage? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. How do you destroy a marriage? Explain. I don't want to I don't want her to carry a baby. Okay, you don't want to carry a baby. What's your friends in for her to carry a baby? I destroy the career. Okay. You said you are also I do. Yes. And I do what have you done to our family? Yes. I destroy the family. How do you destroy them? Ah. I scatter the family. How, how do you scatter them? How? how? You want to explain? Ah. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You said our family is scattered Ooh, as no an peace. I do. No peace. No peace for the family. Okay. Ah. So, what is the cause? Who is the cause? Ah, spiritual husband. Woo! Okay. So how long have you been in, in, in this body? Ah. Ah. How long have you been in this body? Ah. Speak. Six, nine years. Okay. Woo! Now, it's time for you to leave. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. Fire! Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. Fire! Go! Go! Ningún espíritu maligno se puede resistir al poder de Jesucristo. Esta mujer ha sido libre a través del agua de la mañana en el nombre de Jesús. In Jesus name. You are free, sister. Rise up. You are free. Touch you, Jesus. Story is even. Touch you, Jesus. Because fire, fire all over your body. Fire. Now speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you this body? What do you mean by that? I'm the master of life. What have we done to her? Of this joy alive. Alive? 
A marriage? Baby's life. I have inserted multiple fibroids in her womb. You did what? I have inserted and created multiple fibroids in her womb. You gave her multiple fibroids? Yes. Why did you do that? Because I don't want her to conceive. I don't want her to have a What future. have you done to her career? It's and how did you enter this body? How did you enter this body? Through a dream. So right now you are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ through the medium of the morning water. Out in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. You are free in Jesus' name. Rise up. Mujer está siendo libre en el nombre de Jesús de todo espíritu maligno. Thank you, Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. All over your body, Holy Ghost, fire! Fire! <laughs> Who are you in this body? Who are you? <laughs> you people are very funny, you know. Uh, can you please leave me? Am I fighting with you? Can you please You have to, to speak me? in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Who are you in this body? I will speak as soon as they leave me. Speak out! Who are you? Tell them to leave me, I will speak. You have to speak. Who are you? Amen. You're wasting your time. What have you done oh, to her? You people. <laughs> I don't know if I. You know what? You people are really, are really, are really a nuisance. You know that? We are really. <laughs> Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Fire. 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 Now speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you in this body? Speak out. Uh, uh, who are you? Oh, I am. Who I am? Who are you? Okay, I will speak. Let them leave me. Let them leave me. I will tell. She wants to disgrace me. Let me talk. Who are tell you? Tell them to leave me. Let me talk. I will disgrace them. I will disgrace them. Let me talk. Give me. Give me. Let me talk. Estamos viendo la ministración a través del agua de la mañana. Thank you. What do you want Speak. to know? Who are you? I said now, I am the one who's torturing her. What have you done to her? Which part do you want? Which part? Because everything is gone. Which part do you want What now? do you mean by that? Let's wait now with that thing of yours. You and Timmy Joshua, you don't know your name. Do you understand? When the car goes this way and another one goes this way, stay in your own lane. You have to stay in my own lane. You have no idea, please. Speak out. Ah, oh, that man. Who are you? Oh, I am the one who destroyed her life. Why do you, you destroy know, her life? Because I enjoy it. What does she think she is? What have you done to her? Oh, which part I asked you? Which part do you want to know? Which part do you want to know? Which part did I destroy? What have you done to her? <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay. Marriage with a husband. Oh, she got saved because the husband decided to save that one. Oh, that one! Sneaky! That one! Put your hand down. Now! You see now what you're doing? Speak out in the name of okay. Jesus Christ. She said, oh, I want to be educated. I want to be educated. I want to be educated. Why did you want, you don't want her to be educated? Why? No, 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 she tried. She tried. And what did you do? When she was about going, going, going. What do you mean by that? What did you do? Speak in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, Faith! Faith! She was crying. Uh, what is happening to you me? You mean you brought failure oh, to her life? yes! No, that was a house of faith! I said she was crying. What is happening to me? What is happening? No, well, she okay. decided to go. What have you done to her marriage? Okay. Marriage, I said now, that one. Got away because of that husband of hers decided to save that one. That's it. Then I couldn't because that man prays. He prays that boy. He prays. Now! And then she says, she got a job. You know what? She was very big in her work. In her 20s. She's a director to her 20s. God gave her prayer. And then I said, I brought someone. Yeah? <laughs> and then that guy, she made her. She made her leave her job. And then she left it. And then, you know what? Why do you want to destroy her? Why? She got an employee telling her, fast, fast, walk fast. And then that man spoke to her and said, 
turn down. Oh. Oh. And I am mad! Stand to her! That her business! Not exactly those words, but she heard it like that. So you destroy all her career? Oh! Her business! Then how did you enter this body? How did you enter this okay, body? Okay, where do I start? You people! How did you enter you this people. body? Speak in the name okay, of Jesus. And how did you enter I, this body? I, through another spirit. Through dreams. And what? And who are you in this body? Who are you? <laughs> I'm a destroyer. Destroyer. You are the destroyer. So her. right now you are leaving ah, this yeah, body yeah, yeah, yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. You are leaving this body. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, out! Come, come back here. In the name of Jesus Christ, come back here. Out! Come out of her! Come out in the name of Jesus. Y el Espíritu que destruyó su vida no pudo soportar el poder de Jesús. Come back, come back, sister. How are you? Thank you, Jesus. I'm good. You are free uh, thank you, through Jesus. the medium of the morning water oh, sent by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Mm, thank thank you, Jesus, Jesus for your deliverance. Esta mujer ha sido libre a través del agua de la mañana en el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus, for my deliverance. Thank you, Jesus, for my deliverance. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire, fire. Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak out in the name of Jesus Christ. Stop it. Who are you in this body? Oh, you have to oh, speak. Oh. Woman. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Hi. You have Hi. To speak. You have to speak. Who are you? Speak out. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Speak out in the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? You know me. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? A career? Speak in the name of Jesus. You have no hiding place. Speak! Hey! Who are you? You know me. Who are you? Who you, are you in this body? You, you want to know me. Who are you in this body? You have to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. This woman. Hey, hey. What have you done to her? Destroy her. Why did you destroy her? Why did you destroy her? Because of a murder. Because what of have you done family. to her? What I don't have you done like to her? them. What have you done to her? I destroy her. What I have you done? You see the career. You see the career. Yes. A marriage? A no marriage. Why? My wife. She's your wife. She's my darling. So, how did you enter this body? How did you enter this body? Speak in the name of Jesus. How did you enter this body? Before she was born. In her mother's womb. So right now, you are leaving this body in the name of Jesus Christ. Through this medium of the morning water sent by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Come out! Come out of her! Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Come back here. Look here! In the name of Jesus. Come back here! Come out of her! Out! 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 Your back! In the name of Jesus, come out. Come out. You have no ID place. Come out. Out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out. You're back on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. Come out. 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 Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Out. Come out. You're back on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. Come out. Come out of her. Come out of her. Mujer ha sido libre de un espíritu que destruyó su vida. Rise up. You are free through the medium of the morning water sent by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Rise up, madam. You are free. Gloria a Dios porque fue libre de un espíritu que cesó su carrera en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. You are free, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Or the goat, fire all over your body. Fire! Fire! Who are you? Poison. Poison. What do you mean by poison? Speak out! Give me food in the dream. You give us food in the dream. And what does that cost? confusion in the marriage. What have you done to her career? She will never sing again. She will never sing. She will never sing. She will never sing. What have you done to her family? Uh, in a cage. In a cage. In a cage. They are in the cage. Yes. And how did you enter this body? Yes. How did you enter this body? I entered through the anger of the husband. Stop that nonsense. You are going out right now? In the name of Jesus Christ. Y esta mujer acaba de ser libre de un espíritu de veneno. Madam, rise up. You are set free through the medium of the morning water. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sido libre en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. In the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire! Fire! Now, who are you? Who are you in this body? I told you. I told Say it again. Who are you in this body? I told you that I'm the spirit of destruction. Spirit of destruction. Yes. And what have you done to her? I've destroyed her life. What have you done to her career? Her career is stagnant. What have you done to her family? And her family. As I'm talking to you, the mother is ill right now. Speak in the name of Jesus. What and have we done to no her? Progress no progress. No all the family members. And how did you enter this body? Her family. From the family. All right now you family. are leaving this body in the name of Jesus Christ. No. Through the medium of the morning water sent by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, you are living in the name of Jesus. Come out of her! In the name of Jesus Christ. We are free, madam. Rise up. Thank you, Jesus. Esta mujer ha sido libre de un espíritu de destrucción. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús. How are you, ma? How are you? I'm okay. Thank Jesus Thank you, Christ Jesus. for your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Fire all over your body. of Jesus. Who are you? You have to speak. Who are you in this body? Speak out in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak in the name of Jesus. Who are you? What did you say? Spiritual husband. How did you enter this body? Through dreams. Speak out! Through dreams. What have you done to her? I destroyed her. What have you done to her? I destroyed her. What do you mean by you destroyed her? She's been waking and waking. She's got nothing to show off. And what have you done to her marriage? I destroy it. And how did you enter her life? Through dreams. Right now you are leaving this body in the name of Jesus Christ through the medium of the morning water. So right now, come out of her. Out! You are free in Jesus' name. Through the medium of the morning water. You are free. <coughs> A través del agua de la mañana, esta mujer ha sido libre de un esposo espiritual en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Estamos viendo cómo expulsa sustancias venenosas de su cuerpo. Porque está siendo libre en el nombre de Jesús. Ningún espíritu puede resistir el poder de Jesucristo. Madam, you are free through the medium of the morning water. Rise up and say thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire. Now, who are you? Who are you in this body? 
Open your mouth and speak. Who are you? Spirit of fear. Speak louder. Spiritual husband. Speak louder. Spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. Spiritual husband. And what have you done to her? I caused disappointment. You caused her disappointment. What Set have you done to her career? Disappointment. Setback. Mm -hmm. Distraction. Mm -hmm. A marriage? She can't marry. Speak louder. She can't marry. Why? Why do you don't want her to get married? She can't marry. Why? I want her to be alone. You want her to be alone? Yes. What have you done to her family? <laughs> Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her family? <clears throat> I cause confusion. Because distraction. Confusion. And how did you enter this body? Through dreams. So right now, you are leaving this body through the medium of the morning water sent by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, in Jesus' name. So right now, out! Out of her! Out of her! Come out of her! Come out! Out of her! Out! Out! Come out of her! You're back on the floor! You're back on the floor! Rise up. You are set free through the medium of the morning water in Jesus' name. Madam, rise up. El espíritu de miedo y el esposo espiritual han salido de la vida de esta mujer en el nombre de Jesús come por back. medio. Come back. Hello, madam, come back here. How are you, ma? How are you? I'm okay. Thank Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Over your body, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Right now, speak out. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you in this body? Disappointment. Who else? Spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. What have you done to her? Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? No happiness. No happiness. What have you done to her marriage? <laughs> Even call that marriage. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> the man lied. <laughs> Speak clearly. <laughs> that man called husband, he lied to her. Mm -hmm. She never told her the truth mm -hmm. about his background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he never satisfied her. That's why she left him. And that man, that man, that man called to be Josh. She came into her life. She saved her from this disease. HIV. You don't want her to be saved? No. Why? No. Why you don't want her to be saved? She wants to save the family. The family hates her. And what have you done to her They don't love her. They don't want her. They don't even come to her house. They hate her. Because she prays. She prays for everyone. What she thinks that she thinks she is. Praying for who? HIV. Who do you think you are? You will never, never. Or look at him. Look at What have you done to her career? Speak in the name of Jesus. What have you done to her career? Financially. Snack bent not going anywhere. And what have you done to her family? <laughs> the family, mm. they hate her. They hate her. How did you enter this body? Through dreams. So right now you are leaving this body in the name of Jesus Christ through the medium of the morning water sent by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. So right now, out of her. Out of her. Come out. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Esta mujer ha sido libre de un esposo espiritual. Madam, rise up. 
Look okay. here. How are you, ma? How are you? I'm good and you. Thank How are you? I'm fine. I'm well. Thank Jesus Christ. Thank Christ. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gloria a Dios, esta mujer fue libre de un, espíritu, de un esposo espiritual. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, speak out. Who are you? Who are you? I am the goddess. You are what? The goddess. You are the goddess. How many of you are in this body? We are legend. Legend. Who else again is there? Huh? Oh, I want to destroy him. What are you doing to him? Oh, well, why is it said this man? He's a prophet. We well, want him to save this man. Uh, who saw his light when he was about to come to this wall. Mm -hmm. Your master appeared to him mm -hmm. and asked him to come here. To come here. We didn't want him to come here. He deceived us. Uh, we stop everything. We don't know how he got the money to come here. We stop everything. He wants to deliver his people. What have we done to his marriage? Uh, we brought the wrong people to his life. We don't want anything good to come to him. What have we done to his ministry? Yeah, we block his ministry. We blind his eyes. He cannot no more understand his vision. He doubts his prophecy. He doubts his prophecy. What have we done to the family? Mm, we block his family. He has the key to deliver his family. But no one. As legend, what have you done to him? Mm. Or what have you made him to do? We want to kill him. We want to, we want him. to give him spirit of madness. He is alone. His family rejected him. He want to die. He asked the Lord. Uh, How did you uh, to him? Uh, we chain him. We chain him. You, how did you chain him? Uh, uh, we live for ages. Uh, we have treated him. We chain him from his mother's womb. Uh, now it is time for you to go. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out Una legión no pudo resistir el poder de Jesucristo a través del agua de la mañana. En el nombre de Jesús, este hombre ha sido libre. Give thanks to God. Jesus Christ has set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. to her marriage. She can't have a marriage. What have you done to start to her career? Ah, I destroy you all my money. Okay. Destroy everything. I want to kill her. I saw her start. She have a bright star. She's a great woman. She wants to deliver all the family. I put them in bondage. This fool. Court of TV shows. I want to kill her mother. She pray. Deliver her mother in the dream. Yes. I make her do doubt. Your servant, so called servant. Father, Father, please. She put in her hand in her dream. She always go. Take more of me and give me more of you. Which more? Why I can't stop? Try it up. Okay, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look here. Who is this person? I don't know her. You don't know her? Yes. Okay. Let's hear from you. Sister, you're welcome. 
Thank you. Who is she to you? She's my sister. She's your sister? Yeah. What can you say concerning your sister? What can you say about her character? Okay, it's quarry. Every time we get married, she likes to quarry someone. Yeah. Okay. Right we now? Okay, how did you enter her? Through dream. I said to my agent, don't you share that? Yes. Okay, but now it's time for you to go. Right now, fire all of your body. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go! 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 Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. You are going. 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 Fire. 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 You are free in Jesus' name. Esa mujer está siendo libre de un espíritu que destruyó Rise su up, vida. Sister. Rise up, you are free. A través del poder de Jesucristo, ella es libre. Sister, how are you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ has Thank delivered you. Jesus. Who is this person to you? She's my sister. She's your sister. Glory be to God. You are free through the medium of the morning mortar sent by Prophet T.B. Joshua. Live your life for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fire all over your body. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in your hair. Fire in your eyes. In your ears. In your mouth. Fire. 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 Okay, speak. Who are you? Who are you, demon? No. Who are you? Jesus commands you to speak. Who are you? No. Okay, how many of you in this body? How many of you in this body? Many. Okay, number one. Number one. Speak, you demon. Number one. I can't talk to you. Okay, tell us what, what have you done to her? What have you done to her? I said I will not talk to you. You will talk, you demon. Into your ear. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will talk. Tell us, who are you? <laughs> who are you? She's a goner. Who are you? She's a goner. What do you mean by she's a goner? She's dead already. Okay, explain. Explain, what do you mean by she's dead already? What have you done to her? Many things. Okay, what is the evil you have done in her life? Many things. I brought her chair. Uh-huh. You brought her shame. What else? I gave her a poison. Uh -huh. What else? I bite her in the dream. Snake. I turn to snake and bite her in the dream. Since then, she's been suffering pains, her stomach, and in her chest and heart. Okay, what have you done to her marriage? Marriage? I separated her from the husband. You she's not with her. We wanted her to die because she possessed her when she was a small girl. Small girl! And she's brilliant. She has a good future. And she loves her family very much. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, look here. Look at the person standing next to you. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Okay, who is this? Who are these people? Who are they to you? Who are they to you? Do I know them? You don't know them. You've never seen them before. This is the first time. Okay. Okay, let's hear from them. So you're welcome. Yeah. It's my wife. This is your wife. Yeah. But she said she doesn't know you. Okay, so what can you say about your wife? What can you say about her character? First, I thank God as we are here because I'm feeling something like that. Because after the marriage, every, every, everything concerning my life turned upside down. So as a man, I've been walking up and down, searching for the solution of my problem. Day this day. So I thank God. What can you say concerning her character in the marriage? 
even at, if, if there is money, she will be okay. No money, she don't know me. Who is the cause, you demon? Who is the cause? Who is the cause? I don't want her to marry for the first time. Okay, okay. I have caused many things in her life. I want her dead. I even call her on phone. Physically, tell her that she's going to suffer. Continue to suffer until she dies. She started running from churches to churches for solution. That was the church that she went to. That's what's keeping her alive today. Okay, let's hear from... But this one, she will not escape. Okay, you are welcome, huh? Yes. Can you tell us who is this person to you? She's my younger sister. She's your younger sister. Yes. What can you say about your younger sister? In her aspect, about her character. Her character. <laughs> it's like I'm the one that's counseling her in the marriage. Uh, about everything, about the sickness he said that poisoned her. They yeah, say that the stone is under her chest when, when he, she went to scan. Then she nearly gave up during that time. But because of God, mercy of God, she's still alive today. Also, Mogosa, even we came here last Sunday, I was in overflow. So she was inside with my husband. Yeah, when they, yeah, he, she manifested that last Sunday, they gave her something to wait. She ran away. So because of that, I came inside church because of her today and sit beside her. She wanted to leave before now. I said, you are not going anywhere. As far as I'm here, if you want us to act, do concert here, we will do you devil in her. I'm here for you. So since then, I've been praying in my mind. I know that God is saying, of cold rather. Who is the cause of her running away? Who is the cause? Who is the cause, demon? I am the one. You don't need to ask. And who gave her ulcer in her stomach? I can't hear you. Who gave her a stomach ulcer? Who I'm the one that bites her in the dream. I turn to snake. I bite her in the dream. Right now, it's time for you to go. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Out right now. You must go. 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 Fire. Over. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here, you demon. You're back on the floor. 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 Out right now. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in your eyes. Fire in your eyes. She's the property of Jesus. Fire. 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 Jesus name. You are free in Jesus name. You have been delivered through the medium of the morning water. Stand up sister. You are free. How are you sister? I'm fine. Who is this man to you? My husband. He's your husband. And who is this woman to you? My other sister. She's your sister. So you can see the confession was not her. It was the confession of the demon. She has been set free to the glory of God. Give thanks to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Free in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. from the father's side. Okay, and what have you done to him? What have you done to him? I destroyed. You destroyed him? Okay, tell us how you have destroyed him. Uh, you demon. Tell us how you have destroyed him. Uh, I destroyed her life. 
Say, what are the evils you have done in his life? I destroy her business, her career, I destroy everything about him. He has a good job, he's working in company, and they love him so much. They speak. don't play with him. Okay, speak louder. What, what, have, you done, what have you done to his career? I destroy his finances. This day, he lost about no less than 2.30 million. I always send bad friends to him to take his words. What have you done to his family? <sighs> Hatred. Okay, how did you enter him? Through dream. Now you are going. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Right now you've been set free to the medium of the morning water. Stand up and give thanks to God. Stand up, brother, you are free. Su espíritu familiar no pudo resistir el poder de Jesucristo actuando en su vida. Ahora es libre. How are you, brother? I'm fine. Give thanks to Jesus and set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! 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 All over you, fire! 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 Okay, speak, who are you? Who are you? My wife, of course, I've told you before, and I'm asking me again. Am I not told you? How many of you in this body? How many of you in this body? She's just my wife. She's your wife? Yes. You're the spiritual husband? Okay, how did you... This woman, what have you caused in her life? What have you caused in her life? What's the evils you have done? Always angry. I've destroyed things, a lot of things for her. She cannot make it now. She wants to make it. Why can't she make it? Ah, she cannot make it. She has to struggle. Every time struggling, struggling, pray, pray. She can pray too much. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why she's even here. She was supposed to be in that place right now. Eh, why is she here? Okay, what does prayer do to you, Dina? What does prayer do to you? So let's pray and destroy things. Ah, ooh, Jesus. And what does prayer do to you? She let's pray in fasting, fasting every time. Pastor, pastor, this church, this church. Eh, every time, every time, every time. Let her just be. She's too stubborn. She doesn't hear what she doesn't hear. Okay, what have you done to her career? Her career, nothing. She finished school, no certificates now. She can't even get it. Every time she thought of it, I'll just confuse her. She can't get it. She can't get it. Always happen their people. Okay, what have you done to her family? What have you done to her family? Martin, Martin. Okay, open your eyes. Who is this man standing beside you? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know him? I don't know him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't okay, know. let's hear from him. You're welcome, sir. Yes, sir. So who is this woman to you? She's my sister. She's your sister. I know you. Oh, let's walk up there for sure. Okay, who is this woman to you, sir? She's my sister. She's your sister? Yeah. But she said she does not know you. That's the work of devil. Okay. You said you don't know him. He says your brother. I don't know him. I don't know. Okay. What have you done to the family? Family. The family, they're just there. They're just there. And how did you enter her? Through dreams. Right now you are going in the name of Jesus Christ. You must go out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. You're back on the floor. 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 You are free in Jesus' name through the medium of the morning water that Prophet T.B. Joshua has sent to deliver you. Right now, stand up, sister. You are free in Jesus' name. Esta mujer ha sido libre en el nombre de Jesús a través del agua de la mañana. Gloria a Dios por su libertad. Sister, how are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Hey, who, thank who you. Is this, who is this man to you? She's my elder brother. Your elder brother? Yes. So, sir, you can see that the confession was not her, it was the demon that she has now been delivered from through the medium of the morning water. Give thanks to Jesus, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Oh.
God, I thank you for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire! 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 In your ears, in your eyes, in your mouth, all over your body. Fire! 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 Okay, who are you? Who are you? Uh -huh, speak. Who are you? Speak out, you demon. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you in this body? Speak out, you demon. Spirit of destruction. Spirit of destruction. And as a spirit of destruction, what have you done to him? Useless. You made him useless? Useless. Okay, as a spirit of destruction, how do you operate? He can lay a finger on a very good thing. Whatever he does, useless. He can't lay a finger on anything. Anything he does is useless. Useless. Okay, tell us, what have you done to his career? Ever since he graduated for so many years, no good job. What have you done to his family? What have you done to his family? What have you done to his family? No progress. His marriage? Not married. How did you enter him? Of marriage. How did you enter him? How did you enter him? Speak, you demon. How did you enter him? Uh huh? How did you enter him? How did you enter him? Speak in Jesus' name. How did you enter him? How did you enter him? Through a dream. Through a dream. Right now, it's time to go out in Jesus' name. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name out in Jesus name you are going you are going fire all over your body fire all over your body fire all over your body it's time to go it's time to go it's time to go Holy Ghost fire all over your body you're back on the floor you're back on the floor you're back on the floor in the name of Jesus you're back on the floor you're back on the floor in the name of Jesus you're back on the floor you're back on the floor out in Jesus name out in Jesus name you are free in Jesus name to the medium of the morning water sent by prophet T.B. Joshua brother rise up este hombre ha sido libre de un espíritu de destrucción que atormentaba su vida en el nombre de Jesús a través del agua de la mañana brother how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm okay Jesus Christ has set you free through thank the medium you. of the morning water give thank thanks Jesus. to Jesus thank you Jesus Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire all over your body from your head to your feet. Holy Ghost, fire. Now speak. Who are you in this body? Speak out. Who are you? Speak out. You have no hiding place. Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? Speak out. What have you done to her? You have to speak. You have no hiding place. Oh God. Who are you? Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you in this body? Why? You have to speak. Who are you? What have you done to her? Speak out in Jesus' name. What have you done to her? Her career? Speak out. Who are you? Speak out. Who are you? Speak in Jesus' name. Who are you in this body? Speak out. You have no hiding place. Don't do that. You have to speak. Stop it. You have no hiding place. Speak out. In Jesus name speak in Jesus name who are you in this body you have no hiding place you have to speak you have made the greatest mistake to bring her here today. speak out in Jesus name who are you speak out who are you in this body what have you done to her her family her career? Speak out. You have to speak. Who are you in this body? Who are you? Speak out. Speak out. I can't hear you. You say what? You have to speak out. Speak loud. I can't hear you. Who are you in this body? I'm her husband. As a husband, what have you done to her? 
What have you done to her? Speak out. You spiritual husband. Speak out in Jesus' name. What have you done to her? Her marriage? What have you done to her? Speak out. I made the husband to abandon her. Why? Why did you choose to do that? Speak out. Why did you make her husband to abandon her? Speak out in Jesus' name. She's, she's not supposed to be married. Why don't you want her to marry? Why? Speak out in Jesus' name. Why? You oh. Holy Spirit, speak out in Jesus' name. Oh. Se siente libre. She's a, her father's favorite. And her father gave her to me. Her gave what have you done to her career? Oh, God. She's a graduate without a certificate. Why did you choose to destroy her? Why, you evil spirit? Speak out. She's supposed to take over from her father. What do you mean by take over? Take over what? The idol. Speak out. Stop that. The idol. Stop that. Stop that in Jesus' name. Stop that. You have no hiding place. You have made the greatest mistake to allow us to come here today. You have to speak. What do you mean? Speak out. Explain. What do you say she's supposed to take over? The idol. Mm -hmm. I do. And for how long have you been in this body? Oh, five years. What have you done to our family? What have you done to our family? Speak out. They have been dying. And now the end has come to your journey in our life. You have to live now. She's in home. Jesus' name. She don't need other help. Out. She has to sleep out all over your body. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire all over your body. Come here. Fire! Fire all over your body! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Fire! Out of my body! Out! 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 You're back on the floor! You're back on the floor in Jesus' name! You're back on the floor! You evil spirits! Out! 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 You have to come back here! Before the count of three, come back here! Stand here! In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going out of this body! Out! Out! Out of her body! Out. Come back here! Come back here! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have to live. Today is the end of your journey in our life. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out of your body. In Jesus' name. Esta mujer ha sido libre de un esposo espiritual y un espíritu de ídolo en el nombre de Jesús. You have been set free to the, through the medium of the morning water, sent by his anointed one prophet, T.B. Joshua. Rise up in Jesus' name. Sido libre por medio del agua de la mañana y el poder de Jesucristo que actuó en ella. En el nombre de Jesús tiene hoy su libertad. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. Is that where you are sitting today? No. I was at the bar. So why are you here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are free in Jesus' name. <laughs> Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Stop! I said it should stop. I said it should stop. Stop! 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 Who are you? Stop! Who are you in this body? Oh. Who are you in this body? You are who? I can't hear you. Stop! Who are you? I said that. Um, giant man. As a giant man, what have you done to her? What have you done to her as a giant man? Speak out. You destroyed everything. everything. What have you done to her marriage? Scandal. Her career? Scandal. I scandal. Everything. Everything. She'll be crying. Oh, my children! Oh, I mean Jesus! I'm happy. I'm happy. What have I you done to her children? What have you done?
done to our children. No, this they love your mother. As a giant man, how do you operate in her life? <sighs> She's always angry. Angry, even good morning. Angry, angry, angry. And then, she said, bite on. Bite on. Now move as a giant man. Move and let us see. How do you move as a giant man? Is that how you move as a giant man? <sighs> I am a giant. 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 Mom. So what have you done to her? Destroy. Destroy. Destroy every day. She went to school. No job. She's smart. Nothing to show. Nothing. Nothing. Every time. Yes. 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 She'll be thinking. Crying. Oh, my kids. Oh, my kids. Oh. And I'll be happy every day. She's thinking, thinking, what will I do? I don't want to be like my mother. I don't want my children to suffer. What have you done to her family? <laughs> the whole family scattered. Everybody, intelligent, no job, no job, no. poverty. So how did you enter this body? <laughs> this one. Oh, their parents brought them. So now the end has come for your journey in her life. You have to come out. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire all over your body. Your back on the floor. Your back on the floor. You have to leave. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Observe la out. Out. Move out of her. Estamos Move haciendo... out of her in Jesus' name. Libre. Move out of her. Move out of her in Jesus' name. Out of her in Jesus name Out Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Out Out You have to leave You have to Jesus wants to set her free Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Move out of her Out Out in Jesus name Out You snake Out of her out. I command you out of her in Jesus name out out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus y esta mujer ha sido libre a través del agua de la mañana de un espíritu de gigante que había destruido su carrera y su familia you have been set free through the medium of the morning water sent by his anointed one prophet T.B. Joshua thank you Jesus I have been delivered Y continuamos con más liberación. Fire. 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 What have you done to her? Speak out in Jesus' name. What have you done to her? Speak out. You evil spirits, you have come to kill, steal, and to destroy. Jesus Christ wants to set her free. Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you in this body? Speak out. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak out. What have you done to her? Speak in Jesus' name. What have you done to her? Speak out. What have you done to her? Her family, her career, speak out. Who are you in this body? Who are you? You have to speak. You have no hiding place in this, in this body. Speak out. Who are you in this body? Speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak out. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you in this body? What have you done to her? Speak out. What have you done to her? Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? Speak out. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? 
You have no hiding place in this body. What have you done to her? Speak! Come back here. Speak out! Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak! You have no hiding place. <laughs> you must leave this body today. Come out! Come here. Come here. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? Speak in Jesus' name. Who are you? You say what? I can't hear you. You have to speak out. You say what? You have to go out of this body. That is why you have to speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? What have you done to her? You have to confess. Who are you? Speak out. Who are you in this body? What have you done to her? Her family? Her career? Speak out. Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak. What have you done to her? What have you done to her career? Speak out in Jesus' name. Speak. Speak in Jesus' name. Who are you in this body? Fire. Serve la administración. Fire all over your body. Holy Ghost, fire from your hair to your feet. Fire. Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? Who are you? Speak out. Who are you? What have you done to her? Speak out. Don't deceive us. Who are you in this body? Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Who are you in this body? Speak out in Jesus' name. You say what? You are many. You are many. How many are you? Number one? Number one? Who is number one? I can't hear you. Speak loud. Spiritual husband. Number two? Quick. You say what? Snake. Snake. And number three? Serpiente. All right. How do you operate in her as a snake? No marry. No marry. Now move as a snake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move as a snake. Move as a snake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move as a snake. The same. Now. Observamos el movimiento de esta mujer como serpiente. Ya está siendo libre un espíritu de serpiente. Move as a snake. Esta mujer está siendo libera a través del agua de la mañana. Move. Enviada por el profeta Tibi Joshua aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Move in Jesus name. Move the the snake in Jesus name. Move. You have no hiding place. You have made the greatest mistake to allow her to come here today. Move. Is that how you move? When you move like this, what happened? Speak. When you move like this, what happened? Televidente, recuerde que la distancia no es una barrera. Así como esta mujer está recibiendo su liberación, usted puede recibirla viendo el canal de Manuel TV. Recuerde que la distancia no es barrera para el poder de Jesucristo. Observe la manifestación. Pero los demás no pueden resistirse ante el poder de Jesucristo. Move as a snake. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Que actúa a través del agua de la mañana. Is that how you move as a snake? Observe the movement of the serpent. Esta mujer está haciendo. When you move as a snake, what happened? Look out! Now stand up in Jesus' name. Stand up. Stand up. What have you done to her as a spirit of snake? What have you done to her career? I destroyed her career. As a spiritual husband, what have you done to her? Speak out in Jesus' name. As a spiritual husband, what have you done to her? Speak. Speak out. What have you done to our marriage? What have you done to our marriage? Speak out in Jesus' name. No husband. Why do you choose to destroy her? I give her disappointment. Now the end has come to your journey in her life. You have to come out. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire all over your body from your head to your feet. Fire out of her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out, out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire, out! Move out of her, as the spirit of snake, move out of her in Jesus' name, power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, move, move out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out, out of her, out of her body, out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out of her body. to find Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are set free. Que esta mujer ha sido libre de un espíritu de serpiente de un esposo espiritual que la había estado atormentando por mucho tiempo a través del agua de la mañana aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Congratulations, you have been set free through the medium of the morning water sent by his anointed one, Prophet T.B. Joshua, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Querido televidente, recuerda que la distancia no es una barrera. Observe the administration of the water of the morning here in the synagogue. Fire all over your body, from your head to your feet. Fire! Who are you in this body? Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Speak out in Jesus' name. Leave me alone. Stop that. Speak out. I say, who are you? Leave me alone. Tell them Stop to that. Face me here. Tell them to leave me alone. Then don't look back. Face me. Who are you? Speak out in Jesus' name. I say, who are you in this body? Ancient idol. What do you mean by ancient idol? What have you done to him as an ancient idol? Speak out in Jesus' name. What have you done to him? Idol as ancestral. Look here. What have you done to him as an ancient idol? Speak out in Jesus' name. What have you done to him? Speak out. What have you done to him as an ancient idol? I don't want to talk to you say what? Stop that nonsense. You say what? Look here and stand right. Remember, you are the arena of liberty. You have no hiding place. Leave Speak me out. alone. Look here. I say, what have you done to him? I want to kill him. So why? Why do you want to kill him? I want you to leave. Quiero matarlo. No quiero que viva. What have you done to his family? No, the family is there. If you don't want him to live, what else have you done to him to destroy him? It's one to one. Leave me. It's one to one. Leave me. What have you done to him? Speak out. What have you done to him? His, his career? I said I want to kill him. Uh huh. Why? <laughs> Quiero matarlo. Dice el Espíritu. How have you destroyed his family? 
family is there, no problem. The family is fine. What else have you done to this man? You wait. Stop that nonsense. I said, look here. What else have you done to this man? No one thing. I have done it with wise man done well last year. Stop that nonsense. I said, what have I you done? I did not. Stop that nonsense. I said, what have you done to him? What else have you done to destroy this, his life? Speak out in Jesus' name. What else have you done to destroy his life? I want life? to kill him. I don't want you to live. And now the end has come to your journey in his life. You have to live. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Come back here. Serve come here. Liberation. Before the count of three, come back here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out. You're back on the floor. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fire. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Come back here. Come back here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire. Let me go. Let me go. Out. You have to go. go. You have to. You have no hiding place. This is no longer your temple. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus as an ancient idol. Out. You have to live in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out. Holy Ghost fire. Come back here. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire all over your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out. Come back here. You have no hiding place. You have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Jesus Christ has come to set him free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out in the mighty, you're back on the floor. Out! Fire all over your body. Fire, you're back on the floor. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! Fire! Fire all over your body. Fire in the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have to go. Go out of his body. You're back on the floor. On your knees. On your knees. You have no hiding place. On your knees. Fire all over your body. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. You have to. You have to go. Fire all over your body. Fire. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Out of his body. As an ancient idol. Out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of his body. Come back here. Where can you go from his presence? Fire all over your body. Fire. Come back here. Fire all over your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Out of his body. Out. Out. In the mighty name of all your knees. All your knees. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. Y este hombre ha sido libre de un ídolo ancestral que lo había estado atormentando por mucho tiempo a través del agua de la mañana. Aquí en la sinagoga. Set free through the medium of the morning water, sent by his anointed one, Prophet Tibi Joshua. Observe, este hombre ha recibido su liberación de un espíritu ancestral, de un ídolo ancestral. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Querido televidente, recuerde que así como este hombre ha recibido su liberación, usted también puede recibirla. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Televidente, recuerde que la distancia no es una barrera. Así como estas personas están siendo libres, usted puede ser libre a través de fire all over your body from your head canal de Manuel to your feet. Fire, fire all over your body. Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? Look here. Who are you? I'm a failure. I can't hear you. Speak out. I'm a failure. What do you mean by a failure? What have you done to her career? I've made her to fail. Fail what? A jam. Four times I made her to fail. She loved me really, but anytime the result is not really fair. <laughs> what has have you done to her? Speak out. I'm you evil spirit. I made her to sick. Right now she's sick. I don't want to Le ha hecho fracasar en sus exámenes. And what have you done to our family? What have you done to our family? What have you done to our family? I just want, I want her to seek. I want her to seek. Now look here. Who is standing beside you? Look here. Open your eyes. Who is this man standing beside you? I don't know the 
Sir, you're welcome, sir. Who are you to her? Yeah, she's my daughter. All right, but she says she doesn't know you now. Yeah, uh, she's my daughter. All right, so what can you say about what the evil spirit is confessing? Yeah, she's very stubborn in the house. Even now she was saying she's sick. I just managed to bring her to the church. So what stubborn. does the evil spirit mean by the spirit of failure? Yeah, whatever she's supposed to finish her university now, but every time problem, failure, failure in on her career. And who are you to her? I'm the other uh, brother. Brother, what can you say about what she's saying? She, she's just too stubborn. She's very angry. She's always getting angry all the time. And who are you to her? I'm the senior brother to her. What can you say about what the evil spirit is um, saying? Anything she lays her hand to, as in she do, doesn't go well. And even the family too. Nothing is going well out because of what is passing. You evil spirit, why did you choose to destroy her? Why? Why did you choose to destroy her? Because. Why did you choose to destroy her? She's too intelligent. And now the end has come to your journey in her life. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire out of her body. You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor. Out. Out of her body. Move out of her body. You evil spirits, out. Move out. You have no hiding place. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move out of her body. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been set free through the medium of the morning water, sent by his anointed one, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Rise up in Jesus' name. How are you, sister? What happened? How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Is that your seat? Is that where you were sitting before? No. You have been set free through the medium of the morning water. Thank you, Jesus, I'm set free. Come. Yeah, thank you, Jesus, I'm set free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm set free. Thank you, Jesus. So who is the man standing beside you? It's my dad. And the brother here? Yeah, my other brothers. So you know them? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. You have been set free. Yes. And sir, Jesus. please you. don't refer her to what has happened today. Okay. Our past is over. So the family has been set free. Televidente, recuerde que la distancia no es una barrera. Usted también puede recibir su sanidad y liberación. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire from your hair to your feet, fire. Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Leave me alone now. I'm not leaving you. You have to speak out. Who are you? Speak out. Who are you in this body? I told you before. Just Say it again. Me. Who are you? Asking too many questions. Just leave me. And who are you? Who are you in Jesus' name? Speak out. I'm a husband. As a spiritual husband, what have you done to her? Esposo Speak spiritual. out. What have you done to her? Esposo spiritual. What have you done to her marriage? Oh, leave me now. Speak out. Oh. What have you done to her? Everything, everything. I've just destroyed her life. Just leave me alone, please. Let me go. Just let me go. Just let me go. What is everything? What happened to everything? It's Speak not out. Her job. Say what? <sighs> Speak out in Jesus' name. You say what? She's jobless. I made her jobless. And what have you done to her family? A husband, a marriage? No, oh, married. She's not supposed to be married. She got stopped on her way and got married. And look here. Open your eyes. Where is the man standing beside you? 
Look here. Who is the man standing beside you? Open your eyes. Who is he to you? Stubborn thing. You're welcome, sir. Who are you to her, sir? Pardon? Who are you to her? She's my wife. What can you say about what the evil spirit is saying? Well, um, I think, uh, I don't know what she's been having these uh, problems of uh, spiritual uh, husband. I don't know. What has been her character at home? She's always very violent and very uh, upset when I ask her questions. You evil spirit, who makes her to be violent? Speak out! I don't want her to stay in the marriage. Why? She has children to take care of. Who is going to take care of them? She has to come and take care of her children. And now is the end has come to your oppression in her life. You have to leave. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire! Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Your back on the floor. Out in the mighty... Come back here. Come back here. Come back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now you have to leave out of our body. Out in Jesus' name. La mujer ha sido libre de un esposo espiritual que ha querido destruir su vida y su familia en el nombre de Jesús. Free through the medium of the money water sent by his anointed one prophet Joshua. Rise up, you are set free. Ha sido libre a través del agua de la mañana enviada por el profeta TV Joshua en el nombre de Jesús. Continuamos con la administración de liberaciones. Siga conectado con Emanuel TV. Thank you, Jesus. So, madam, who is it to you? It's my husband. So, as you have listened to her now, what, what, everything she has said it did not come from her. So, never you remind her of what has happened today because her past is over. Thank you very much. <laughs> Continuamos con la administración del agua de la mañana en el nombre de Jesús. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Continuamos con la misma. All over your body right now. Holy Ghost, fire! All over your body. Holy Ghost, fire! All over your body. You speak out, you evil spirit. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? Speak in Jesus' name. Who are you? In Jesus' name, you must speak. You have been exposed. Who are you in this body? Okay, what have you done to him? What have you done to this man? What have you done to this man? Speak out in Jesus' name. He cannot succeed. Say what? He cannot succeed. He cannot succeed. Okay, who are you in his body? I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, what have you done to him? He cannot succeed. Okay, succeed in what? What? What is his career? He's my. You see, he's a great man. Speak clearly, speak loud. He's a security and intelligence consultant. He worked for 35 years. Nothing to show for him. Brilliant. Came up again. He formed a security company. Governors were looking for him. We stop it. We stop it. Everywhere, all over the country. He's very intelligent. We'll block him now. I cannot even pay his salary. Uh, okay, what have you done to him? Man, he, he didn't want to come. He brought his son. He loved his son. And his son graduated. Okay, you didn't listen. Went, what have you done to his marriage? Uh, his marriage. Ah, uh, this man. He's no, no marriage. Ah, uh, he's no marriage. Hey, if I've got left this, if I didn't love me children, I, I, I destroyed it. Okay. What have you done to his family? Explain more. You said you are the idol. What have you done to his family as an idol? Uh, uh, yeah. He's the only one that wants to succeed. He might refuse to worship, but 
and his delay. He wants other people again. He's helping them. When he has small money, he will be building houses for them. Oh, we now stop him. We now stop his business. Okay. How do you want? How do you want him to worship you as an idol? What do you want him to do? He, from his uh, from his childhood, his great grandfather, he used to bring him to kill him for us. This man started job. He says worshiping. He's not serving God. Hey, this man is there. He can pray. He can fast for seven days, day and night. Oh, we try to kill him. We cannot kill him. So we decide to deal with his business now. Okay. You mentioned that you have done something to his his family. Explain. Who is the brother standing beside you? Look here. Who is he? Ah. Uh, this is his son. Is this one that graduated 10 years ago? This one, as you see him, in his secondary school, he used to conduct the revival, delivering people. When he graduated, ah, the man gave him drugs, he bought alcohol. It's the son he brought here. I want to welcome him. This one, I made Moto to spoil for him to turn back. He refused. When we near here, Moto hit this boy. They thought he would kill the boy so that he can go back. Because we don't want him to know that we are behind his problem. Okay, let, let, us, let us hear from our brother. Brother, you're welcome. Who is the gentleman here beside you? He's my dad. Okay, we have just heard what the evil spirit has said, that it has pushed you to be smoking, taking drugs. Just tell us, what can you say about this? Well, I used to do drugs, but I've stopped and, yeah. Ganja, like you said, alcohol. And, like. So what can you say about your, your father? The evil spirit said it has rendered his, it frustrated him in his career. Just explain, what can you say as the son? Yeah, recently I've been having challenges in his business, yeah. I've been having challenges in his business recently, and he has been complaining about it. That okay. That's one of the areas. If... You demon, how did you enter this body? How did you enter him? Uh, from childhood, huh? I say his father, his mother, his grandfather, they are all serving me now. Nah, until he says he's not serving again. And those people say, okay. Deal with him now. So right now, it is your time to leave this body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out of him. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor in Jesus' name. Get out. You wicked evil spirit, you must leave him right now. Come out. All over your body. Come out. Este hombre ha sido libre de un espíritu de ídolo que no lo dejaba eh, eh, ser exitoso y ha destruido su familia, pero es libre en el nombre de Jesús. Rise up, sir. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, at last. You're welcome, sir. Who, who is this young man to you? Who is he to you, sir? It's my son. We give glory to God for your deliverance, sir. Brother, you have heard it. Your father is delivered. What you just heard now was the spirit, the evil spirit. So don't remind him of his past. And we know that this deliverance is not just for him, but for the entire family. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Este hombre fue libre por el poder de Jesucristo a través del agua de la mañana. Jesus, I appreciate you, God. I exalt and magnify you, Lord. Por el profeta TV Joshua. Thank you, Jesus. C'est le temps de la délivrance. Pas le moins de l'eau du matin. Regardez, recevez la vôtre. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all over your body. Holy Ghost, fire right now. Fire all over your body. You must talk. Who are you? What? What? Who are you? Who are you? I'm telling you now before I'm Lucifer. What do you want? Okay, you say you are who? I'm Lucifer. Okay, how many of you are in this body? Eh? How many are you? Why so many? You are saying, okay, apart from Lucifer, who else is there? Number two. What? Who else? Apart from Lucifer, who else is there? Spirit of loss. Uh huh. Spirit of rejection. Spirit of lujuria. Spirit. 
Okay, as Lucifer, what have you done to her? So many. I destroy her. Do you know what? This girl, when God created her, she's a singer, but she can't sing. She can't sing, and she will be never sing. Every day, pray, pray, pray. Daddy, TV Joshua, TV Joshua, come three times to come here. She was in jail, oh. With, she was in jail. She didn't do anything. Okay, you sent her to jail? Yes. For what? What happens? We don't want to serve your God now, TV Joshua. Do you know this girl she is? She's a higher most way to sing, but... We put something here. She can't sing. Always she's crying. She can't sleep in the night. She's like this. God, you see me, What? Okay, how do, you, how do you use her as Lucifer? What are the things you are pushed her to do? With Lucifer, the spirit of lust, what are you pushing her to do? We've been trying to do many things in our life. But you know what? This girl, she loves God so much. Our family. They reject her. She doesn't have warm. She's so much now. She doesn't have praise to God. Any church, she will go. We follow her. Okay, what have you done to her marital life, her marriage? What happens when men come to her? She will never get married. She will never because we make every man who is married. She refuses now. She refused. She said, I am a child of God. I will never. I rebuke. Man is a man. They are not my portion. She rebuke. Now, she refused. Okay, how did you enter her body, you demon? Huh? Since she was born now. Uh, right now is your time to leave this body. No. I'm right now is your time to leave this body. Come here. Come here right now. In the mighty name no. of Jesus Christ. Come out of her. No. No. You are going. Get out. You're back no. on the floor. No. You're back on the floor. No. You're back on the floor. No. You're on the floor. No. Come here. No. Bring her here. No. You're back on the floor. No. Anything you've deposited in her body? Come out. I said, come out! Anything you have deposited in her, you must come out. Leave! Move out of her right now! Leave in Jesus' name! You wicked demon! Get out! Come out in Jesus' name! In Jesus' name! Esta mujer ha sido libre de un espíritu de adicción de lujuria y Lucifer, por la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus, for her deliverance. Sister, rise up. You are free after the ministration of the morning water in Jesus' name. Fire, freedom me. Yesterday's gone, today I'm in need. Holy Ghost fire, freedom me, freedom me, freedom me, freedom me, freedom me. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Yesterday's gone, today I'm in need. Holy Ghost fire, breathe on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Are you a winner? Can I hear a winner shout? Come on, give a shout of a winner.
we worship right now it is time for mass prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the authority given to me to bind and to loose get ready to loose your emotions from every evil spirit, every familiar spirit that has entered you in the past. 
Once again, get ready right now to loose your emotions from every evil spirit, every familiar spirit that has entered you in the past. Yes, right now, those of you that are under the influence of my voice, when a person emotions is being held hostage by an evil spirit, it feels angry, hurt, and agitated. It gets offended as a habit. Right now, let's get ready to purge out those evil spirits right now. Let's get ready to purge them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to be released right now? Are you ready to be released right now? Are you ready to be released right now? Be released. Ser libre. Be released from all the grips of evil spirits in your life in Jesus name. Be released. Be released from all the grips and clutches of evil spirits in your life in Jesus name. Be released. Be released. Be released from all the grips and clutches of evil in Jesus name right now begin to release yourself begin to release yourself begin to release yourself from all the grips and clutches of evil spirits in your life be released in Jesus name 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 be released from that pain be released from that hurt be released from that deep hurt be released from that bitterness be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ from all the grips of evil spirits in your life from all the clutches of evil spirits in your life be released from that pain be released from that hurt be released from that deep hurt be released from that bitterness be released from that anger in the mighty name of Jesus Christ begin to release yourself right now begin to release yourself right now Soyez libérés de toute l'emprise des démons dans votre vie. Où que vous soyez, la distance n'est pas une barrière. Chassez ces démons au nom de Jésus. Soyez libre ahora mismo de toda emoción que nos esté uniendo a todo espíritu maligno en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Ouvrez la bouche où que vous soyez. Soyez libre de l'emprise des démons dans votre vie qui amène la maladie, la pauvreté dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Soyez libre ahora mismo. Abra su boca y declárese libre de toda amargura, de toda herida, de we heal by command every evil spirit out of your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we heal by command all evil spirits out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ command them out 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we heal by command these spirits to come out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we heal by command those spirits to come out of your life in the mighty name Jesus Christ. We hereby command these spirits to come out of your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Command them out. 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 Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, those spirits. These spirits that causes pain in your life. Command them out. These spirits that causes bitterness in your life. Command them out. These spirits that cause Command them out. These spirits that cause deep hurt in your life. Command them out. These spirits that cause anger in your life. Command them out. 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 Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Continue to command them out. Yes, every spirit. Every spirit that puts poverty in your life. Command them out. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Jesus Christ. Ouvrez la bouche et commandez ces esprits à cause de la maladie, la souffrance de libérer votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Libérez-vous dans le nom de Jésus. Ouvrez la bouche et parlez. Ordonnez ces démons de sortir. 
Eche fuera todo espíritu maligno que haya estado en su vida. Échelo fuera de su vida. Declárelo fuera de su vida. Todo espíritu que haya causado pobreza en su vida. Declárelo fuera en el nombre de Jesús. All these spirits that cause pain in your life, be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All these spirits that cause anger in your life, be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All these spirits that cause hardship in your life, be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released. Continue to command them out. Out. Tous ces démons que sont la cause de la souffrance de la pauvreté dans votre vie, esprit familier, ordonnez à ces démons de libérer vos vies dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Eche fuera ahora mismo todo espíritu que haya traído tormento, dificultad, problemas a su vida. Échelo fuera en el nombre de Jesucristo. In Jesus name. In Jesus mighty name. What you I'm a spirit of darkness. What have you done to her? Hey, I destroy everything. What have you done to her? Hey, I let her suck you from the work. And now she said that, hey, you got the man. He wants to marry her. After the marriage, he, he, I brought his money. She's crying every day, every night. She don't have any two. du feu du Saint-Esprit. Una cien oración en esta oración masiva aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. She is my wife. Every day we'll be fighting. They are squaring every day. My business is down. My everything is down. I don't know where the problem is coming out from. Whatever you tell something to my wife, problem come. We have to fight for every day. Fight in the morning, fight in the afternoon, fight in the evening. I am having a problem. I am sick. The whole of my body, I'm very weak. I have a kidney problem, liver problem, a lot of sicknesses. Vous avez entendu les démons confesser les œuvres des ténèbres dans la vie de ces personnes. Écoutez. Le feu de la puissance du Saint-Esprit est là. Lorsque la présence de l'Esprit de Dieu, il y a la liberté. Le feu expose des œuvres des ténèbres dans la vie des personnes, alors que vous les entendez confesser les œuvres maléfiques dans la vie de ces personnes. Siga conectado con nosotros en esta oración masiva y hágase libre de todo espíritu maligno que le ha estado atormentando en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Let's continue to pray. Jesus is on the scene to set you free. Jesus is on the scene to set you free. Jesus is on the scene to heal you. Jesus is on the scene to deliver you. Let's continue to pray. Every evil spirit that destroy your life, that destroy your marriage, and make you and cause you to divorce command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every evil spirit that caused you to divorce that destroy your marriage command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every evil spirit that destroy your career and cause you to leave your job command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every evil spirit that destroy your home and cause you to leave your house command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ name of Jesus Christ. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Continue to pray. Come in the mouth. Come in the mouth. Come in the mouth. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo declara fuera de su vida todo espíritu que haya traído divorcio, que haya dañado su hogar, su carrera, su familia. Declárelo fuera en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Tous ces esprits qui la cause de divorce, de la pauvreté, de la maladie, de la souffrance dans votre vie, dans votre famille, ordonnez à ces démons de libérer votre vie maintenant dans le puissant nom de Jésus-Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Who are you? Who are you? We speak. Amen. Are you anybody? We amen. Okay, number two. Number two. Spiritual wife. Okay, how do you operate in him? How? We speak when any plans are destroyed. Okay, what did you do to the marriage? The marriage problem, problems every day. How do you answer? How do you answer? I met him in his job site and I destroyed him there. Estamos viendo la manifestación de una esposa espiritual. The Oye. evil spirit is confessing that it is a bush pig, and as you can see, this is the manifestation of the evil spirit in the life of this man. Vous avez vu la manifestation de l'esprit du mal dans cet homme qui confesse ses péchés et les œuvres maléfiques dans la vie de cet homme. Regardez. Entendu comment les démons ont exprimé la destruction dans la vie de cette femme. I am the queen. I want to finish her. I want no marriage. No marriage. Every day. Since she was born. Le démon a dit qu'elle ne se mariera jamais et c'est l'esprit du mal qui est la cause de cela. Continuez à regarder alors que les œuvres des ténèbres de Satan sont exposées dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Let, let us continue to pray right now. Continue to pray right now. Be released from the spirit of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released from the spirit of mind control and confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released from the spirit of mind control and confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Continue to release yourself right now. That spirit of mind control, that spirit of confusion, I command it out. I command it out. I command it out. You spirit of mind control, you spirit of confusion, release yourself right now. Be released. Okay. Declárese libre de todo espíritu de confusión, de todo espíritu que controle su mente. Declárelo fuera de su vida en el nombre de Jesús. Ordonnez à tout esprit qui est de confusion, qui contrôle votre pensée, de libérer votre vie, votre pensée dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Priez. Be released from the spirit of mental bondage and insanity. Be released from the spirit of mental bondage and insanity. Be released from the spirit of mental bondage and insanity. Release yourself right now. Release yourself right now. Release yourself right now. Libérese ahora mismo de todo espíritu, de toda atadura mental, de toda enfermedad mental. Declárese libre en el nombre de Jesús. Libérez-vous de tout esprit de servitude mentale et d'infirmité dans votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Ouvrez la bouche et chassez cet esprit qui amène la servitude mentale, la confusion dans vos vies dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Querido televidente, ahora mismo, únase a la oración masiva aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Renuncia a todo espíritu de amargura, de fracaso en su vida, de enfermedad. Todo aquello que haya venido a destruir su vida en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Renuncie, oremos. Continuez à prier que tout esprit de servitude mentale, de confusion et d'infirmité dans votre vie soit chassé et brisé maintenant dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Là où il y a l'Esprit de Dieu et la liberté. In Jesus name. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Who are you in this body? I don't want to boss. I destroy. What have you done to the marriage? Destiny. I just, she married 19 years ago. Our marriage is. 19 years. Who are you in this body? My husband. My husband. And then spirit of death. This mood. She's supposed to die. But she pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray. This told me. Midnight, she will wake up again. Pray, pray. How did you enter her? 
We cannot do her anything again. At last, at last, we hold her cousin to kill her. This much, they bury her cousin. We will destroy their farm. How did you enter this body? We don't want them to prosper. <sighs> Through this hide wound. How many of you in this body? How many of you in this body? Who are you, demon? Who are you? Spirit. Speak louder. Samos Vienta na Marisa. And as a spiritual husband, what have you done to her? She belongs to me. Okay, what have you done to her as a spiritual husband? I don't want her to marry. She married! She married a divorce. She married a divorce. Okay, who's the cause? I am. Okay, what have you done to her career? <laughs> career? No career. Okay, how did you enter her? <laughs> how did you enter her, demon? Your pets. Estamos viendo la manifestación de espíritus malignos que no dejan ex, eh, progresar a las personas. En el nombre de Jesús están siendo libres. Continue to pray, continue to pray. Yes, viewers all around the world, we are still in the presence of God, where healing is like breathing, where deliverance is like breathing, where blessing is like breathing. Continue to release yourself. Continue to release yourself. Release yourself from every evil spirit. Every evil spirit that cause pain in your life. Continue to release yourself from every evil spirit that cause bitterness in your life. Continue to release yourself from every evil spirit that causes hurt in your life. Continue to release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Be released in Jesus' name. Be released in Jesus' name. Continue to pray. Come in the mouth. Come in the mouth. Come in the mouth. Every evil spirit that destroy your life and cause you to step back. Come in the mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil spirit that destroy your career and cause you to step back. Come in the mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say out of my life. Out. 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 Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come in the mouth. Come in the mouth. Come in the mouth. Abra su boca y continúe declarando libertad en su vida en el nombre de Jesús. Continue right now to release yourself from every spirit of confusion and mind control. Release yourself right now. Continue to release yourself. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of mental bondage and insanity be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to release yourself right now. Be released from every spirit of madness. Be released from every spirit of insanity. Be released right now from every spirit of intellectualism and ignorance. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to release yourself right now. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. From that spirit of mind binding. That spirit of mind binding. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to loose yourself right now. From the spirit of lust. From the spirit of evil thoughts. Begin to release it. Loose yourself. Loose yourself. Loose yourself. Loose yourself from the spirit of lust. Loose yourself from the spirit of evil thoughts. Begin to loose yourself right now from that spirit of mind binding. Be loose.
loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to pray right now. Loose yourself. Loose yourself. Release yourself from that spirit causing you bondage. That spirit causing you bitterness. That spirit causing you pain. That spirit causing you hurt, deep hurt. Loose yourself. Release yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to release yourself right now. Continue to release yourself right now. Continue declarándose libre de todo problema mental, de toda atadura mental, toda confusión, toda enfermedad mental o desbalance. Declárese libre en el nombre de Jesús. Oremos. Libérez-vous tout esprit de luxure, de contrôle de votre pensée, de confusion et de pensée diabolique. In Jesus' name, Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, speak to evil spirit. Who are you in this body? Who is this body? She has to die. She has to die. Who are you? She has to die. She has to die. Who are you? Speak out. Who are you in this body? She has to die. She has to die. What have you done to her? What have you done to her family? I feel it my what did you do to her family? What did you do to her children? I'm with her husband. What can you say about her? She's a good woman, but sometimes she gets angry very quickly. Uh, very quickly for any small thing, and then she's angry. We don't speak in the house, but she's a good woman. How did you enter her? Continuamos. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? No. Speak. Who are you? Yes. Who are you? I'm spiritual. Spirit. What have you done to her? I don't want her to marry anymore. What have you done to her career? How did you enter this body? I entered this body to a mother's name. For how long have you been in this body? Uh, I've been in this body since when he is inside his mother. Who are you in this body? Uh. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, my friend. <laughs> what are you going to have? Just show her. What have you done to her career? <laughs> career. <laughs> this career. She doesn't have a career. She will never have a career. <laughs> she will never go to school. Never. <laughs> and who is the cause? I am. Two years are gone. She has not been going to school. <laughs> and have you destroyed her academic life? <laughs> she said she wants to read Maxine. Why would she do that? I want to frustrate her. Ah. How do you frustrate her? Ah. I made her to leave the house. How did you enter her? Oh. And she was in her mother's womb. Who are you in this body? Speak out. I'm her friend. What have you done in her life? Speak out in Jesus' name. I don't want her to succeed. That's why I'm tormenting her. Why you don't want her to succeed? To do it. Enter her hand. Uh -huh. ah. What have you done to her family, to her marriage? I did not touch those ones. All I don't want for her not to get money. That's and how did you enter her? I've been blocking anything. How did you enter her? To drink. Life. 
Continuamos viendo la manifestación de espíritus malignos que no se resisten al poder de Jesucristo aquí en la sinagoga iglesia. Who are you in the name of Jesus? Speak. What do you want me to speak? Who are you? Me, me, I am a Lucifer. Yes. From the pit, my spirit. My power is bigger than your own. You cannot manipulate me. This your power is so small. Ah. You've done what to him? Yeah. He, this guy, he, 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 he was born. His mother's womb to become a pastor. He, and I don't want him to become a pastor. I want him to be my member. He does. You don't want his ministry? He, uh, he, uh, his ministry, he haven't gotten a minister. I've tied him into the cage. He cannot have a ministry. And the Lucifer, how do you operate in his life? Uh, he say, Speak, as a Lucifer, how do you operate in his life? I, I stopped. He did not finish his primary school. He was walking about. He doesn't have parents. He doesn't have parents. He's just going about. He doesn't know where to go. I don't know why he came into this place today. He, you don't want to experience? His parents are, they are dead. Yes. What is the cause? Uh, yeah. The cause, I don't know. They are dead by motor accident. How do you enter him? Uh, I, I entered him through, through this primary school. Yes, I was giving him to eat. Vous avez entendu le démon confesser qu'il est l'esprit de Lucifer et qu'il a détruit la vie de cet homme dans tous les domaines. Mais Dieu va le libérer aujourd'hui dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Alléluia! Alléluia! Let's continue to pray. For those of you that are under the influence of my word, for those of you that are under the influence of my word, we decree your emotions free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree your emotions free in the Fala, 
have you been in this body? Oh, for 10 years. How did you enter this body? Ah, men of trying the dream. Estamos viendo la manifestación. Speak out, who are you? <gasps> who are you in this body? Speak out. What have you done to her? <gasps> What have you done to her? <sighs> Speak in Jesus' name. What have you done to her? <sighs> What have you done to her? Her career, her marriage, her family. <sighs> Speak out. Who are you in this body? Oh. <coughs> Speak out in Jesus. <coughs> Who are you? <coughs> Who are you? What have you done to this woman? <coughs> woman's life. Speak Let us continue to pray right now. Let us continue to pray right now. All of you who are under the influence of my voice, viewers all over the world, those under the influence of my voice right now, be released from the spirit of guilt and self-condemnation in Jesus' name. Be released from the spirit of guilt and self-condemnation in Jesus' name. Be from the spirit of guilt and self-condemnation in Jesus' name. Right now, begin to loose yourself from the spirit of guilt. Loose yourself from the spirit of self-condemnation. Begin to loose yourself right now. Open your lips with faith in your hearts and begin to loose yourself from the spirit of guilt. Loose yourself from the spirit of guilt and self-condemnation right now. Loose yourself from that spirit of guilt and self-condemnation. From that spirit of lust and evil thinking. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to loose yourself. Release yourself right now. From that spirit of lust, that spirit of evil thinking, that spirit of, spirit of guilt and self-condemnation. Loose yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Libérese ahora mismo de todo espíritu de culpa, de autocondenación, de lujuria. Abra su boca y declare se libre en el nombre de Jesús. Ouvrez la bouche et libérez-vous de l'esprit d'autoculpabilité et l'esprit de condamnation. Ordonnez à cet esprit de libérer votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Ouvrez la bouche et priez, et confessez, déclarez la parole de puissance. Libérez-vous cet esprit de culpabilité et d'autocondamnation dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Continuez déclarando su libertad. Libérese ahora mismo de todo espíritu de culpa, de autocondenación, de todo espíritu de lujuria. Hágase libre en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Continue to pray, continue to pray. By the authority of God, continue to release yourself from all relationships that are not ordained by God. Continue to release yourself by, from all relationships that are not ordained by God. Be it in your business, be it in your career, be it in your family, be it in your life, be it in your business, be it in your marriage, be it in your partner, be it in your family. Continue to release yourself from all relationships that are not ordained by God. Continue to release yourself. Release yourself from all relationships that are not of the Spirit of God. Continue to release yourself. Release relationships that led you astray. Release yourself from all those relationships that led you astray from the right path. Continue to release yourself. Release yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ouvrez la bouche et libérez-vous de toute relation qui n'est pas ordonnée de la volonté de Dieu. Libérez-vous de ces relations au nom de Jésus-Christ. Libérez votre famille, libérez votre travail, libérez votre destinée dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Libérese ahora mismo, libere su trabajo, su familia, su hogar, libérese ahora mismo de toda relación que no esté aprobada por Dios. Hágase libre en el nombre de Jesús. Continue a abrir la boca a vos liberar de toda relación que no es ordenada de Dios. Dans votre familia, dans votre foyer, dans votre destiné. Libérez-vous dans el nombre de Jesucristo. Libérez-vous dans la puissance du nombre de Jesucristo. Continúe orando, declarando su libertad sobre su vida, su familia, su negocio. Libérese ahora mismo sus emociones en el nombre de Jesús. 
vous êtes dans l'arène de la liberté, la distance n'est pas une barrière. Ouvrez, déclarez la parole où que vous soyez et libérez-vous de toute relation qui n'est pas ordonnée par Dieu dans votre famille, dans votre destinée. C'est l'instant de la liberté au nom de Jésus. Continue to break the chains. Continue to release yourself. Continue to break the chains. The chains of sickness in your life. The chains of poverty in your life. The chains of hardship in your life. Continue to break those chains. And release yourself. Release yourself from all relationships that are not ordained by God. Release yourself. Let us stand in agreement with Psalm 91 right now. Are you ready? Let us stand in agreement with God's word in Psalm 91. Repeat after me. I believe you have answered my prayers because I love you and serve you once again I believe again I believe you have answered my prayers because I love you and serve you I call upon you in trouble en mi and you protect me para que me and honor me I call upon you Hoy clamo a ti in trouble en mi and you protect me, para que me and honor me I will continue Continuaré. I will continue Continuaré. to live under your protection Viviendo bajo tu protección. to live under your protection Viviendo bajo tu and stay in your shadow y estar bajo tu once again I will continue Je I will continue Je to live under your protection à vivre sous ta protection and stay in your shadow et sous de ta is this message true for your life est is this toi? message true for your life is this message true for your life let me see your excitement right now Oh Lord, I am very, very happy for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very happy. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, Come on. I am very, very happy. Hallelujah. we pray may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore in Jesus name surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever amen Emmanuel 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 Remember, better is not good enough. The best. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Emanuel TV. Hoy estoy aquí para darles el resumen del mensaje que fue dado el día de hoy en nuestro servicio dominical por parte de la evangelista Morenique, el cual llevaba el título de Tu verdadera imagen. La evangelista Morenique inició motivando a las personas diciendo, Pueblo de Dios, quiero que sepas que tu venida aquí hoy no fue accidental, porque es la voluntad de Dios que estés aquí. También a nuestros televidentes de todo el mundo, no es por accidente que tú nos estés sintonizando, sino que es la voluntad de Dios que nos sintonices. Ella, ella inició el mensaje diciendo, haciendo una pregunta muy clave. ¿Sabes que eres el mejor producto del Espíritu Santo? ¿Sabes que fuiste creado por un propósito? La Biblia dice en el libro de Jeremías 1.5 que antes de formarte en el vientre ya te había elegido. Antes de que nacieras ya te había apartado. Te había nombrado profeta para las naciones. Esto nos demuestra que no eres un accidente. Eres el mejor producto del Espíritu Santo. Muchos hoy en día quieren saber lo que va a suceder en el futuro, lo que va a acontecer con ellos. Quieren saber a dónde ir y qué hacer. Escuchan los malos consejos y siguen los pasos de sus amigos solo para darse cuenta que han cometido un error en las decisiones que tomaron. ¿Te sientes como si la vida te ha engañado? Mira la cruz donde se pagó el precio por la bendición que procuras. Tienes un buen futuro a tu disposición. Lo único que tienes que hacer es mirar en fe a Jesús a través de su palabra. También ella mencionó que debíamos considerar el caso de José en el libro de Génesis, capítulo 37, del verso 5 al verso 8. Ella dice, a una edad muy temprana, José fue presentado con la imagen de su futuro. La Biblia dice que él tuvo un sueño en la que sus padres y sus hermanos se inclinaban ante él. Por diseño divino, quiero decir, por divina providencia, estaba destinado a ser un líder, un gobernante y un rey. Sin embargo, la promesa de Dios le resultó en odio, y persecución por parte de sus hermanos, quienes se habían propuesto a frustrar el sueño que él había tenido. Lo que el hombre entiende, él destruye, y lo que el hombre no entiende, lo insulta. La Biblia nos hace entender que para que José realizara la verdadera imagen de su futuro, él tuvo que dejar los brazos cálidos de la casa de su padre. José recibió la imagen de su futuro a una temprana edad. Por eso pudo soportar los insultos, el maltrato de sus hermanos, el sufrimiento en el pozo seco, la prueba en la casa de Potifar y la humillación de la celda de prisión, sabiendo que había algo mucho más importante en todas estas cosas. Cuando recibes la imagen de tu futuro, la evangelista Moreni que motivó a las personas, impartirá fuerzas en ti para soportar cualquier prueba que enfrentes. Cuando miras el caso de Abraham, en Génesis 12, Dios le mostró a Abraham la imagen de su futuro, una imagen mejor. Recuerda que puede que tu destino no esté en la casa de tu padre, por eso es que Dios llamó a Abraham a salir de la casa de su padre para llevarlo hacia su futuro. Para que puedas descubrir nuevos océanos, tienes que salir de la orilla del mar. El hombre no puede descubrir nuestros 
nuevos océanos, sino deja de mirar la orilla. Hoy muchos de nosotros todavía queremos permanecer en los brazos cálidos de nuestros padres y familiares. Tenemos que emprender hacia los brazos fríos de la sociedad, donde hay lecciones necesarias para la vida, para aprender. Cuando digo frío, mencionó la evangelista, se refería a momentos duros y cuando dice cálidos, ella se refiere a momentos amigables. Como cristiano mencionó, tienes que recibir la imagen de tu futuro y tienes que creer en esa fotografía y regar la simiente del mañana. Una semilla tiene que ser plantada y regada antes de que pueda germinar para producir una gran cosecha. Cuando hayas recibido la imagen de tu futuro, tu conducta y tu comportamiento serán alterados para poder caber en esa imagen. Tu mente será cambiada. La Biblia nos hace entender que cuando se retrasó el cumplimiento del sueño de José, él hizo preguntas obvias, como por ejemplo, ¿dónde está mi sueño? ¿Cuál es la causa de este retraso? ¿Será que algún día realizaré mi sueño? José nunca se imaginó que la imagen de su mañana atraería graves odios y persecuciones cuando fue a contársela a sus hermanos. La Biblia dice que José se encontró en un lugar donde su futuro no era garantizado. Es decir, que en el pozo seco parecía como si su fin hubiera llegado. Pero él no se rindió. Él se recordó de su sueño. Pueblo de Dios, ¿dónde estás hoy? ¿Has logrado ya tu sueño? El camino hacia el trono no es un lecho de rosas. Tenemos que enfrentar serpientes, escorpiones, espinos y semejantes. Primero, en el caso de José, él se encontró en el pozo seco el cual no le garantizaba un futuro. En ese lugar había escasez de alimento y de agua, escasez de materiales que sostienen la vida. Estaba en necesidad completa de todo. Cuando permaneces mucho tiempo en la oscuridad, podrás apreciar la luz cuando finalmente llegue. Recuerda, cualquier cosa que está cercano a Jesús recibe ataque. El hecho de que Dios le había mostrado a José que él iría a ser rey, no quiere decir que él tenía que quedarse de brazos cruzados y relajarse, esperando que la corona cayera en su cabeza. Más bien, él necesitaba la acción concentrada, disciplina personal y mucha energía diariamente para hacer una diferencia en su mundo. De camino hacia el trono, nuestros enemigos pueden despojarnos de nuestro prestigio y belleza externa, pero no nos pueden quitar la sabiduría y la gracia de Dios. Tus enemigos te pueden despojar del prestigio y la belleza externa, pero no te pueden quitar la sabiduría ni la gracia de Dios. La gente te puede insultar para pintarte de negro, es decir, te pueden hacer ma ver mal ante los ojos de hombres, pero no te pueden quitar la sabiduría ni la gracia de Dios. No pueden quitártelas porque el hombre no la da. Algunas veces trabajamos duro y oramos fervientemente sin un galardón por nuestro esfuerzo. Pero la Biblia dice en el libro de Jeremías 33.3 que Dios quiere contestar oraciones, aun cuando no parecen responderse inmediatamente a nuestras peticiones. Dios todavía está diciendo algo, el cual quizás no entendemos debido a nuestras limitaciones en las cosas del Espíritu. En tales momentos Dios podría estar diciendo, sé paciente porque hay un tiempo para todo. La Biblia nos hace entender que la calidad de la fe no se mide por nuestra actitud hacia Dios cuando las cosas van bien, sino cuando las cosas van mal. Recuerda, el plan de Dios es bello, pero, él es, pero en Él ese tiempo es limitado. Pues la belleza de la, creador, de la creación es que el ser humano en él a la eternidad, pero no logra entender lo que Dios ha hecho desde el principio hasta el fin. Entonces la pregunta ahora es, ¿cuál es tu sueño? ¿Cuál es la imagen de tu futuro? Es tu responsabilidad como cristiano de enterarte de eso, que lo sepas. Una vez que lo hagas, cambiarán tus metas y cambiarán tus aspiraciones. Al final... 
En el caso de José, él se encontró en una posición de autoridad. Él vio a los demás honrándolo a él y cambió de pensar. De la misma manera, tu imagen del mañana te impartirá fuerzas para soportar tus tribulaciones y dificultades en el presente en el nombre de Jesús. Permite que la palabra de Dios sea la que te guíe. El plan de Dios para ti, la evidencia indiscutible de que los pensamientos de Dios están por encima de los tuyos. Recuerda que Dios no hace nada sin su palabra, Él te habla a través de su palabra por su espíritu. Miremos el caso de Pablo en Hechos 9, del verso 11 al 12. El Espíritu Santo le dio a Pablo la imagen de su futuro, cuando mandó a Ananías para imponer sus manos sobre él. En Romanos 9 dice que nuestra conciencia es el punto de comunicación o de contacto para el Espíritu Santo. Y el libro de Romanos 8 nos dice que el Espíritu Santo se une a nuestro espíritu para declarar que somos hijos de Dios. Por lo tanto, tu mente tiene que ser educada por la palabra de Dios, porque lo que sucede en la mente, sucede en el tiempo. Espero que esto lo estés escuchando. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Cuando Dios habla... Los sabios escuchan. Para que cambie tu comportamiento, el Señor tiene que dar a luz en ti una imagen de lo que Él está mirando cuando Él te ve. Y la pregunta es, ¿qué ve Dios cuando Él te ve? Él está viendo la persona exitosa que Él creó en ti. Tal vez se te ha dado un sueño, una visión y nunca la creíste por algún motivo u otro. Dios mira claramente el tú verdadero, el tú poderoso, el tú sanado y el tú prosperado. Porque uno de los principios que más cambiará tu vida es tener una visión del futuro como si ya fuera verdad, como si ya estuviera aquí. Hacer lo que aún no se ha hecho, es decir, hacer lo que nunca se ha dicho. Tu sueño nunca dice que eres pobre aun cuando no hay dinero en tu bolsillo. Tu sueño nunca dice que estás enfermo aun cuando hay dolor en el cuerpo. Recuerda, Jesucristo es un pensador del mañana. Él no mira hacia dónde te encuentras ahora, sino hacia dónde vas. Pueblo de Dios, ¿cuál es la promesa de Dios que tú llevas? ¿Cuál es tu situación ahora? ¿Será que garantiza el cumplimiento de esa promesa? Recuerda que José fue un hijo de promesa. Su situación en el pozo seco garantizó el cumplimiento de la promesa de Dios en su vida. La respuesta es no. Pero continuó adelante porque era para él. El fin aún no había llegado. Nuestros enemigos pueden robarnos la libertad y confinarnos a una celda de prisión, pero no pueden expulsarnos del trono de misericordia y de la gracia de Dios. Nuestros enemigos no pueden separarnos de Dios. Pueden separarnos de nuestras amistades, familiares, países y otros, pero no pueden separarnos de la presencia de Dios. En Romanos 8 dice, ¿Quién nos apartará del amor de Cristo? ¿Será la tribulación o la angustia, la persecución? Les digo, nada nos puede separar del amor de Dios. Nada ni nadie me puede separar del amor de Dios. Los hombres de propósito no se enfocan en dónde se encuentran ahora. Su enfoque, su meta y deseo están en su destino. ¿A dónde estás ahora? ¿Cuál es tu situación ahora? ¿Estás en la pobreza? Recuerda, el hombre pobre no es el que no tiene dinero, sino el que le hace falta un sueño. En otras palabras, son pobres los que no sueñan. Si tienes un sueño, recuerda que nadie más creerá en ese sueño. Tienes que proteger ese sueño como si nadie más pudiera hacerlo por ti. Y para protegerlo, debemos dejar el lenguaje o el vocabulario de víctima. Hablar como un vencedor, pensar como un vencedor, reír como un victorioso, no como una víctima. Permite que tus palabras sean la fotografía de tu futuro, que deseas en lugar del futuro que temes. Finalmente, hermanos, Dios solamente puede ver cuando habitas en su palabra y cuando su palabra habita en ti 
porque es nuestro encuentro con Él que revela nuestra verdadera imagen. Recuerda, Dios no hace nada sin su palabra y Él vive en el futuro. Por lo tanto, mira a Jesús en fe a través de su palabra y permite que el espíritu profético penetre tu futuro en ti. Quiero decir, la verdadera imagen de tu futuro. Así que, amados televidentes, les dejamos este mensaje. Esperamos que haya sido un mensaje inspirador y motivador para sus vidas y que sea de gran bendición y que a partir de hoy en adelante ustedes puedan vivir bajo la verdadera imagen de su vida, de su futuro. Sean bendecidos en gran manera y los bendecimos por parte de la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones y Emanuel TV. Buenos días. donné par l'évangéliste Moreniquet aujourd'hui, en ce dimanche 25 octobre. Le message intitulé s'appelle « Notre véritable identité ». Nous prenons exemple la vie de Joseph dans Genèse chapitre 37, verset 5 à 8. Très tôt dans la vie, Joseph a vu la photographie de son avenir. La Bible dit qu'il avait un rêve dans lequel ses parents et ses frères et sœurs se prosternaient devant lui. Par un dessin divin. J'entends par là, par la grâce divine, il allait devenir un leader, un dirigeant et un prince. Mais cette promesse de Dieu, cependant, lui a valu la haine et la persécution sérieuse de ses frères, qui ont été mordicus déterminés à frustrer les rêves qu'il avait. Prenez note, ce que l'homme comprend, il les détruit. Ce que l'homme ne comprend pas, il les traite par tous les noms. Donc la Bible nous fait comprendre que Joseph, pour qu'il puisse réaliser la véritable image de son avenir, il a dû quitter les bras chaleureux de la maison familiale de son père. D'où Joseph reçut le portrait, la photo de son avenir à un âge très précoce. C'est pourquoi il a pu supporter l'insulte de ses frères, le traitement des souffrances dans la cité vide, les procès injustes dans la maison de Potiphar et l'humiliation de la cellule de prison. Sachant que dans toutes ces choses, il y avait quelque chose de beaucoup plus important que toutes ces choses, le plan de Dieu pour sa vie. Lorsque vous recevez l'image de votre avenir, cela vous donnera la force en vous pour tout supporter quels que soient les procès auxquels vous êtes confrontés. Lorsque vous regardez le cas d'Abraham dans Genèse chapitre 12, Dieu a montré à Abraham l'image de son grand avenir. Rappelez-vous ce à quoi vous êtes destiné pour ne pas se trouver dans la maison familiale. C'est pourquoi Dieu appela Abraham à quitter la maison de son père et à se diriger là vers où le trône que Dieu avait placé pour lui. Pour découvrir de nouveaux océans, vous devez quitter le rivage. L'homme ne peut découvrir de nouveaux océans s'il ne perd de vue le rivage. En tant que chrétien, vous devez recevoir l'image de votre avenir et vous devez croire en cette photographie que Dieu vous donne et arroser cette semence divine de l'avenir. Lorsque vous recevez la photo de votre avenir, votre conduite et votre comportement seront modifiés pour se conformer à cette image. C'est-à-dire votre esprit, votre état d'esprit changera. Le trajet vers le trône auquel Dieu vous destine n'est pas un lit de rose, n'est pas un tapis de rose. Vous devez rencontrer un chemin des serpents, des scorpions, des épines et des choses similaires. Premièrement, Joseph s'est trouvé dans la citerne vide qui ne garantissait aucun avenir. Lorsque vous séjournez longtemps dans l'obscurité, vous serez en mesure d'apprécier la lumière lorsqu'elle pointera à l'horizon. Tout ce qui est proche de Jésus reçoit l'attaque. Alors ne soyez pas étonnés des attaques que vous recevrez sur le chemin de votre destinée. Nos ennemis pourraient essayer de nous dépouiller de notre prestige. Mais la sagesse et la grâce de Dieu en nous, personne ne peut nous l'enlever. Parce qu'elle ne vient pas de l'homme, elle vient de Dieu. Parfois nous travaillons très dur et nous prions avec ferveur, sans aucune récompense correspondant à nos efforts. Mais la Bible nous fait comprendre dans les livres de Jérémie, chapitre 33, verset 3, que la pensée de Dieu est de répondre à nos prières, même lorsqu'il semble ne pas répondre immédiatement à nos pétitions. Dieu est toujours en train de dire quelque chose dans la situation que vous traversez, quelque chose que nous ne pouvons pas comprendre immédiatement à cause de nos limites dans les choses de l'esprit. Mais dans de tels moments, Dieu nous dit d'être patient, parce qu'il y a un temps pour toutes choses. La Bible nous fait comprendre que la qualité de la foi n'est pas mesurée par notre attitude envers Dieu quand les temps sont bons, quand les choses vont bien, mais plutôt lorsque les temps sont durs, je veux dire lorsque notre sort semble peser dans la balance. La beauté dans la création de Dieu est que les êtres humains aspirent à l'éternité, mais ils ne parviennent pas à comprendre ce que Dieu a fait du début jusqu'à la fin. La question maintenant c'est de savoir quel est votre rêve 
Je veux dire quelle est l'image de votre avenir. Il est de notre responsabilité en tant que chrétien de le découvrir. Dès que vous le faites, vos objectifs et vos, aspira vos aspirations changeront. À la fin, Joseph s'est trouvé dans une position d'honneur, une position d'autorité, car il a vu d'autres personnes lui rendre hommage et son état d'esprit changea. Permettez à la parole de Dieu de canaliser votre chemin vers ce chemin de gloire, parce que la parole de Dieu est le plan de Dieu pour vous, pour moi et pour vous. La preuve indéniable que Dieu tout puissant pense bien à l'avance. Romains chapitre 8 verset 35 nous dit que personne ne pourra nous séparer de l'amour du Christ, ni la tribulation, ni la détresse, ni la persécution. Je vous dis, rien ne peut nous séparer de l'amour de Dieu manifesté en Jésus-Christ. Rien, absolument rien ne peut nous séparer de l'amour de Dieu. Les hommes de foi ne se concentrent pas sur l'endroit où ils sont maintenant. Leur concentration et leur désir se portent vers leur destination, vers leur avenir. Alors, où en êtes-vous maintenant Quelle est votre situation maintenant Êtes-vous dans la misère Rappelez-vous, l'homme qui est pauvre n'est pas l'homme qui n'a pas d'argent, mais celui qui n'a pas de rêve. La Bible dit en d'autres mots, ils sont pauvres ceux qui n'ont pas de vision, ceux qui n'ont pas de rêve. Si vous avez un rêve, quelle que soit la souffrance, quelles que soient les situations auxquelles vous vous êtes confronté, n'oubliez pas que personne d'autre que vous ne croira à ce rêve. C'est votre devoir de protéger ce rêve car personne ne peut le faire à votre place. Finalement, en conclusion de ce message frère, Dieu seul peut nous faire voir qui nous sommes dans l'avenir. Demeurez dans sa parole. Et sa parole demeurera en vous. Car c'est la rencontre divine avec la révélation de Dieu qui révèle notre image réelle. Rappelle-toi que Dieu ne fait rien sans sa parole. Et il vit dans l'avenir. Par conséquent, regardez par la foi à Jésus-Christ. En tournant les regards vers sa parole. Et laissez l'esprit de Dieu, l'esprit de la prophétie, l'esprit de la révélation apporter en vous l'avenir auquel Dieu vous destine. Je veux dire qu'il porte en vous, qu'il vous révèle la véritable identité, votre véritable avenir. C'était le message donné par l'évangéliste Moreniki. Que Dieu vous bénisse dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Um, regarding the medium of the morning water and the good morning sticker. And we encourage you, as you listen to this testimony, you too will be encouraged to share your own testimony, knowing that your, somebody needs your testimony in order for them to get out of their desperate setback. So, sir, you're very welcome in Jesus' name. Please tell us your name and your wonderful testimony. Thank you. Good morning to viewers all over the world. My name is Mark Bigol. I con I'm from Ghana. I did my bachelor degree in nursing, and after my nursing program, I had the intent of pursuing my master's degree, but I was financially challenged, and because of this, I was much frustrated, and this made me to come to the Squan to seek for God's direction. And when I came to Squan, I was privileged to receive the morning water. And when I received the morning water, I went back to Ghana, to my country, Ghana, and At my facility where I worked, I received a circular advertising a Japanese scholarship development in Ghana. And when I received the Japanese scholarship program, I applied for the program. And when I applied for the program, I was shortlisted for those to go for the interview. And I went through three, success, three successive interviews. And then I was shortlisted as one of the best of those to go to Japan. And when I was shortlisted as the best to go to Japan, it was left with few days for me to go to Japan. And I also made my mind that I needed to come and testify because I had used the morning water and that made me administer the morning water and that made me to go through, and that made me to go through the, uh, the interview. And then when I made my mind that I, I needed to come and testify, I slept that night and I saw the man of God in my, in my dream. And he, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, in my dream. And he told me that testimony was later. So the following week, we went to Japan. And when, we, when I left to Japan, when we got to Japan, the course was... Sorry, sir. I um, just want to ask you, you mentioned that you were shortlisted and you went for an interview and you managed to get, after ministering the morning water, you managed to get a scholarship to go and study in Japan. Can you tell us how many people applied for this and how many people were selected at the end? 
we were more than 100 in number and at the end six we were six in number who were selected to go to Japan for the study so when we went to Japan the course was very difficult because I did not have background of the course it was basically calculations which I never did because I did my bachelor degree in nursing and this was far different from nursing so when we got there it was tough but because of the the power in the morning water normally when i have to, when i go to class i put the sticker in my pocket and again i minister the morning water on me before i go to class and whatever was taught in the class it was very easy for me to understand and then throughout my two years stay in japan other people had it very difficult but i was able to go through successfully and at the end i was one of the best in my class so if not for the grace of God, this wouldn't have been possible. I'm very grateful to God, and I thank the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, and then I thank the Prophet for allowing himself to be used by God to deliver and save many like me. Thank you. Wow, glory be to God. Uh, that's a really, really wonderful testimony. And um, you mentioned that at, at the end of the study um, for your master's degree, you came out as one of the best in, the, in your department. Uh, can you tell us what, what degree were you studying? Yeah, I studied public management and policy analysis program at the University of uh, Japan, at the University of International Studies. At the International University of Japan, I studied public management and policy analysis program. And this, this is my certificate. On the 21st, on the 26th of June, I was awarded a certificate in public management and policy analysis program. And this is, it was both written in English and in Japan. But the course was basically, it was taught in English. So this is the, my certificate to prove that I actually studied in Japan. And it is by the grace of God. And it's the power of God in the anointing water that gave me the success. The morning water and the sticker that gave me this success. And I'm grateful. Glory, glory be to God. And we can see the certificate uh, from the International University of Japan um, being awarded um, a Master of Arts in Public Management uh, to the glory of God. And um, so we can also see some documents on the board next to you. Uh, can you just take time to explain to us what these different documents are showing? Okay, on the board. On the board, when we went to the interview, this was a resource so in successful, this was a notification so we know we were our successful in the interview. And then after after the success, then I was, this was my admission letter. This was the admission letter that was given to me. And then this was the courses that we, I studied in job, uh, as part of the public management and policy analysis program. So, and I was one of the best in my class, a GPO of uh, 3.41 out of four. So when I came back, when we arrived in Ghana, on the 7th of July, the Minister of Health asked that I should come and work at the Policy Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation Unit. And this was the letter they wrote and gave it to my department, for my department to release me. But still, I'm still with my department. They are yet to release me to go to the Minister of Health. This is a picture showing, indica, uh, this is a picture, myself and then... My president, this is where my president awarded my certificate, and that is the certificate I'm holding here. Hallelujah, glory be to God. This is indeed a wonderful miracle of uh, the divine power of God bringing solution to a problem. As our brother mentioned that he was frustrated and was having so much difficulty furthering his education. But after ministering the morning water, he... Uh, was able to go to Japan, received a scholarship, and came out with a very, very wonderful result to the glory of God.
And so we just want to ask you now, what is your advice to other people that are in a similar situation that you were in once then, frustrated and experiencing setback in the academic career? Yeah, when I was frustrated, I never went to any place. I came to the house of God to seek for God's direction. Uh, I, my advice goes to youth. If you are in my situation, come to God, then also receive the morning water. And when you get back, administer it with faith, and God will also re rewrite your story as he rewrote mine. Every thing that comes into contact with the man of God is highly anointed, and we should take it serious. And when we pray with these instruments that come into contact with God, God will definitely change our story as he did to mine. Thank you. Amen. And we know that the morning water is one of the mediums that Jesus Christ is using to bring breakthrough and to bring healing and deliverance in the lives of these people, of everybody. So we thank you very much, sir, for this wonderful word of advice. And we too want to advise you to continue to keep the word of God in your mind, your mouth, and in every conversation to make the word of God the standard for your life in order to maintain this lifestyle of success and breakthrough that you have experienced in Jesus' name. Thank you and good morning. Amen. Let us learn of Jesus here alone to be at God's find. Not at our own. Leave trips on a test. That is real faith trips on a test. It is better to live poorly upon the fruits of God's goodness than live plentifully upon the products of our own sin. Are you there? It is better to live poorly upon the fruits of God's goodness than live plentiful upon the product of our own sin. Those who serve Jesus in truth and faith Jesus is not far from them. Remember God's government and authority are incontestable. Both is being and authority are unchangeable. His power and majesty are enough to support his authority. Tell your neighbor, his power and majesty are enough to support his authority. standing for a modern majority. Pray against poverty. Not because it is an affliction and reproach, but because it is a temptation. Affliction and 
poverty are the great arguments Satan uses to disturb people of God. What is argument there? Ah, is, is that woman a Christian? Look at his problem. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Can this man be a Christian? Can look at him. Look at him. Look at him with this affliction. Look at what happened to Job. When the wife called him that look, are you sure you are serving God? It is never proper to base faith on our improvement after prayer. There is no reason for faith as good as God's word. Our looking onto God's promise is a good reason for looking to God for mercy. Viewers around the world, thank you so much for joining us here on Emmanuel TV. We believe you were richly blessed in the course of today's wonderful live service uh, here in the Synagogue Church for Nations. And we cannot wait to hear your testimonies. Please, wherever you are in the world watching us, uh, enjoying the service today, please make sure you send us your testimonies to the glory of God. Remember, when you acknowledge God as your healer, your deliverer, your redeemer, he will surely do it again and again and again. I mean, what can we say about today's service except to say thank you, Jesus Christ. We received a wonderful message in the morning from Evangelist Morenike titled, Your True Picture. And the evangelist really spoke to us on the need to have a dream. Because those who are, are poor are not those who have no money, but those who don't have a dream. It's your dream that will actually impart into you the strength to endure whatever present condition or challenge you are having. And remember, there is something far more important than your present situation, be it sickness, be it poverty, be it rejection, be it, you know, whatever challenge you, you, you may call it. There is something far more important, and that is your dream and your goal. And the evangelists use the illustration of Joseph in the Bible to really encourage us about the need for us to believe our dream and pay any price to protect our dream because no one else will do it for us. So we thank God. We believe you were blessed by the wonderful message. Your spirits were lifted up. Your faith was encouraged and you're ready to go and be a doer of the word. Because uh, unless we are a doer of the word, you know, it, it just comes in one ear and goes out the other. It's not in, enough for us just to hear God's word with our ears. We must receive it with our hearts. And to receive it with our hearts requires openness and hunger for God's word and a willingness to make use of it in our daily lives because using God's Word in our daily lives is the secret of faith uh, we believe you're also blessed by the wonderful testimonies I mean we had so many powerful testimonies today uh, a, a number of individuals who were saved from a life-threatening situations look at the case of the two gentlemen who were involved in a terrible horrific helicopter crash they miraculously survived as a result of the morning war to the anointing stickers that they had with them and their resolute faith in God we listened to a shocking confession of a lady who received a deliverance last week here at the synagogue church of all nations and how the evil spirit had used her uh, to destroy, kill, steal so many in the past and today she's free and free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. All of these testimonies are to build your faith and to let you know the same God who touched these people can touch you anywhere you are in the world. Distance is not a barrier. Just put a demand on the anointing that is available here in the Synagogue Church of All Nations and get ready to receive your own portion of blessing, breakthrough, healing, deliverance in Jesus' name. There is enough available anointing to meet your needs. Just get connected by faith and get ready to receive what Jesus Christ has in store for you. In the same vein, we believe you are blessed by the wonderful time of morning water ministration where we saw people receiving deliverance from throughout the auditorium from various evil spirits that had tormented, destroyed their lives. We also witnessed a powerful time of mass prayer where people around the congregation and, and indeed our viewers around the world uh, were, were released, were, were loosed from the different spirits that were holding them in bondage in the past. You know, spirits that, that were affecting them emotionally, spirits causing sickness, causing disease, causing pain, causing bitterness and 
anger. All of these things we saw people being set free in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. And once again, viewers around the world, it's not enough for you just to be a, a viewer of all of this. We believe you two joined in the prayer, and we believe you two have your own testimony. As you joined in the mass prayer, we believe the power of God touched you wherever you are in the world watching us. And uh, please, we want to hear your testimony. Please give us an email. Uh, send us an email. Give us a phone call. Let us know what Jesus Christ has done in your life. Go to our uh, official Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash TBJ Ministries. Tell us your testimony. Let us know what Jesus Christ has done for you. Uh, share with others what Jesus Christ has done for you as a result of your getting connected to Emmanuel TV. Uh, we believe, as always, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. So viewers, thank you for joining us for today's live service. Uh, we're coming to an end of today's program, but we know God Almighty has a lot more in store for us. Let's keep watching Emmanuel TV. God bless you, and thank you, Jesus Christ. If you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website, www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us.